Ready? Three, two, one. Man, we're back. Back. With another interview. And I got my best friends here. <laughs> <laughs> Are you laughing, bro? I'm not no, funny. Man. Can we, we start off with a shot? Damn. Got to, my boy. Hey, we got to. Got last to. time we we were drinking, we finished that shit quick. Yeah, huh? we also I ran out of bad. alcohol. I felt bad. Is that going to happen this time around? That was no, a I have. Oh, you stacked? I have a whole bar. Don't ever really? talk about us like that, bro. Yeah, no. Nah, <laughs> you guys had a whole bar with empty bottles. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, what's wrong with these dudes, I man? Know, bro, honestly, that we was were, the first time we ever ran out. That was the first time I've ever been so embarrassed. I was so embarrassed, dude. I was like, wow. How you guys doing? We're good, man. Uh, bless. Where you know everything's been good. We've been. Man, I've been this, seeing you guys. Yeah, just... this year has been amazing. Um, a lot more exposure, and yeah. I just think it's you, you know how it is. It's just it feels be, good. It feels good. It feels, it, good. it feels good. It feels good to be consistent. Like if we can wake up and we can say, "Yo, every week, every Monday, we post." Like this, it's amazing, and the consistency yeah. has definitely been paying off. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we're going on a eleven months straight. Eleven wow. months since yeah. since I added just, this this hunk to my. No missing. To my to la plática, to the arsenal, so, my boy. It's been not good, yet. Right? That definitely, that definitely, all the extra things make it more beautiful. Like, yeah. When 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 I see like the progress, when I see one. your guys, um, the uh picture of a flyer that I wasn't in get posted. It takes... <laughs> Can we talk about that? <laughs> we'll talk about it after. Let's... We'll talk about it after. But it's just, but shot. it's dope to see. You know what I mean? So cheers. To, cheers. Uh, honestly, I'm a fan. I'm yeah, gonna I'm keep it a bug. I've been deep diving. Sorry. Obviously, Sorry. obviously, Sorry. I've, I've asked you guys to be here, but I just been deep diving in the 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 kicking it with the bros vibes mm -hmm. is beautiful. Yeah, yeah and 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 that kind of reminds me of me and my homies. Like when we're kicking it, when we're kicking it and chopping it up, it just it, it gives it a good, a really good feeling. It makes you feel good. It makes you feel good about you and yourself. And then seeing you guys just do your thing is amazing. Yeah, yeah. So Appreciate cheers, that, cheers. Yeah. Likewise, no, cheer, man. cheers to you, man. Congrats on the success as well, bro. We see you doing Same. your thing. Oh damn. Even off camera, bro. You you're the man, bro. For real. Appreciate you, man. Especially on camera. Especially on camera. <laughs> I was gonna ask you guys. What type of feedback did you guys get for the part I did on your? I was about to tell bro, you, they bro. You. They loved his ass. I know, but you I know, was, okay. You know about the flyer read the comments? Okay, yes. Okay, but look, you have an army. I know. You have a, yeah, a Duno's army for you, bro. You know what's crazy? That I was sitting there, and I left, and then obviously you guys posted the pod, and it was doing amazing. It looked, it looked hella good, and I was like. Damn, what if what if these would get canceled for some shit I said? Nah. nah. That was like in my nah. head. I just I automatically went there. Yeah. Like I was like, maybe I'm like a wild card. Sometimes. You know what's interesting? You definitely you know? are, though. I'm, I'm gonna give you, you some are. insight. I'm gonna give you some yeah. insight. You know, your your podcast is one of the only ones that has been age age restricted on our channel. Oh, well, that's not a good thing. But we no, we don't care. Why. But we were trying to figure out because we didn't really say anything Bro, bad. I, mean, we didn't I didn't do anything say different. like no, the P word. No. I didn't say any like wow. It got age restricted. Yeah. yeah, that's some haters. That's some. That's what I'm saying. That's, I was like, I'm I like, know. this is some YouTube hate. Cause why? I was, I was like, no wonder the numbers slow down. I should have surpassed a couple of people that were on there. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, for it, sure. Nah, it was honestly it was one of them podcasts where like I was at the club and some buchona came up to me right, mm -hmm. and she was like, hey, I saw you on La Plata. She was like, hey, what's up when you in chickies? <laughs> and I was like, what? And she like, I don't know, I think you guys will look good together. She talked like that, huh? She was talking like super hot Cheetos in the morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, was, I fell in love with her too, you know what I'm saying? But it was just one of those things where I was like, I wonder what's the, I, I, I was, I was like, I was like, damn, when I when I see this, I'm asking like, what was the feedback they yeah, got so out of my energy? Was love. The, the he, feedback was hella love, bro. And th that's a good thing, sorry yeah. to interrupt you. That, that's a good thing about our podcast yeah. is that, you know, our, our, our La Plática family, they're super dope, man. Like, yeah. they, you know, I, I know some, like, people that, like, they, they post vlogs or anything, but, like, a lot of their fans, they, like, be talking shit or, you For know, sure. they, they might have some haters and stuff, but, they're like, mean. It's, they're, they're kind of mean. mean, yeah. They're, mean. Yeah. they're like, mean girls or mean yeah. boys, yeah. whatever. Yeah. Um, yeah, I feel like the energy you brought, though, bro, was just, I knew it was going to be love from the beginning because yeah. you can kind of tell, bro, after you finish a podcast, how the audience is going to respond to it based on, yeah. like, the guests' like, energy. 100%. Like, you, can, you already know what's coming. But with you, bro, off the gate, we knew it was going to be love. Off and the then jump. also with, with Cheekies, that kind of set up the podcast with her, man. It was, like, beautiful. That was funny. It was, like, I a layup, bro. Bro, that was, I woke up to, like, 30 million DMs, like... She mentioned you go watch it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I had to flex on the family real quick. I sent that on the Tia group chat. Oh, what they say? What <laughs> I was they like, say? look at this. Hey, yeah. I was like, she might be coming uh, to, the, to the to the to the family function. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you gotta buy her onto this. I feel like she'd do this. Yeah, no, yeah. I, I DM'd her. She didn't DM reply. But I just I seen her. I seen her. Um, well, we're filming this on a Thursday, but I seen her on yesterday. Yeah. For another product show. Oh, okay. Mm. And then she was like, she she walked into the green room. Was already there, and she was like. Oh, you tacos. And I was like, yes. 
Oh, that you was saw her? I saw her, like, oh, we met. met. We oh, met. how cool. I ain't gonna lie, I was a little shy, yeah. bro. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, it's cheekies, right? Yeah, I mean, oh, she's, what, in person, amazing. Yeah, she's but, uh, but, I, but I was with the little breezy, and I was with, like, with the homie, but she, she the first thing she did when she saw me, she's like, oh, I owe you tacos. Once I got to the whip, I was like, hey, you better take care of me. <laughs> I'm like, Chicky almost snatched me today, Pops. It would have been over with. <laughs> no, um, she, um, she's been wanting to come on for, for such a long time. I, I've yeah. known her for, for a while now, yeah. and I've been to so we many get functions. It, we got famous <laughs> friends. I, I, I've, I've been with a lot of functions with her, and yeah. he's always like, hey, ¿cuándo vas a invitar la plática? Blah, blah, blah. And, you know, I don't want to be the guy that bugs and stuff like that, but you know, having your podcast and then people tagging mm -hmm. her. Because I even told you, I was like, people are going to be tagging her like crazy. Yeah, no, nah, amazing. Yeah. And that kind of like, okay, let's do it now. Like, hey, let's do it. You know, it's like that, that, that hit the slam dunk, And she right? actually brought you up. Yeah. I know, I know. the conversation. I seen that because you're like, see, I told you she was my friend. She's like, you told dude. I told like, yeah. <laughs> she knows my name. Yeah. And, and and we you have those moments, you know what I'm saying? Like, obviously, it's nothing like... Obviously, she didn't give me a million dollars, but just her saying my name and like say pronouncing it right, I was like, yeah, 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 yeah bro. Yeah. Like, have you guys ever has anybody mentioned your guys' podcast or your names, and you're like, uh, one time we did this. Uh, I think we posted for me. I don't know if you feel the same right. way, but we posted something on TikTok about. Um, you know when you go to Target and you buy uh, Hanes underwear yeah. and you oh, wear them oh, for I like 30 minutes and yeah, then yeah. they're all wangles after? Yes. They yeah. look like fucking little skirts and shit. Wangle City. <laughs> so I hate those fucking underwear, but... We did a little like some funny like that shit on TikTok, and they grabbed that that TikTok and yeah. they put it on um, K Love. Yeah, I think it was K Love, right? The radio station. Was it K Love? Was oh, it K Love old. or something like uh, that? That, that no. stuff got checked. So to me, I was like, like "Hey, that's Christian it." Radio station? <laughs> Huh? Isn't Kayla like the Christian radio station? No, it was a 107.5. Oh, Kayla. Oh, okay. I was like, I was like, I think there's a Christian one too. No, yeah, right? yeah. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know if it's Kayla, but yeah. yeah, yeah. It was, it was <laughs> but like, but one it was like a moment for yeah, you. Yeah. It was like, dang, this is dope, man. Like they talked about us and they yeah. had us on and I was getting like hella mentioned. So like to me, I was like, this is dope. But uh other than like a celebrity or anything like that, not not really. What about you? Damn, bro, I was in Vegas and Dior bought me up on stage. Oh, so like, yeah. Dude, oh, yeah. We're going to get to bro, that. And yeah. it's funny because I actually captioned my uh, the, the post that I said, when Dior changes your life. And it's the same thing you just said. It's not like he gave me a million bucks or anything like that, but it's just like, like who would have thought that I would have been up there with Dior? He's like, you know, doing like a whole shout out on La Platica, like to everybody. It was a whole thing. Nah, bro. it was, seeing that was beautiful. And we'll get to that. Yeah. Because I think everybody has their moment. And that day was just... Like, it was weird, because, like, I'm going to my first EDC this weekend. Oh, shit. Oh, you're going. So, yeah, I'm going. I'm going. Me and the homie PS. We got them bottles. They're not really for you guys. They're for me and the homie. <laughs> 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 the suite. You're but, a blast, man. <laughs> nah, I'm excited. And then um, I'm actually tapping with the auto. Yeah. I hit him. But seeing that, like, seeing that, and I know, like, behind the scenes, we're talking about so many things, like, what we want to do and stuff. Yeah. I'm like, that's sick, bro. That was crazy. Like, it's sick. But I had, I had like, two of those moments in one day. Oh, shit. Um... My, uh, so I have the, what's it called, the podcast with Tyrell and them, and they're good friends with Schoolboy Q. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he came behind the scenes, and he was like, what's up, Duno? He's like, and obviously the impact he had he had on me as a kid, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. And he was just like, bro, I love what you're doing, and I got to follow, and that was sick. Wow. My Schoolboy Q follow sick. That's sick. <laughs> and then I left straight from there. You just screenshot it and frame it somewhere. I mean, that's what I'm going to do, no <laughs> cap. follow. I, I, I left from there. And then I went to the the Snow the Product show, and then I met Chiki. So I had a good moment. Wow, a good, a good you feel me? A good, Damn, a good situation. Bro. Damn. Do you feel like La Platica contributed a little bit to, to your the Chiki one? A hundred percent. Hell yeah. Because look, <laughs> I, my agenda wasn't to go in there and like shoot the shot there. Yeah. yeah. I've been doing it on Brown Bag. Oh. Like yeah. I've been lobbying. I've yeah, been yeah. lobbying, yeah, and yeah. they tagged there. We even like the fans, the Brown Bag supporters, even became came up with a name like Dookies or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> like it was like a thing, but I never really thought it was gonna get anywhere. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. And then that one went, that one went pretty yeah. far. Every Bro, we don't, I don't even think we actually clipped that little segment. It just kind of popped up on its own. Somebody else clipped it, and I think that's how she saw it, honestly. Yeah, and then I was already commenting. I was like, damn, people, some people are really mad at me. Really? Yeah, because I used, I used the oh. word bitch loosely. Oh, I saw that comment. And then yeah. I was like, it's kind of like my vocabulary, but it's not harmful. No. It's yeah. not like stupid bitch. It's more like... But it's a beautiful bitch. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> I, I feel like the ones that you really gotta like worry like I don't think you gotta worry about that. I feel like if people really truly know where, you, where your heart is, yeah, that's what you really have to realize. Yeah, you, you corrected yourself too. You were yeah, like, you Yo, said I it. don't mean this disrespectfully. Yeah, no, no, no. But amazing. That podcast with you guys was like it was a different audience and I liked it. Yeah. Different audience. So a little more yeah. bitties, you feel yeah. me? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, no, like um, 
even there was I saw some comments was like, oh, this is the first time like I run into Dunos on your guys' podcast. Like they didn't know who you are. Yeah, yeah. I love him. Like he's such a yeah, such a yeah. ball of energy. He's a like, wild card. Yeah, huh? he, he's dope. He's dope. Like have him on again. So and you definitely got your army, uh, your little army yeah, uh, yeah. because. Oh, I felt so bad, man. You guys um, fired we, him? we recently posted the the, the flyer <laughs> yeah. that you know. Tell every, the full truth. Yeah, story. every every two months, I, I like to gather all of my guests and kind of say like a thank you on our on our Instagram, and cut cut all you guys out and um, you know write something nice and blah blah. People like to see it, you know. <laughs> and, and to me, it's nice. To me, it's like wow, we had all these people. This is dope. Um, so I. I cut. I, I I sent all these people out. We asked some guy that 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 cuts them out for yeah, me. Like graphic designer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, I sent all the pictures, and I even showed you, and you were included in that group. <laughs> I didn't even realize it. I posted it, and then probably 15 minutes later, Josh is the one who texts me. He goes, "You forgot Dunos." My heart dropped, and I was like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> He's but fuck, and all caps. I was like, <laughs> and I showed you the screenshot yeah, of my yeah. camera roll. Yeah. It, there's no way I can like make that up. Yeah, 100%. like you're in the middle. It's not even like you're on the side. You were in the middle between all of them. I even chose your picture. I, I went on your Instagram and I chose a nice picture of you. <laughs> and but it was one of those things where it was it already had like hella comments. And yeah, likes. no, I'm yeah, at it. Yeah, yeah. And so it was, I'm like, oh. and it was funny because I seen it, and then I went and commented, said, "Wow." <laughs> I said, I just Did you notice this. it before we even text you about it? People tagged me. Oh shit! Yeah, and I They're knew like, that was gonna happen. Oh, it was going crazy in the wood. And then I was reading the comments like, "Why'd you guys leave him out?" <laughs> and I was like, "But, I, but I, I've made honest mistakes. I made yeah. some really. Yeah. I forgot to cut out something before, and it probably like straight up a beef on TikTok. Yeah. Oh, shit. And I'm like, oh shit. I'm like, Damn. Oh, I'm sorry. So it was something that you were intending to cut out, you forgot. To cut yeah, out. it was like a like an extra thirty seconds. Yeah. And the name was still mentioned and stuff Damn. like that. Bro, but that our even our interview, it, the people made videos about it. Yeah, yeah. You see, wait, what do you mean? Like, so, like, like commenting, like on mentions video? on TikTok? Yeah, no, but I think people just made videos. Oh shit! Like talking about the podcast. Our favorite guy. Oh, <laughs> oh, I saw that. I saw that. Bro, you know, you know, what's funny? we didn't say anything wrong. I know. You know, you know, like when we talked about this, you were like, I think you know who I'm talking about. You were, you were talking yeah. to me, bro. I didn't know who you were talking about. He didn't. And so one day I was on. Uh, I, I know exactly. That's the video that he made about. The whole thing? Yeah. That's the first video I've ever seen of this fool. Ever, ever in my okay. life. Yeah. And I was like, I was pissed, bro. He's an interesting person. Yeah, I was boiling because I, I didn't know about this fool. I didn't know like that he does this kind of content. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I saw the video and I saw the comments and a lot of people were like, they didn't say anything wrong. Yeah, blah, no. Blah, blah. But then a lot of people were like, why are they even talking about you? Like, you're, you're, you're not even like, uh, you know, I'm like. just a funny fool. I yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I did realize, I was like, you know what? Some of these comments are right. Like, why should I care about what somebody does? You know what I mean? A hundred percent. Yeah. So I was like, you know what? Yeah, they're right. You yeah. know? Has, has, and, and from that, the, this is where my next question was going was, has something ever gotten to you guys where you guys sat there and talked to each other like, damn, did we fuck up? Even though at the moment you guys maybe didn't think it was a fuck yeah. up. Yeah. yeah. And if we, yes, I think that has happened, but we just like, don't put it in the video. You know, yeah. or even if we put it in the video, you know, on YouTube, you can edit stuff out still, even yeah. when it's uploaded. So I've taken out stuff before, too, that I was like, yo, I don't really like the way this came across. Like, this can come across wrong or something uh, like that. So we yeah. just like, remove it from the video. But it's never been something where it's like, we're coming at it with a bad heart. It's no, never been 100%. Like that, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but there are some stuff. That can misconstrued. Yeah, you can, you know, you know how uh, online being online is. It's like, yeah, it's just like, why even put it? If we're already thinking about it, <laughs> yeah. why have it? Yeah. Let's just take it out. It doesn't matter. And 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 I've been good at that, but it's also came back and bit me in my ass a little bit. Yeah, like me, uh, I we do live in podcasting, and you got to whatever you say is yeah, it is what it is. Yeah. So like, then <laughs> we made like a whole like, we're just talking shit, and I was like talking about hip hop, and I was like, I listen to Korea more than I do hip hop. But at the moment, I was still at power, and it just... It really? Just, Why did that backlash on you? Oh, because <laughs> power is hip-hop. But I was talking station. shit. I was like, yeah, man, fuck hip-hop. I listen to good ears, but I'm like, a little bit true. But is, it was, but I'm just a sarcastic individual. Right, right. And sometimes things do come off like meanish, but also I think it's just my tone. Yeah. yeah. And I'm like, I'm like that about everything. Like, yeah. yeah. But that's yeah. why people love you, though. Facts. But also, it was crazy. Yeah, because there's so many people online, they don't give a fuck what you think about them but that's what makes them who they are 
Yeah, hundred percent. You know what I mean? And and to me, that's kind of res- like that's respectable. If yeah. I know that you're not coming from a harmful place yeah. and you just like to talk shit, yeah. To me, I love that. You're yeah, being yeah. real from the from the jump. From the jump. It's crazy how much people really care about like a little comment like that. Like who gives a fuck? Like that's just your own personal oh, opinion. <laughs> but people care. They're so invested. Yeah, like, I mean, I mean, it just thing. I just think it's like in the position you're in. For sure. So it's like if you I were get to. It. I so get it's like it. if you were to be like. Okay, like with Saludo. Yeah. Well, it's a it's a like energy drink. Yeah, it, or hydration. Yeah, yeah, hydration drink. Fuck hydration drinks. And it's like, well, you have a hydration company. Right. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. so it was like it was kind of like that situation. Gotcha. I and then and then, but but it just, I don't mean no harm. Yeah. I'm really like a nice person. Yeah. I just don't give a fuck sometimes. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, Probably ninety nine percent of the time. Yeah. The point one is like, oh, okay, I'm sorry, you guys. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, God, God. No, don't be. I'm yeah. sorry that we fucking forgot to put you on the thing. It's okay, you know. And what? I was like, look, I'm not gonna take it off. I'm gonna text him like a fucking man. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm gonna show him, Don't and you. I'm gonna let him. My bad. That's my bad. You yeah. Know? Um, um, but I gave you your story, and you know, I said I c- I couldn't forget Dunos, blah, blah blah. Um, but your army came for me, bro. They it came was- for me, <laughs> and I kind of fell in a way where I was like. Did I just make myself look like somewhat of a hater? Because you, because you have a podcast, and and now people are making it things like just because I have, we have a podcast. Yeah. I didn't want to put Dunos. I'm like, fuck no, this is the homie. Hey, so you guys are gonna announce a boxing match or what? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Dude, if me and if me and Sebas were to box match, yeah. we'll make a lot of more money. I think one hundred percent, hundred percent. Right, we should just do a fake beef, bro. Be like, no, this will fucking didn't post me. And I'm like, nah, I text him, and I can't believe he's fucking spraying those rumors. Damn, should I like doing a, like a, <laughs> let me tell you guys video on YouTube? Yeah. <laughs> Story time. Story time is crazy. Yeah, um, no, but definitely people came, came for me. They're like, what? how'd you forget Dunos and Hater? Da, 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 da. And uh, I was like, out of all the people that Dunos, I cut bro. out, why'd it have to be fucking Dunos? But, but it, what I try to explain to people that, bro, they're, they're mean to everybody. Like, bro, my fans are vicious, bro. Yeah. I've, I've seen some crazy Damn. Like, like, my dad just passed away. We had his funeral. Well, he passed away in September. We just had his funeral after all the process. And I've always, like, my a lot of my, what people have seen within how my career has gone was I've always talked about the issues and the relationship and the and the disagreements and my look towards my dad and, and drug addiction. You know, he was a drug addict. And then somebody replied, damn, the crack finally got to him, huh? Bro, but it, in my head, I was like, bro, this shit is hilarious. But I put it upon myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I've made jokes and they feel like they're allowed to, too. Yeah. Which I can't take away that's, from them. That's yeah. the energy that you put out. Yeah. Which which I can't take away from them. But it's also like, so that's why I always tell people, like, make sure. You know, they just know they go crazy yeah, yeah, yeah. in the comments. And it's just, it's always going to be like yeah. that. No, but, yeah. but like, say out of, yeah. like, what? 10 comments, nine of those comments are so positive. A hundred percent. Actually, like all of them are positive. And that wasn't even like, hey, that was just somebody playing like the same yeah. game you play, you know? Oh, like, yeah. It's like yeah. same energy. But uh, <laughs> under your comment, if you guys, uh, where's the camera? If you guys want to <laughs> check it out, go on the Platica pod, look at that picture. You comment on it like, uh, you said something, something, something crazy. Crazy. <laughs> I'm like, dang, this is crazy. <laughs> His whole army underneath you know was crazy, like. Bro, there was like a perfect spot in that photo where he would have fit. Just like, I that's know. How, bro, like there was like an empty spot. How'd, when, you put, how'd you put Eddie? I'm way more famous. <laughs> 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 Shout out Eddie Zuko, man. Bro, yeah, great big guy. Yeah. Have big you had things. him on this? Yes. I okay. had him before he blew yeah. up. Bro, you had him on the show. Yeah. You guys went to a show, right? Not with like Dioro. <laughs> <laughs> and you were in his music video. And I was in his music video, Target. Yeah. Great guy. Yeah. Amazing dude. Super talented. Yeah, I, I pulled up to a show, uh, his show at the Fonda. I Fonda. saw that. Yeah. I saw that. Show down. Crowd is. Didn't Dior, was crazy. Dior, Dior also, popped out right? too. Yeah. It was low key like a. I like going to things like that because you never know, right? It was me, De Oro. There was a wonder back there. Danny Lux was there. And it was just a bunch of people just vibing. Oh, that's dope. Supporting a unique talent coming out. Out of all those interviews, and don't be biased because I'm here, which one was your guys like? Like, obviously, the cheeky one was legendary. Mm-hmm. Obviously, the, the whole thing with us and Brown Bag, it was dope. But, like, from all of them, which one really, like, you guys felt like, okay, damn, we're really getting better at what we do. This took us to another level. Like, this is, like, an amazing thing. Yeah. From from that, from, from those from people. All, from, from those, those two months, people. yeah. So it was, who was it? The Yeah. Yeah, Dioro, De- Dioro definitely we we felt like a like a shift. Yeah. Not not necessarily like on engagement or things like that, but we kind of looked at ourselves and we're like, wow, like we're doing something. Wow. Yeah, that you one know? that one felt And for and real. is there like a reason? Obviously, his status is this man has worked with yeah. legends, but mm-hmm. like 
I think everybody that you've had there has worked with Legend. Yeah. But what made it so different? I think it goes back to, we. I think we talked about this on the podcast with Dioro, uh, like the imposter syndrome. Like you never think you're like doing shit, right? Like you kind of like tend to undermine yourself. Mm -hmm. And then you have somebody like Dioro come on and then you realize you're like, damn, like this is this is crazy. Like every like this is like real. Like we're actually doing yeah. shit. It just kind of puts everything to, like in perspective. Hundred percent. Yeah. So and it was, like that. And w prepping for somebody like that, are you guys like going back and forth on text, or are you guys prep individually? Bro, you know what's crazy? Normally we prep for people for, for whatever reason. We just couldn't prep for him because we were just so busy with stuff. So we prepped like an hour before he came on set. Mm -hmm. And 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 also he doesn't do interviews. Right, so it's it's, it's didn't have hard to look for. Didn't have a lot to like really like like look at. You know what I mean? Like, cause I like to do research and stuff like that. I didn't really have much to like go back on, bro. Yeah, like with you guys, I was trying to do research, but it just you guys came up, and yeah. I'm like, I really don't want to see your vlogs, to be honest. But I'm like, <laughs> these are guys are amazing. And I'm like, have they done any of the interviews? And you guys are just shaking la plática. So I was just, I think I was like cleaning and fixing my things for ADC. I was like, yesterday I was home eating and I just put some on and I was just watching and watching and watching and I was like, damn. She reminded me a lot of my homies. Yeah. And I was like, that's a vibe. Yeah, yeah. Us. Yeah. You yeah. too, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I feel like me and Josh and, and you, we, yeah. like say even we were all, we all have really good chemistry. And 100%. we can create really good chemistry. The magic with me and Josh is, yes, he's my friend, but we, we don't, A, shut the fuck up. <laughs> and two, we yeah. can keep going and we're really good at talking to people and we can just keep it going, keep it going. We don't really need a prep for shit, to and, be honest. And you know what's important that I noticed? And, and I noticed this, even though like, I feel like one of my biggest things, right, is I have really bad ADHD, so I tend to cut people off. Mm. And I watched back the interview we did, and you guys let me talk. And I was like, oh, I got to pick that up. Yeah. <laughs> but we, we learned to do that. We learned to do that you because guys we're the same. Yeah. We, we, we like to talk, 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 talk. Yeah. And it got to a point where we would we would start reading the comments, right, yeah. Josh? And yeah. a lot of comments, you guys need to let your interviewer, yeah, like, yeah, your, uh, guests. your guests talk. Yeah. And I'm like, we do, but... <laughs> I, you know, I might see something. I might, I might feel a certain type of way, and then you know, somebody who's watching it might feel a certain type of way. So like, I, I take notes on what people say. So I've gotten better. Even, even, even people say like, Sebas, let Josh talk. Josh, let Sebas talk. You know. So we tend to get better. There's definitely like a formula to to interviewing people and stuff like For that sure. that you learn along the way. Yeah, a hundred percent. Because I've done like, I've had some dope people on. And I just had to throw my story in there. It. But I'm just used, I'm used yeah. to being interviewed. Yeah. yeah. I'm used to being like, yeah, that's like, another thing too. Do not go wild. Then I'm yeah, like, ah! yeah, yeah, yeah. So sometimes I get in the fucking but I was like, oh fuck, I fucked that up. Yeah, ah. yeah, yeah. That's yeah. another thing too. We 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 tend to talk about ourselves right after. Mm. You know, we relate to something and we want to talk about ourselves. And I've learned not to talk about myself anymore because yes, La Platica is about Celis and Josh, but it's it's if we have a guest, it's about, yeah. them. It's about them, not yeah. me today. 100%. Yeah. But if I need to say something about myself, I will. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. If it makes Be sense. You're because not forcing I, yeah, it. Yeah, because I've always told Josh from the, from the beginning, yeah, we have guests a lot, um, you know, many times on, on the pod. But La Platica is about Sebas and Josh at the end of the day. Yeah. I don't want people to watch La Platica because they have cool guests or blah, blah, blah. blah you know? It helps. It helps. Oh, 100%. <laughs> a thousand percent. There's not a problem with guests. Yeah, a yeah, thousand percent. You guys percent. are about to get me another and, couple subscribers. Thank you. Yeah. For <laughs> and, and, and as much as I love having guests, and, and La Platica is formulated into having guests. Yeah. I want people to watch La Platica because they want to see me and Josh. Fire. I like that. Right? And also the balance works. You're the little more... And Josh is more like, okay. He like the, so? he like the cool guy. Yeah. Well, because you're in a relationship, you're married. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I don't know Josh's status in relationships. I yeah, don't want to yeah. ask questions. <laughs> yeah, yeah, 100%. Yeah. 100% don't ask? No, 100% do whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> you know, somebody asked me if he was taken yeah. in the streets. And what'd you say? And I was like, he's my friend. That's what I replied with. <laughs> and, and they were like, what do you mean? I was like, he's just he's my, my friend. friend. Yeah, I was like, I don't know his like, yeah, and yeah, they yeah. were like, what do you mean you met him? And I'm like, you think I met him? And he's like, dude, no, look at my new girlfriend. Or yeah, yeah. <laughs> dude, no, look at my situation. I'm like, that's not the way it goes. Yeah, I'm like, I can't speak for him if yeah. he hasn't put it out publicly. Yeah, yeah people need a deep dive. I don't know. Or do yeah. you have a date for his wedding? I do. You I do? do? Wow. Beautiful okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think yeah, that's yeah. a step. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, to, yeah. Uh, how mad is she when you don't claim her? Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a shot before you answer. Let's do that. Yeah, I'll, I'll let you listen to He's like, she don't get mad. She don't get mad. He's a dick. Because, bro, the Sebas, not... Sebas looks at me like, dude, no, keep going. <laughs> <laughs> this is great content, dude. No, no, she, just she, kill it. She don't get mad, bro, because I'm, I'm about privacy, not secrecy. You feel me? Yeah. Uh, so, we, you know, yeah. yeah. 
That's, but, what, that's where I'm at. So I, okay. she, she understands that. That's a conversation we had as a mature man, as an adult man. I had to sit, yeah. sit her down and say, like, hey, this is where I'm at. And this is, you know, and she respects that. She's on the same boat, too. So it's Are just you, finding somebody is, who, who it, just aligns with you. Obviously, you want your privacy, and we all do at some point. Yeah. What we do is like, of course. Uh, but um, is a part of you scared that the internet will ruin it? 100%. Oh. Yeah, and just to give him a little more like vulnerable and stuff, like I've been in a public relationship on the internet. I was pretty big. Like we were dating like for like three years and everything was out there, bro. To the point that I had to make a breakup video. Like it was just like a lot. And that's like so common nowadays, but this is, I'm talking back in like 2015. Like I was one of the OG people to do breakup videos. Nah, 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 nah. Yeah, yeah 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Breakup videos. For <laughs> like she made one, I made one. We shared the video to each other. I love sure you. It was cool. I mean, yeah, I got hella How videos. much money you make? Off that video, yeah. probably like 30K. That that month I made that much because uh, I didn't monetize that video. I just remembered. It was like the other videos that I had to monetize that came traction. Because you get a video that pops off on YouTube, all your other videos grow too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I you didn't get monetize that video it. specifically for like that reason. I didn't want it to be like a whole money grab. But how? Like it was genuine. Like we needed to tell people because people started speculating that I was like cheating on her. You know, because oh, I was, seeing, I I was out saying. and about with other girls and stuff like that. And they were like, yo, Josh is cheating. And then it just got crazy. It got super out of hand. That's how? crazy to do that, man. How have you stayed sane? He's not. <laughs> I know. I know, but how yeah, have yeah, you... Yeah, yeah, especially from all these years and being on social media for a while now. Yeah, how have you been like... That's one of my biggest friends. And cheers to you oh, guys. Cheers. Thank you guys again for coming yes, out. No, I know the drive's a little far off from you guys. No, not nah, bad. It was, not bad. it was true. Damn. It's him pretty smooth right now, it's no? It's smooth. Yeah, it's pretty smooth. Um... You you talking about like like uh, relationship wise? Cause like what he's saying is like, obviously you're blessed. You're about to get married with a beautiful girl. Congratulations on that. Thank you. Yeah. Um, and obviously he's done it already. Like, is there tips you give him? Obviously his relationship's at a whole other level, right? Yeah, yeah marriage sure. and everything. Yeah, yeah. But is you ever like, oh, like, hey, maybe don't post that. Nah, maybe man, don't not that. At all. No, no, I, I think I'm, I'm, I'm. I, I, I just I you feel like I'm no I just I'm at an age already where I just don't do that yeah okay y you know like don't get me wrong I'm I, you know you can even ask my fiance maybe when I first met her yeah maybe I've had some problems but I got with my girl before social media as well right no 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 what I'm saying is now that you're in social media yeah 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 like no I just the social media almost ruin something no never no. wow yeah I've been I've been I, I don't know I feel like I'm a good person and so is she. She doesn't, you know. No, 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 no. I think you guys are amazing. What I'm saying is the impact, the the people are the, invested, right? The they people are so invested in. that you're like, oh fuck this shit. Like, let's not do it. But if we don't do it, then people think we're cheating and just speculations. Oh. That's what I mean. I, like, obviously, you're not being a piece of shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but I, what I mean is like the sense of like how the internet, how he was saying, like, we broke up privately, but then I would be in McDonald's with a girl yeah. getting a McFlurry, and then I'm a piece of shit. I'm a cheater and yeah. Bada bing, bada boom. So that's what I mean. Like, yeah, yeah. I just feel like me and my fiance have a really good balance. You know, we have our private life and we have our social media life, and we're. I, I just feel like we just keep it a hundred. Wow. I, like I, I, I don't do anything sketch or anything like that. You know. What's like off limits? Because you podcast. <laughs> yeah. I podcast. You podcast. I get in trouble. <laughs> for the shit I say, <laughs> and not like in a bad way, but no, like, you, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but like sometimes I just be going on about stories, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I come, not come home because I don't live where you feel me, but like, I come home and it's like, jump on the phone with her. Oh, it's like, why'd you say that? Like I Facetime. I just seen the interview and I'm like, oh, cool, you liked it. Mm. <laughs> oh, bro. Uh, mm. And I'm like, what happened? She's like, so, so, so this happened. I didn't know about that. Yeah. And I'm like, dude, like it's like it's work, but it's like I wouldn't be where I'm at if I'm not being real yeah, with yeah, my yeah, people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So true, like, bro. do you guys get do your girls put boundaries on you guys? Like, hey, don't talk about when I fell on my face and broke the tooth and now I have a fake teeth. I haven't really got anything. <laughs> no, I haven't gotten that know? either. Yeah, I feel sorry like I to have be boring, like, but I swear. No, I but really... I feel like I have the self awareness to yeah. be like I probably shouldn't mention <laughs> that, you know. And sometimes I have slipped up, bro. I definitely have, you know. And then I feel bad, and then I try to like over explain myself, you know. And I, I'm in that same boat where I'm like, listen, I'm just caught up in the moment. I'm just yeah. being honest. This is yeah. part of the job. Like sometimes you podcasting, it's in the moment. You're yeah. right here. And then you like get off the podcast, you're like, oh damn, you start overthinking what you said and stuff like that. Yeah, 100%. And it's, like, and have, it's like about dating somebody who can understand that. 
Because yeah. a lot of people don't understand it. I definitely got to break it down every you gotta once break in it a down. while. You got to like, break it down. Yeah. Like, fool, it's not even like that. Like, this is this is what I do for a living. Yeah. The nice movie theater dates, this comes it's from this. <laughs> exactly. yeah. I think, though, your your partner or your significant other, I think it's nice that they they need to understand that. As yeah, well. absolutely. Um, absolutely. There has been a time, member. I, I don't know what the, the situation was. I, I remember. I where exactly I said something. Yeah, yeah. And then I asked my girl if it's okay if I said it because I thought it was hilarious. Yeah. But then, like, she was like, ah, I don't. she wasn't like, do not do that or don't do this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, or yeah, she wasn't yeah. mad. Yeah. She was just like, I just, I, I'd rather you not because it's, uh, was it like about my sex life or something? Something like that. Yeah, yeah. And, oh, and, and okay. I, and I said, That's and a valid one. Super yeah. valid one. And I said valid. something about my sex life, not, 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 not degrading anybody. Yeah. It was just something funny. And yeah, then yeah. she was just like, no, I'll just keep that private. Because they're going to associate it with her. A hundred. Yeah. Right off the bat. Which yeah. is so that's what I mean, which is like. Let's say well, after it was we're chilling right now. We don't we don't mean to hurt nobody, but yeah, man. I'm like, let's just say I go like, I went, uh, man. I'm gonna go to EDC, and you're like, man. I remember I fucked a million bitches at EDC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's like, uh, maybe you shouldn't show up nobody have a million bodies. Of course. Yeah, so course. I so I said half a million. Yeah. Because <laughs> imagine if I did say that. Yes. And then someone's gonna clip that and they just send it to my girl. Right. Yeah. And then my girl's like, what's this about? You know? Why'd you fuck a million people at EDC? Yeah. It's just. And then and no. then they start doing the times. Yeah. No. Yeah. Wow. And then yeah. it just. No, because <laughs> no I mean, you be, you, uh, uh, Josh, you know how it is. Uh, you probably know how it is too. Like being on social media. One time I was at. And I wasn't doing anything wrong, but me and my boys were at King Taco a long time ago. Um, and they posted me on Twitter. Like, hey, Sebas is at King Taco. Just randomly. But it just goes to show that anything that you do, like, it can be online in seconds. Yep. Yeah, and yeah, it I, I totally feel And it can get misconstrued. That example, obviously, is is very Yeah, easy. it's a light one, but just anything could be Yeah, anything yeah. can Taking be out of and immediately going there. And you know you you do have to be careful because everything in now in social media, especially if, if you're known, everything gets misconstrued, and sometimes it's fucked up for us because we're not doing anything. Mm -hmm. You know, I have friends that they say, "Yeah, I don't really like to go out because I'm in a relationship, and if I have boys' night and we go to the club and we're simply at a lounge or you know this and that, and turn into a whole and thing. maybe there's people on this side that that are next to us, and you know someone records me, I don't want it to be misconstrued into like you know we're with other people." That's my biggest fear doing this. Because you get burnt. Where I don't get to be, like, I do a lot of wild shit. Yeah. And it's not, like, crazy, like, I'm doing a whole eight ball of cocaine in front of anybody. Yeah. But every once in a while, I fucking black the fuck out, and I'm just drunk, like, passed out. Yeah. And my homies got to tell people, like, hey, don't record them right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, 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 and sometimes... I guess cracking and I'm macking, I'm macking it at the at the club with a bitty. Didn't that just happen to you recently? I, I felt I heard that at a, at a, in a podcast or something like oh, that. Oh, okay. First of all, let's not break up, not bring up my traumas. <laughs> <laughs> when I was macking at a club, I do it all the time. You know what it is? Doing us proud of macking it sometimes. Sometimes it's with tanks. Sometimes it's with models, pops. It happens, Paris. You know what I'm saying? Tanks, dude. I haven't heard that word in such a long time. Not the tanks. What your Jersey Shore say? Tanks. Tanks. Yeah. tanks. No, yeah. they said grenades. Grenades. Oh, grenades. 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 grenade whistle. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Have grenades. you guys ever grenade whistle somebody? What's that? What's that? <laughs> like you guys seen the big gun? Like abort. Never. Oh, like dip on the situation? Ah, oh, can I? Okay. Nah, not me. Just ask, bro. Oh, hey. I love the married life. Yeah. That's fair. I mean, before he was with his secret agent. Um, <laughs> She's my girl, bro. I got a girl, all right? God damn it, dude. Yes. I got a girl. You got it. <laughs> you got it. Because yeah. you don't give me a job. She's going to be like, why did you just say you had a girl? And I'm like, all right, I said it. I have a girl. Okay. okay. I'm happy I love for her. you. And she's fine. Secret <laughs> agent. <laughs> okay. Like, before he was with his girl... Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, she upgraded. Um, do you ever see him with a tank and you're like, oh, maybe that's not the one for you, nah, Josh? Nah, not me, bro. Nah, there's nah. nothing wrong with tanks, first of all. <laughs> <laughs> so let's not misconstrue that. There's nothing wrong with tanks, but I've never seen the Josh Leva with a tank. Nah. She, he's always been, you know. Which one of your homies in. is like a tank taker? Like he goes to war every once in a while. Damn, bro. Damn. I don't know. Do you have one? I don't have one. You're telling me all oh, your homies' girls are tents? All of my homies' girls are very beautiful, yeah. Right? Am I right or I wrong? I love this bro. political answer, but I'm going to let them have it with the little world they're in right now. Because I'm a mean guy. The, the homie PZ, he's 
He gets tanked. The homie the poet. No, there's nothing wrong with that. I nah, for it. the homie poet, the yeah. tank taker, pops. <laughs> nah, for the homie be at war, Afghanistan, out. Boom, boom, boom. Is yeah. there is there like a like a certain type of tank that is like better than the other tanks? Is there tank tears? Yeah, is there tank tears? <laughs> 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 um yeah i mean i don't think there's exactly tank tiers but there's like there's like there's like there's like levels to this like you know what i mean like the homie p what's considered a tank damn a tank yeah, a tank it. pops but look but look but look but look because we have names for our, like if she ugly but got a nice body the homies call her like a monster okay you know what i'm saying we call her like a monster if she like a little chunky but you can still knock it down she might be a little you know little tanks off either a little, little tank taker. <laughs> you feel me? She might be you a little tank You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Would you rather it's, have a little tank or a monster? They're just, they're just levels. I mean, depends. depends like if the, the night's fade. going well, depends on I'll take down a monster. Like her face don't look any different now. Yeah, yeah. And when I'm worried about the body, but I'll take down a monster. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you feel me? I go to war every once in a while. <laughs> but I ain't gonna lie. They, like the girls I'm with, like if I'm with the girl officially, they're tense, pops. You know yeah. they can hang out with your squad. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but every once in a while at the club, you know. But I'm young. Yeah, bro. Yeah, I didn't yeah. realize how young you were. Were you guys taking tanks when you were younger? I've, no. I'm sure. I'm sure I have, bro. I'm sure. <laughs> just like, just how long have you been in a relationship for? Bro, I've been. That, that, that's why, like, probably the wrong person asked. I've been with my girl since I was 19, Damn. and I'm 30. I'm about to be 33 next week. My man. What are you doing for your Dude, birthday? I keep forgetting it's my fucking birthday because my bachelor's Ooh, next you're week. You're 10 years older than me. Yeah. Damn. 10. Damn. 30, I was born 1990, yeah. So hey, you're when you born got with your girl. 2000? 2000. I was in the fifth grade. Yeah. Does that make you feel crazy? What are you doing for your bachelor party that I wasn't invited to? Uh, we're going to uh, <laughs> we're going to the Dominican Republic. It's very nice. Cameras are being taken? No. Cameras? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> you guys are YouTubers. Uh, no, I, bro, situations like that, I don't like to be on my phone at all. Yeah, I just exactly. want to chill, bro. Exactly. I want. I, honestly, I, I was telling uh, Josh on the way over here. I was like, I like, I just can't wait to do nothing, bro, and just enjoy you guys and get fucked up. That's it. Wow. Okay, I'm proud yeah. of you. Yeah. Yeah. Hold up. We're some church Sup shit, bro. Surprises, G. We land in Punta Cana, my boy. Get that Mama Juana, <laughs> bro. The people in Dominican, like shout out to all my Dominican like fam, like they're sick, bro. Dominicans are funny, bro. Dog, I'm. Uh, we were supposed to go to the DR for the homies' bachelor. Yeah. But one of them's a fucking immigrant. One of the groomsmen. Oh, shit. oh man. The homie Marvin just ruined the rest of the trip for all of so us. So then he can't go. So we're fucking stuck to fucking Vegas. Vegas. <laughs> like, fuck. What the fuck are we? The Hangover. That's for white people. <laughs> I was trying to go get a crack in Dominican Republic and tell them I got papers. Yeah. Promise yeah. them a life over here and they just yeah. get it booming. Nah, Dominican is <laughs> cracking, bro. But now I'm stuck in the fucking Vegas. Hopefully the Earl's playing out there. We gotta do something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When yeah, you it? get the plug. When is it? Uh he's when is he? We're the homie, we're going in August. Oh, okay. But you know what we might do? Instead of going there, we might just have him really sit it out and then we might just go to um You guys can go to Mayo? To, nah, that for the name, he's a fucking DACA recipient. Oh, fuck. So he could be here, he just can't travel outside the country. And I'm like, Damn. we don't want to fuck everything up for us. <laughs> and I ain't gonna lie, that's my and boy. He has to be there. Shout out Marvin, but I'm like, hey, fool, like, honestly, you're selfish, man. <laughs> 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 like, for real. like, you're a piece of shit, fool. Like, <laughs> and he has to be there. He doesn't have to. The homie's like a very nonchalant fool, but the groom, the homie, the homie Junior, he's he like, him. he's, he's on, like a high nine. He's, he's like, a, everybody be included. And I'm like, he's a bitch, fool. Like, yeah. but I guess, you know, I feel it like you want to feel like and he's the one getting married. He's the one getting so we gotta follow his wishes. So he's getting married soon, right? In October. Oh wow. Yeah. And then you're part of the court? Yeah. Have you ever been a groomsman? Never. Are you excited? Can I have some tips? Yeah, man. Just be down for whatever and look nice, be sharp, take care of the I've been at the gym, pops. I've been meal prepping. I've been, 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 been meal prepping. Working. I see that. I don't like how you guys post about the gym. It makes me feel like shit. Why? No, it doesn't. Like you're driving We're your here nice car. <laughs> you put your how many miles you around. Like I get it. What a piece of shit. Like <laughs> nine hundred calorie club. Nine hundred cal <laughs> you burn nine hundred calories in one workout session? In one hour, yeah. Is that healthy? Shit. Yeah, but I think it's fine. That's gains, Absolutely. baby. Yeah. That's Shit, gains, the, the, baby. The, the, the more calories I burn, the, the more I get to eat whatever I want. And you just run? No, boxing, I do boxing, strength training, yeah. shit like that. Wow. Yeah, have you boxed? Like, have you had like, yeah, a boxing? Yeah, I'm good at it. Yeah. Dude, I ain't gonna lie. That shit you got was... hands? I got, I got, I got, I got like, I got like straight hands. Like I think if I were to go to one on one with a box, I'd probably get my ass beat. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But like, if if I could like, like you I could get, defend you myself. Yeah, you yeah, yeah. yeah. Facts, one hundred percent. Yeah. Are you just like weightlifting right now? Yeah. I, well, I do a lot of cardio, so I have okay. like leg day, yeah, arm day, push yeah. day, back day. Yeah. But I feel like I need to shock my body again. What do you mean? Like, like do you I shocked it when I first started my weight loss journey. Yeah. So I lost forty pounds within the last like six. Wow. 
almost oh it's about to be a year like four but i got stuck i got i got You're stuck plateaued. So I need to like get back into a new routine. That's why I started meal prepping again. Yeah. Drinking hella water. And then I want to get back into swimming. Oh, oh swimming, wow. you burn a hell So I grew up swimming. Bro. So that was yeah, like a workout that, that's just like, I feel like it's really good for your body. Yeah. Keeps me fit. Yeah. And 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 my lungs are like, like my homies that weigh 100, 120 pounds less than me get tired before me. Can I tell you the so number you one thing to lose weight? Number one thing? No Crap. more drinking. I know. It's I don't tough. drink beer though. It doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. Alcohol in general. And I'm not saying stop drinking, right? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, let's party it up. Who cares? Yeah, yeah. But that is the number one thing. Because if you drink alcohol. You want to take another shot? Yeah, take <laughs> yeah, a shot. Let's take a shot for that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> drinking. Yes or no? Drinking yeah, alcohol yeah. stops. It sets you back. St stops uh, making protein in your body. It sets you back. Your metabolism stops. Your testosterone. You can't, like, if you work out, like, you don't get gains like that no more. <laughs> you won't, like, your, your, your testosterone stops everything. Yeah. It fucks you up. But we love it. But I, yeah, dog, that's a problem, bro. It's the, it's the, it's the, it's the, it's the grandpa in us. It's yeah. like our, our deals in us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's culture. Uh huh. Let me ask you something though. When did you start drinking? Re real talk. Nah, real talk. That plays a big part why I look a lot older than a lot of people my age do, and that's no cap. My shout out Mr. Roscoe, my PT show used to be like, you drink beer like you're a deal, and you don't work like a deal, right? And this she's. She's like, you're, and I'm work. like, and I'm like, my uncle don't look that old, and he drinks. He's like, yeah, but your uncle also works construction in the hot sun and sweats so out active. everything. She's like, you're a 13 year old, 14 year old kid that drinks 40s at seven in the morning. Back? Wow, at seven in the that morning. I used to drink 40s at, bro. I was, in I drank school? 40s from the age of like 13 to 18 oh, yeah. when I stopped drinking after my homies passed away, and I started drinking again when I was 21, but only liquor. Uh, you don't do beer anymore? I don't do beer. At all? I don't do beer, no seltzers. Ever. Right now, I'm doing Red Bull because we have it. But I usually just do tequila and, and sparkling water. Sponsor? Red Bull? Yeah. Shout out Red Bull, man. Damn. Yeah, yeah. Shout That's out big, Red Bull. Bro. I'm, I'm going to invite Rats, you guys man. to some thing where me and Red Bull are doing some dope Latino connecting world thing. I love that. We'll be and, there. And I already, have, I already put you guys under. Oh, thank you. So we just need the email. I'll get the email from you. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. we already put you guys under before. Bro, before this. That's, that's huge. Red before Bulls. you guys invited and me to La Plata. Te, te un fridge y todo. Yeah, I got the fridge, get the little package every month. And, and it's not like I'm getting paid, but we, we have a really good relationship. Yeah, absolutely. They've given me a lot of opportunities. They flew me out of Miami before. Wow. They just show love. They're open to my crazy ideas. They're crazy. Red Bull's yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're willing they're the to like, crazy. I'm like, hey, Red Bull, I want to jump off a cliff. They're like, how can we work? And they're yeah. with it. You yeah, know, they're yeah. there. They we, we worked a lot. So shout out Red Bull. Yeah, shout out Red Bull. Yeah. Hey, hit us drink, up. Drink Red Bull. Drink Red Bull. <laughs> Cheers. 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 Salute. And drink salute. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about salute a little bit. Because <sighs> it's getting easier to drink, bro. It's getting dangerous. Yeah, I know. Yeah. That might be it. I still got to go to Vegas. No, hold on real quick. about Before salute. I was asking you, when, when did you start drinking? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I started drinking at the age of like, thank you for bringing me back. I love that. Appreciate Podcasters. you. Podcasters. Podcasters. <laughs> oh, I started drinking like the age of like 13. Mm -hmm. Okay. And but I'll, like like drinking, drinking. Drinking or like, or like, like food. Like, or like your deals gave you a little chance. No, no, no. no like like drinking. I'm going to show you a picture. Up. I'm going to show you a picture of me at 14, fool. Wow. Just so I could like. So what I'm And I'll send it to you, Fuego, so you can put so, it up here. So what I'm trying to get at, and even, even everybody listening. Yeah, yeah. From, you said then you stopped, right? Then you stopped and then you started at 21 again? This is me at 14. Damn. Young Duno. Young Dunoskis with the homegirls and the homies. Let me see. Just doing it up. Let me see. Are you looking at the calories in the beer? No. <laughs> Let me count it no, up. No, I, I, I was wondering what kind of sweater you're wearing. It looks like a Pro 5 or a Shaka. <laughs> hey, remember, remember, I'm from Norwalk, so I, I know, you know what the hoodie. Is. Honestly, it was a regular hoodie. It was a bummy was hoodie. Was it? It was a bummy hoodie. It was a bummy hoodie. Okay. I was poor, fool. Did you ever have a chirp phone? I'm not that old, fool. Oh, I was yeah, born in I 2000. Had a, oh, oh, yeah. I had, I had like That's the, right. <laughs> you have a chirp phone? You never had Nextel? You never had a Nextel phone? No, fool. I had, sick, there was, bro. There was iPhones. No way. Sidekick was the last thing that there you guys probably There was iPhones, huh? Yeah, I had like, I think at the moment I had like the first one with the button. Maybe maybe I even just had an iPod and I connected to the Wi-Fi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Were, 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 were sidekicks cool when you were young? I when I was like in the fourth grade. Yeah, damn. I, I, didn't, I got my first phone in middle school. When'd you get an Instagram? This was his first pick, G. No, no. It was my first <laughs> right, Instagram That's started. A filter right Instagram, there. Has, Instagram started 2010. Bro, oh, you man. would drink King Cobras? They look cold, though. They look delicious. <laughs> they look good, right? Tan frias, güey. 
damn, you know what? I just thought of a dope idea we should do. What? I'm not gonna. I'm gonna just put it out there because we gotta do it. What forty ounces? Is it? No, we we us three go to a club and we tie forties to our hands. <laughs> and we we Edward forty hands. Just Edward go. forty hands. That's what it's called. <laughs> and just go crazy at the club. <laughs> and then we can only untie them once we finish them. Facts. Yo, low key that. though. Quick. Low key, my best night. I'll as, finish as that a quick. Seventeen, quick. eighteen, nineteen, twenty year old uh -huh. was when we would just drink forties, bro. That's the best. Yeah, it's the best. Local, it's the best drunk. It's like a chill drunk. But then you go to sleep right after. Yeah. yeah. You get sleepy. Con dos fun. tango, bro. Yeah. Fool. But then I, I was. When I was, what, 21, 20? How old were you? If you're 10 years apart, he was like 11, 12. When you were 21, I was 11. Okay, yeah. so, so I don't know if you ever got into the Four Locals stage. because So the Four Locals popped Probably off not, when bro. you were like 20-something. 21, 21, 22, yeah. 22. Okay, so Four Locals popped off them. The first time I tried it, I was like 14, 15. But remember, you guys were drinking it when people were dying off yeah, it. Yeah, blackout on the can. That's yeah, what they yeah. used to call it. We were drinking it when they took the percentage down. Oh. Because they went, like, they went wrong, They went right? from... Bro, yeah, like, you yeah, gotta, they disappeared. You got to think about it, bro. My my mom was like, my mom had four fucked up kids. You know what I'm saying? So you being she, one of them? She, me being super one of them. <laughs> but she she had to like, <laughs> Tough you know, she was like on my sisters and me. But, bro, she, that was like, it was killing kids. Remember, yeah. it was crazy. Absolutely, bro. People no, were dying. Not yeah. only was it killing people by the actual drink, it was making people... Do stupid do shit. Do stupid shit. Yeah. Um, it was loaded with sugar, loaded with caffeine, loaded with alcohol. Honestly, honestly it was like- People an were having heart attacks. It was like a dead drink. Within like an hour. It's crazy. Yeah, and 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 so I got it back when- Yeah. It when got regulated. Because it went from like 15% to like 7 I think. I, yeah. I could be wrong. Yeah, it was at 14, 15. So we had the potent mm. one. So you food had the one that was like- With one, you're- Faded. Yeah, okay. No, I had with one. one and a half. Ya no te acuerdas de nada. I had the one where it but, was like where you could sip it. Yeah. But also, I never got into them like that. Yeah, they were no. really sweet. Yeah. But the second time they came around, they weren't as popular as they were the first time around. They were popular because I feel like it's like the new buzz. It was like the buzz ball. The buzz ball. Because I mean, people I be drinking like four locos before we go to the club. And like, you know, at 18, 19 years old, and sorry, I'm not don't drink. Yeah, no, no, no. Don't do that. Right? I always tell people don't like, do that. I'm not. I'm, for, I'm not saying it's cool. It's not. <laughs> I'm just being real. Yeah. But, you know, at the 21 and up clubs, when I wasn't 21 yet, I'm being real. I was drinking, but, you know, you 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 fade in the car, and then that's what everybody was drinking was Four Locos, because one Four Loco, you'd be kind of faded for the rest of the night. A hundred percent. And and for, I mean, I think everybody's, like, the way each generation kicked it was different. So my sister's generation, like, she's your guy's age. Okay. It was like, there was a lot more... Underage clubs. 100%, bro. Yeah, like there was They're like everywhere. 17, 16. Yeah. yeah, all ages. They were called all, all, ages, all ages clubs. And yeah. that's crazy to me. I didn't go to a club till I started popping. Really? Yeah, I, bro, I never, I went to my first bar at the age of 21 because we were doing the functions. You guys were too, the house yeah, party the crews and all that. Oh, yeah, yeah. And the kickbacks. Yeah. But yeah. There, party was no, there was no all ages clubs for us. Wow. The first, the one club that everybody went to, P, was what? Florentine in Hollywood? What's okay. La Mirage? What about La Mirage? Right there? It, but yeah, but it's 18 plus. That was the first, but only 18. I'm thinking about you guys were probably going to clubs like at 17, 16. Well, at that, at my age, at that time, I was living in fucking Temecula. So anything that I would do is I'd go all the way to San Diego or I'd come to LA, but I tend to come to LA more because I'm from Norwalk. And then, so you had your, so all your I remember I'd go to Montebello. I think it was Montebello. QC. No, it was called Pulse. Club no, Pulse. Pulse. Do you remember that? And and, and Club who Pulse used to, was and, cracking. And, and I think OMJ and Major Hype used to DJ that. And he's your age, my yeah. homie. Bro, Club but Pulse. But it was all ages. All ages. All ages. See what I'm saying? Yeah. But they would sell liquor and shit because there was, they would it was do 21. The X's on the hands. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, X's on the hands. Yeah. You, oh, the worst is when you get X on the hands, you get no girls anymore. <laughs> yeah. 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 Bro. But Club Pulse was cracking, bro. So Especially they don't have all ages clubs anymore? That's not a thing? Fuck no, bro. You, the way the internet, bro, wow. it, the food's like, that's what I'm saying, though. That's why your guys, like, I would, I'm I'm blessed to be raised around older foods, and my lifestyle has kind of, like, got me to mature. But, like, yeah, like, it's, it's not the same, bro. It's not the same. Because it, it, I, I was sitting here with, shout out my boy, um, OMJ, who runs OC Day Party. And the homie major hyping them. They were sitting, we're just talking, you know, chopping it up. And they were giving me the rundown on things. And I was like, there was all eight, like at 15, yeah. you go to a club? Yeah. yeah. And then the homie major was like, yeah, there used to be this thing called Strawberry Sundays. 
<laughs> and I'm like, oh yeah. God. yeah. And I'm like, there was all ages, and he was, and then he's around your guys' age too. Yeah. He might be a little younger than you guys. Yeah. And, okay. and, and, yeah, same. And, yeah, same. 30, and, and then the homie Vic too, and he was like, oh, Vic. He's like, yeah, we, there was all ages. I'm like, so you were at a club at like 16, 17. Easy. Yeah, easy. Easy. And they're like, yeah, and and if and if you weren't, everybody had fake IDs. Yeah, yeah. Like it was cracked down at the yeah, moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like it was, it was an open game, and I was like, what? It was blowing my mind. Yeah, I also think that there's not really such things right now. I don't hear about it. I don't know if it's because I'm not really in the scene, but I don't know if there's like 18 and up clubs either. There's definitely 18 and up clubs. Like, well, they're not paying me, so we're not giving a shout out. But I mean, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, nah, but there's like La Mirage. Yeah. There's like uh, Pomona. I mean, so there's still like around. there's still like around Carnaval. Yeah, of course, there's 18. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 18 and plus clubs are never gonna go. That's where the money's at. Yeah. You yeah, think about it. Unless you're racist. It's just entry, yeah. right? Like it's just entry, and then you can't well, drink alcohol. What was, what was the club at the Kodak Theater? Um, it was called D. D oh my God, bro. DX. Yes. Yeah. 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 DC2 yeah. 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 No. no. It, it was, was like a number. By it was like, like a Kiss number. FM. Yeah. 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 Um, it DBA. was called DBA. DBA. Bro. DBA was crack. Crack. That was eighteen bro. plus, bro. Like if you were at if you were at DBA, as like an 18, 19, 20 year old, because it was all ages. No, I think it was 18 and was up. 18 so plus. to me, 18 and up is all ages. Because if you're 17, 16, what the fuck are you even doing there? But if it's 18 and up, to me, that's an all age club. Yeah. But DB Club DBA, and they would announce that shit on like Power 106, Power 106 or like Kiss FM. They ran it and they would play the DJ mixes on the radio as well. So like Friday nights, Saturday nights were cracking on the radio because the They're DJ that was playing at that club at that moment was. Streaming it on Damn, radio. I forgot. Wow. Yeah. yeah. No, but DBA was dope. Like if like if you wanted to see people, you go to DBA. Where city was that? In? LA Kodak Theater. Kodak Theater. Hollywood. Right there on Hollywood, off Sunset. Hollywood Boulevard, Isn't yeah. that Sunset or yeah, Hollywood Sunset, Boulevard? Yeah. Yeah. yeah for the stars are. Where the stars are? Yeah. Yeah. yeah right right there. Oh, it's probably not even a. Yeah, inside the mall. Second. Yeah. Yeah. Crack. Oh, God. Bro. No fucking like. But that's what I'm saying though. Like, I didn't. We didn't get to enjoy that. Damn. Like, I didn't, we we were, the, bro, like, our thing was, like, kick it out views and get lit. You like know what I'm saying? Like, a scenery? Like, looking? A at, view, like, we look, yeah. but I also grew up in downtown LA, like, Deco Park area, yeah, so yeah. we had dope views. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, but it was, like, get drunk at views, get drunk at random stairs, go to Function all the way in South Central, we paid five bucks, there's probably a shootout in Nas being sold, and that was the, that was it. So, when I, I can't tell you the first time I went to a club, but it was, it definitely wasn't before I turned 18. Was it what you expected when you first went to a club? The, oh, actually, I'm wrong. The first club I went to was La Mirage. And 18 over, yeah. It was like... It's whack. It was mid? Yeah, it's mid. It's mid. I was 18 and... What What are some requirements now that you need and when you go to a club? You know what it is? Not even the requirements. It's just like... Because I got requirements. Because it's like, cause it's like now I'm popping. Service. Like, I need a table. I need somewhere to sit. I need okay. space. Me, you, we're on the same. But see, but it's, but you weren't always like that. Nah, nah. But see, Hell no, you I didn't get to enjoy. <laughs> I, I didn't get to enjoy that. Yeah. I popped off as soon as I popped off. You went straight into the bougie stuff. I went straight into the section. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn. So, like. You weren't in the cut, bro. So, like, my homies, like, these fools are spoiled. <laughs> you were talking about that. Like fool. No, he was saying that y'all fools don't know how to act. He this said that. kicking his legs. <laughs> he said y'all be stealing shit. <laughs> oh, no. The super ghetto homies be stealing oh, shit. Oh, it's not them. Nah, oh, he, okay. uh, nah the homies just rat He's out there, yeah. That's because that's cause, that's cause I have different, like, the tank like, 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 like PZ's my brother, too. That's my brother. He's, yeah. me, before we met through the homie Ma R.I.P., that's, that's how we met the day the homie passed away. But me and PZ are like brothers, brothers. But my other homies... You know, like, you just can't bring everybody to everything. No, and PZ yeah, and them are kind yeah. of in the scene. They have their own clothing brand. They kick it with me. They're like a, they're part of when, like, the homies at LOC, like, my my company, but the, the kind of like the, the what we live by is kind of like, that started in high school with just me and my friends. Like, yeah. oh, the homie, like, it's just, it just something we say, and it's just a saying that we say. And PZ and them are part of the homies, but then there's other fools that are part of the homies that don't give a fuck about what I do. Got it. They're like, that's your life. We'll go live it. We'll yeah. Meet us up after at the dead end and get drunk with us. Yeah. But every once in a while, I take them to the club and they live it up. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? They get the bottle service. They get the thing. And then every once in a while, I have my super ghetto homies. Yeah. And it's like, you fucking idiot. Why'd you do that? What for? I just saw. And I'm like, you're fucking in my relationship, fool. But I don't get mad at them. PR. It's, it's just PR. Yeah. I don't get <laughs> mad at them, you know? But it's just like, you fucking idiot. But it just, you have to, it's, you know what it is? You have to choose my pairs. Yeah. So I have like a homie. I have a homie named Ramsey and I have a homie named Evro. I don't bring them to clubs together. It's either one or the other. Yeah, yeah. Because if they're together, is is a shit show. God. I'm I'm babysitting two kids. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
But if I choose one or the other, they're both amazing. No party would love them to death. You feel me? The homie Ramsey just became a dad. Love him. Yeah. Homie Everett, love him to death. Been my best friend since we're 11, 12. But I can't have them together. Cause they're a shit show. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, but they know each other though, right? Uh, yeah, they're brothers. Yeah. We're all from the same. We're all from. Yeah, we all grew yeah, up yeah. together. It's like, okay, who am I bringing today? Yeah. <laughs> and then it's like, it's a good speed. It's a good feeling spoiling you the homies. Though. Amazing. And it's like the homies owner. He's from the block too, but he's super calm. Yeah. Damn. Super duper calm. And he just wants to come. He brings his girl. He just wants to vibe out. Every once in a while, no boys key. night, I just take all the homies, and they get to do it up. You know, they get to do something they don't do. Normally, yeah, and, and, and it's not about like bragging because you know they have regular jobs and shit, but like the homie peasy and them, they work, they're kind of in my scene, they're in my yeah, yeah, they're yeah in my, same world. So they're in my same world a you little can relay as, a lot. You would say so they're with me more. So they're used to going to the club and we get the bottle service and we do it up. Yeah. The other homies aren't with me all the time. And it's it's not because I don't want to bring them. Sometimes they just they're doing their own thing or yeah, I'm just yeah. busy. And when they do come, it is dope to live it up. But I always tell them, you're more than welcome to, you're more than invited. But I like food. You can't act stupid. Yes. I don't know exactly what happened. To this day, I don't know. The homies claim they don't know what happened. And I'm like, you fucking idiot. You guys got bottles thrown at you? What happened? No. They're stolen. They stole oh. bottles. They stole bottles from the bar and then brought them to the section <laughs> and then drinking them. Oh, my God. Which I've done God. before, too, actually. And nobody caught you guys? <laughs> Which I've done before, too. But they did? No, they <laughs> caught it. They didn't catch them at the moment. But it's also, also it, we were deep. It was like 50 homies. They're not going to fuck with y'all. So they're like, ah, let's yeah, just let it go. Yeah. But, but. It it makes me and 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 I'll take like I'll be like hey my fault fool like the homies didn't mean nothing like yeah, yeah. they meant no harm bro like really they didn't fool like it was just Did it was a misunderstanding my body is what it was. they didn't the the dude wanted a relationship and I was like I feel it though but he I was what? like he what he wanted to, like he wanted to keep building a relationship because yeah, yeah, I yeah. didn't know I was like I was like don't put that on my homies. Where's, like, what the fuck? Where's, where's one of your like favorite places to go to with your homies? Whether it be a club, restaurant, lounge. Oh, wow. Oh man! Like, oh, like, 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 what's the go-to spot? Burn it. Well, or just bleep it out. But I want to know. For uh, for I, I'm a, I, I'm a bleep it because we we go here and we just vibe out. We're gonna bleep this. Is Write it, it down. Spot? It's a brunch spot. A oh, brunch spot. It's called this. Bro, where's it at? Have you been there? I have. I and have. it's in. They have a bunch of whole like lucha flores and a bunch of like art paintings, almost like a mamá por dios, like the style of it. Does it have um the Virgin Mary once you enter? I gotta show you. It's on the main street. Yes, parking sucks. Yeah, parking's terrible. I love it. Me and the homies go, go there side. every once in a while. Oh, fuck it. We call it Mitos. Dude, mm -hmm. I had like lunch. We just there call with it that. Like an inside bro. joke. It's a restaurant, too, right? It's like, it's like a, a restaurant. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's in Borderline. Oh, wow. And then it's a vibe. We go there. We just have fun. We drink some mimosas and get litty. We go there. Where we go, P? And it's cracking. There's music and shit. Oh, we love what's it called? We love going to underground raves like at 4 a.m. Where? They still exist? Yes. Sold out. You gotta wait a line. No. No way. Yes. They have wow. sections and shit? Like No, they... it's just there are no sections. Fool, you know what we should the do? The bartender is like <laughs> it's just like just a wall where people bartend. It's not yeah. even a real bar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I feel like you'd be really good at this, but like if you you go, you go kind of lit, not too lit though, because you yeah. need to perform. Mm, cheers. I feel like you'd be really cheers. good at this. Go to like an underground uh, rave and kind of like like do a documentary on it, but like a funny one. Mm. Man, salute! Damn, we finished off that bottle, dog. What the fuck? It, crazy, right? Hey, have you ever have, have you ever realized sometimes? Because we basically finished the bottle, right? Yeah. Do you realize that we have a regular no, it, oh, maybe okay. Okay. regular uh, other people would probably <laughs> black out? Yeah, it comes with our. Do you blame, like, does, does somebody ever, let's like, say your mom or your dad, whoever sees your podcast, they go like, Sebas, Josh, mijo, you guys drink a little too much. Oh, I get that all And then time. do you all guys, the do you guys, I, this is what I do. It's for work. <laughs> yes. Did we just have this uh, conversation yeah. yesterday with yeah. the, the, yeah. the, the yeah, yeah, we did. Yeah. He says every day, we're almost drinking every day, and but it just comes, like, literally. It's a great social we're thing. Magnets, we're magnets to tequila. <laughs> That's like, not it's what you insane. Are. Hey, having a problem with alcoholism, it's not the same thing as wanting to drink it. For sure. So I think with us, it's like, uh, let's take a shot. Yeah. And right. have you guys on here, and I'm blessed. We are. I, we are as well. Well. So Cheers. I already took Absolutely. mine. Yeah. We, were, we were super pumped on coming, yeah. bro. And oh. Can I just say that 
You like this new setup? I like setup it a lot. You know, you know, you know what? You know I what? like it a lot. And I'm a bit, I, I geek out on setups and like, yeah. I, I even like your, 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 your um, they're not, tri well, yeah, they're, they're like, they're like, they're like mic stands. The mic stands. I like your mics. I like uh, that you have the roadcaster over there. Pretty you know what you're doing, bro. Like, yeah. And then you got people right here with nice cameras. Lights. I know what kind of camera that is. That's a nice camera. That's a nice camera. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> I, I, ju I just want to give you, you know, flowers. Like, you even got the soft lights and shit. You like the soft lights? Soft lights are nice, bro. They're not lights, they soft. <laughs> I, I really I noticed all that shit, you know? You know what's crazy? I went to your guys' spot and remember I told you I was like, I'm a fan. Like I like your guys' setup. And I think and and I went and I was like, dude, this shit is sick. And I was like, fuck yeah. I was like, I gotta I was like, I gotta I, I get inspired by other shit. Yeah, me too. And I think when I was there, I was like, hell yeah. Like one of the main things when people come here is like, yeah, they can't see it, but like I have this wall where everybody just tags all the I saw that all the guests. Shit is dope, and it's bro. like and it's dope when people come here, they go like, what the fuck? Like, that this person was here. This person was here, this yeah. person was here, and, it, and, it's, and it's dope. So that's kind of the situation. When I was at your guys' spot, I was like, man, I love all that shit. I was like, no, that's just shit. Um, I'm very inspired here. Appreciate you. For yeah, real. Like, for What's real. one inspiration you're going to take home with you? I don't know. You know what it is? I think it's your homies. I think having your homies here and they support you and they're listening to you and they're laughing yeah. and they're being real. Chiming in and stuff like that. Cause, Cause, well, cause they're you, both you, working. He's just here because we're going to Sure, 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 <laughs> sure. But you guys leaving right after this? I'm leaving right after this. You, yeah, I, I, I changed it back because I was like, they can't do it. I was like, I gotta make it happen for the boys. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah. Because you guys flicked on me. I know. When? Yeah, we oh, flicked. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> remember we had, we, yeah. we had the no, meeting, I remember, I remember. and I'm so sorry, bro. See, we already flicked on him. <laughs> didn't post. We, we, we didn't post this. <laughs> Damn, it's not looking good. It's not looking good, <laughs> it's my not man. Looking good. All right. No, but but for real, it's. it's you're, I was really the man. Bro, <laughs> your, your space is like like Appreciate bigger than you. ours. Yeah. Um, but your setup and like I said, your 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 boys are here and. They genuinely laugh about the dumb shit you say. Man, and that's dope. Amazing. I like that. It's like, a vibe. How, it's it's it? an energy. Because every time it's we film, no más somos solos with our guests or yeah. just us. Like, and we have to it. put our guests, like, uh, the guests' guests, like, in the hallway and stuff like that, and they can't be a part of it, and they want to. Yeah, but it's a know? good energy. It's yeah, really yeah, so cool. one of the things, like, I've, I've learned from, like, even, like, when I was at No Jumper, you... You want the commodity in the background. Mm -hmm. It helps. And I remember you guys telling me that because your guys' spot is a little smaller. Yeah. People can't always be there. And I know sometimes guests have like their PR with them. And stuff yeah, like yeah, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. So when I was changing, it used to be on that side, which was, oh, just, it was, it was ugly. Okay. It was just not it. It just, I didn't feel like me. I didn't feel like, I like the dark vibes. I like the, the yeah. lights booming. Like, I'm more moodier. I, I was able to put, there's more room. I was able to put my homies up there. Just give it space, give it flavor, right? And then I was like, but I was like, I need to set it up to where like his, the, whoever's team comes. Let's like, say so you guys came with 30 people. Yeah. There's room for everybody. Everybody can chill. Everybody can sit down. There's a bar right there. Go get it. I love that, man. You know what I'm saying? So that's something that we like, I like always like preach to the team. It's like always, you know, vision. you want something to feel like home. Camaraderie. Did I say the horny bar? You like that? Yeah. Hey, I like that a lot. Do you know how to tag? Yes. You did that? Are I you didn't do that. My homie Ramsey, one of the ones that I got to switch with the other one. Yeah. He did that. So, Is so there... they're good at that. So if you guys need some graffiti, yeah, tap me in. Is, I mean, is, graffiti on the is, wall is, is, your, is your homie, you said Zoner? The homie Zoner. Is he a tagger? Yeah. I you you seen was. his name? No, he just has a tagging name. Oh, yeah. No, he's like a, he's like going to be legend? a legend in the city. No way. He, you guys. How would I know that? Because I'm from Norwalk. Yes. <laughs> you just raised like that. I like hi. The homie, mm -hmm. Zo, like the name Zoner, for whatever reason you call him that, yeah. or he wants to be called that, but that's a tagger name. Yeah, no, no. And, and and you know what's funny? Let's keep having this conversation because his girl loves you guys. Oh, no way. Yeah. That's always a story. That's always a story. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah. hey, some folks be coming up to me like at the mall or yeah. at the restaurant. You know, yeah. they be coming yeah. up to us. And they be like, like my hyena loves be like, you. Hey, sometimes it's like, yo, bro, I can't believe I met you guys. Like, I'm a big fan. My girl put me on. It's always that story. It's always, um, which is dope. I love yeah. ladies. Thank you so much. Like, sometimes, like, yes, our... our um, our demographic is mainly chicks, yeah. which, which is amazing because chicks are the best supporters. Really, to be even our relationships lame. <laughs> Continue, and because of our relationships or whatever, but it's, it's mainly chicks. But I love it when guys come up to me and they they, they support the the pod. It's, yeah. it's, it's dope. Yeah. It's it hits really different. Cool. It, hits it hits different. different. Yeah. 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 Now yet uh, the homie's owner is like, that's like my that's like my brother, brother. Yeah, yeah. So when I did La Plata guy, he's like, yeah, fucking cat was up watching them fools with you. And I was like, who? <laughs> and then I was like, oh, La Plata He's like, yeah, she's always watching them fools early in the morning. Yeah. And they be, they, they, they be saying stupid shit, dog. But he's cool. He's just, he's like, that's my girl <laughs> yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, you guys, yeah. you're saying like his name's owner. Like, I'm, I'm going to be like, hey, you got to post a clip. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's legendary. Bro. I'm going to show you guys this shit. Really? Yeah, yeah I he's love like, to. I love all that. He's like a. I mean, I was raised with all that shit. He's going to win. He's going to win like. like he's, Tiger of the year? 
like in in our world. In our world, he's gonna be like legend. Fool, he's fucking killing the game. Does he post all that? All the shit. Honest, that he yeah, does? he don't show his face. I can't. Yeah, yeah. Like when we're at the gym working yeah. out. Dang, fool, why did I hit it on the nail, G? <laughs> he's sick, huh? He's super sick. So when uh, so when Where we're at the, the gym. Where did the come from? I don't know. Like my name Duno doesn't mean nothing. It comes from my graffiti name too. Oh shit. My shit don't mean shit though. Literally, my name has no meaning to it. It just. It just kind of came about. <laughs> it just well, came obviously, about. you can't put your face. Have, then... you, have you ever shared your real name? Your... Yeah, yeah. Um, Daniel, Danny. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. My name yeah. is. It, it kind of goes out of hand. Like, yeah, Danny. He's, yeah, like he's, he's super sick, sick, huh? Who started calling you Duno? My, um, what's it called? My older sister, Cookie. I was thinking of a nickname to start tagging, like, in the seventh grade. Why? Because you thought you knew everything? No, it's not why. I wish that was where my name came from, but it's literally like don't. Like I literally don't know shit. Like oh, <laughs> like don't know. Like don't know. Like, yeah, like it's kind of like when you meet cholos and their name's like little flaco, but they're fat. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. kind of the same thing goes with my name. Yeah, it just didn't have no fucking meaning to it. it yeah, just, wow. It was literally like yeah, yeah. Hey, this yeah. fool's sick. That fool's sick, huh? Yeah, that's so. Fool, dumb, now that you okay, now that you see the name. You're gonna see so them, and really? you're gonna see him in your city. You're gonna be like, "That's doing no all way. Does he tag up in North Hollywood, like he, in that area? He's in the valley. He's all city fool. Like the homie is works, loves his daughters, yeah, goes to, to the gym, North Hollywood, and just goes everywhere. That's like his 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 getaway. You know how we podcast yeah. and we want to see that's content. It, that's his, he wants to graffiti, make money, that's his fulfillment. be there for his baby, then love his girl, and he does that. That's sick. Bro. This shit is dope. Shout bro. out to homie. And we're at the gym. Shout out to homie's on it. I'm telling you, his girl's gonna geek out. Hey, thanks for the support. Take the, Mrs. Owner. Mrs. Owner. <laughs> nah, <laughs> well, I'm telling fire. you, he, he, we, he picked me up at the gym and he's like, hey, fool them fools. Them, them fools, them fools. You, you did a podcast with them fools, huh? Yeah. I was like, who? And he's like, fucking cabby watching him. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, oh, yeah. But I, I have some gifts for you guys. I saw that, bro. Right next to you guys. Hey, you come back. You guys didn't give me any G? gifts, but I have some gifts. <laughs> Hey, I text you to try to get your information and send you salute. You didn't text me back, fool. I'm going to give it to you right now. Oh, uh, yeah. Can I be a brand ambassador? Absolutely. Absolutely. We would love that. I, I oh, actually, yes. They're like, yes, come with you yeah, right absolutely. now. Absolutely. 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 Why'd you, like, why'd you guys look at each other like we've thought about yeah, this? Yeah, like, we don't want to talk about you this. Should. Damn, you Sponsored by Salute. So <laughs> what, 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 one thing that I really liked uh, uh, about, about having you on the pod the other day was so many people greeted with what we said. The whole like, us being Mexican, Latino, whatever, whatever the case is, just oh, that it was we should just combine forces. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you guys smoke exactly. sabas. I'm listening. I promise you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, bro. I was intrigued by the gifts. He comes bearing yeah, gifts, no, G. Oh, oh, we got gifts. There's two. Yes. There's, I didn't give you. No, 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 no. no. no if I care about everybody on my post. <laughs> If this chair would have broke, it would have been over with. Did you hear what he said? But he said he cares about everybody on this post. <laughs> nah, it's good. But <laughs> I have um, Big Damn, Chief. Bro. Shout out Big Chief. I love him to death. This is Motita. I don't know if you guys Mota it out. Every once in a while, you might need a little hit of little. Yeah, so little I'm, I'm, I'm not a big smoker, but I, I smoke. But every once in a while, yeah, you thank do. You. This is this is expensive stuff. So if, thank yeah, you. Yeah, big chief, Damn. humongous. You could catch them all over you guys everywhere. And then the Ooh, other. I love stickers, bro. Yeah, the big chief. And then the other one is clothes. Is this your brand? This is the Homie Switch Studios. They're also okay. a sponsorship. Shout out Switch Studios. Make sure you guys tip in. Will I black together to have a spot in Glendo? They no longer have the Cerrito oh, spot, yeah, right? They got, they got a spot in Cerrito. Cerrito, Cerrito yeah. yeah, I yeah. bought shoes Where? from there. Okay. Hey. At the Cerrito spot? Oh, shit. Get the discount. And look, I'm going to show you the text. Remember how you guys put your shoe sizes? Yeah. yeah. I tried to get them. I was and like, hey, we need shoes for the boys. They're popping, they're booming. It's good for your brand. They like this sauce on them. But Damn, go to Switch Studios and buy some shit. I really try to get you guys shoes, yeah, though. Absolutely. Thank you, bro. Yeah. No, but all this is amazing. Yeah, bro. yeah. I'm, so I know, no. You know what? Switch Studios, we need to send me you guys' address. I'm going to make. I didn't realize they were at the Cerritos Mall. Yeah, bro. Yeah, they're at the They have a store. huge. And then, and then they just opened up in Glendo. Damn. Lake wow. Two. Yeah, they got a big one. In uh, Cerritos? Pause. Pause. Yeah. Super pause. pause. You caught Talk that? about their big one, dude. They have a they have a, a large uh, location. Oh. In Cerritos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, you guys. I wrote notes for you guys. A ver. Wow. Hit us, bro. In a papelito. We already talked about everything. <laughs> 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 but look, what what are the notes says? Read it. Read it going down from there. Hey, does it really? You all out. All out. No, not all out. Just read all out. Their highness. Salute. Josh hiding his girl? <laughs> I'm not hiding my girl, bro. He's not. He's not. I'm going to be his boy. Privacy. He, he, privacy, yeah. not secrecy. No, yeah. no. I, 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 I knew that. DJ yeah, the fast enough. But it's because, dude, that was a lot of the comments. People were asking me that. Yeah. Because we said something like about girl, then you were just like. Yeah, we already he, talked about all this. Yeah, but yeah. it was one of those things where it happened, and I was like. I think the homies Naturally, just, homie. I mean, we're just a couple podcasters. Yeah. Oh, so you were talking about your feelings about how Mexicans should work more together. No, I was, 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 I was
<laughs> no, I was saying that uh, I, I I think it's so cool how we got so much positive feedback on us. Yeah, so much feedback. I about mean, us just combining forces instead of like, nah, fool, we're competing. Yeah, but it's cool to have like. And a then leaning into the rivalry a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Oh like, yeah, even with the caps and stuff like that. Just, it was amazing. No, yeah. no, no. We I think I think it's like one of the things I always mention is like, man, if one of us wins, we all win. Yeah, you know, and, and 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 I'm big on that. Like, like every black Everybody artist eat. I meet, they're like, "Hey, who's that dude, Peso Pluma, huh?" And I'm like, "Oh, he's booming." I, I give him the history. That TikTok that you did with uh, Tyrell, with, with, with oh my god, did you see no. the TikTok? We're he goes, hey, fool, yo, this is what's fucking cracking right now, something like that. And, and Tyrell's like, "Oh yes, I did see bro, this that shit got yeah, like yeah. more than a million but views, right?" These are my black homies, yeah. you know, my brothers that don't know. They didn't know they, about Peso Pluma. They don't know Spanish. And T. Rowe is like... They know Bad Bunny. Who doesn't know fucking Bad Bunny, right? Yeah. And then I'm telling him, like, oh, hey, hey like, fool, this like, was booming this is right like, now. You tap in and, with this. And T. Rowe is like a huge, like, he's an observer. And recently I saw in his story, he put um, Bailando Sola on his story. And I was like, you bitch. <laughs> and he replied, cut, this shit a banger, cut. <laughs> that's how they talk, though. You know what I'm saying? But it's like that. Yeah. Yeah. It's like that. It's really that mo that 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 energy. Um, I recently interviewed Ojeezy. Oh, I saw that. Yeah, yeah I saw that. Great and, and that's my boy. We we yeah. had a relationship, but we finally got to sit down and have a conversation. And I was like, "Fool, when you win, the rest of us win." You know that, right? Yeah, and, and I know Ojeezy's. He's a rap. You know, he's but he the homie is Mexican. He is from Los Angeles, and I think it's like that with anybody that wins. You know what I'm saying? Like you guys being able to represent in all these events, it's beautiful. Whatever, yeah. I, whatever I do, whether it was when. All of Brownback was at part 106. I'm pretty sure some people felt like a win for all of us, right? 100%. Obviously, I decided to do my own thing. They're still up there. Shout out Letty and Vic, but they're still up there. We're still winning up there. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm and doing We still want to go up there, too. You guys could go up there. I'll, I'll, I'll loop it in. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm not a hater. Yeah. Well, Seems like it. I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? Like, any, like, like, bro, uh, we're allowed to brag about De Oro. Of yeah. course. Like, you know, he's in a game that's not like that, but it's, man, it's a white thing. Yeah, it is. It, it's a, it's European. a European. It's, that's it's a European from. thing. Yeah. And there's a chubby brown man making noise. Comes from fucking West Covina. That that you. I met his parents one time at a club when I went, and my homies invited me. Shout out to Chero. He invited me, and I went, and he fucking, and his mom was sitting there recording with her two hands, like just like my mom on Facebook Live. That shit was beautiful, Rel dog. Relatable. You can't take yeah, that yeah. away from no. nobody. When uh, when. When I see well, whoever whoever's doing their thing, whether it's they're playing soccer, jumping thirty buildings, roofing all that, I, I'm proud to be like that's what the situation is yeah, like. Yeah. And I know with with me, I've I've played a big role in like, kind of like branching now, like because of I come from like the hip hop world, not the hip hop, but like the like you know the industry and stuff like that. And and I'm able to like touch these different fields. Even when I go to an event, like I just did White Man Can't Jump. Yeah, the movie it comes the out. Movie? It comes out to. It's Thursday right now, but it comes out tomorrow, the 19th. Yeah, he did that movie. May 19th. Oh, I have a line. Oh, shit. And my oh, line, yeah, and, and my line is, is in Spanish. Oh, wow. That's What's the cool. line? And what when I came on, it was like, I think I told Andrew Show, she has like a little dick or something. <laughs> to Andrew Show, that's crazy, bro. Yeah. And when I'm there, like, yeah, I'm a Latino talking Spanish, but I look around the whole rest of the movie theater, the premiere, everybody's black and white. And I'm the only Latino. I rocked the Mexican jersey. Shout out Paisa, boys. I rocked their shit that day on Mexico jersey. And it felt good. I had a hat with the Virgin Mary on it, with the Virgin yeah, Mary on yeah. it. And it, and we winning. Like, Absolutely. it's the little wins. Like, yeah. I was seeing you guys at the Fast and the Furious It's thing. an imprint. And I'm like, you guys are winning. I saw you guys win when Grupo Firme announced their, their, mm -hmm. their shit in SoFi. Yeah, so you guys were winning by just being able to be in their presence. Yeah. You guys interviewed the Oro, like Ed, Eddie. Yeah. Eddie's winning right now, dog. Super. You can't take away what Eddie's doing in his lane. He's not talking about corridos. He's not making twerk music. He has his own lane, but he's fucking killing his lane. Mm -hmm. And just like how you're, if if our mom wanted sugar from this tier instead of this tier, if she wanted mole from this tier, if we want mole from Eddie Zuko, we could go get mole from Eddie yeah, Zuko. Yeah, yeah. If we want, he, he's technically like indie, you would say. If we want indie, we go to hey, our primos over there, yeah. our homies over there, and that's yeah. what we're allowed to do. Damn, bro. When we sat down and had a conversation, we're allowed to do that. You were able to sit down with a legend, but also the daughter of a legend, mm -hmm. and have that conversation yeah. and be like, hey, this is woo-woo-woo. 
the homies from Augusto Papa, they they fucking make. Oh, I said that so white. Augusto Papa, the Augusto Papa, they 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 yeah. their 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 podcast is based off corridos. Yeah. But they get to sit down with the Becky G's and the Grupo Fronteras. Yeah, I saw that. And they're that fucking huge. winning. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? So we we're fucking like a sick fool. Like. And at the end of the day, what what I love to do and why I love to do this is I I like to show other cultures my culture. It's a blessing, fool. And it's. I don't know. I feel like it's it's a lot of other cultures are starting to really tap in recently because wh what do you feel about everybody? Do you feel like actual artists, especially maybe like reggaeton, do you feel like they're just tapping into corridos because it's a cool thing to do or are they genuinely I doing it for love? It. Or I both? think following the trends a little bit. You know, you know, you yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, one, who doesn't want to make money? Yeah. I think that's one. Two, I think, I think there's enough money for everybody. Yeah. Three, I think... Who doesn't care to try? True. I tried music before. I didn't like it. Yeah. But I tried it. But something great came out of that. The homie Jakarta Slim. He's doing his thing. He's kidding it. We about to give him a little deal. We about to... He's making music. He has some dope songs coming out. But he came out of that. I'm not pursuing it. You know what I'm saying? I just think it's about trying. There's nothing wrong with trying things. Like, yeah. I'm pretty sure if the opportunity came where, hey, La Platica, we want you guys to be interviewers in this movie. Yeah. You're not gonna be like, oh, nah, but everybody's like, hey, cool. Acting's already cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's like, nah, let's go fucking be cool yeah, too. You know yeah, what I'm no, saying? I, I absolutely love it, man. I, I, I love that people are, are tapping in more with, with Mexican culture, yeah, Mexican culture and, and, you know, and just opening your eyes more to it. I love it, bro. I, uh, I absolutely love it. And I don't think they're, they're, they're tapping into what's popular at the time or what's trending. I, I really think that they, they like you. I really do. Mm -hmm. No, no. I think, I think it's different just because we've heard it our whole lives. But you also got to think about it, right? I was talking to my sister, my older sister, and she was like, bro, people used to be embarrassed. Super embarrassed. To listen to corridos because they were called paisas. Yeah. yeah. And it had a negative connotation to it. Yeah, and you know what? And it was obviously like the narco corridos and stuff yeah. like that, but it was still great fucking music. Absolutely. Like, I love Arely Perez. But I remember in high school, I would bump it and people wouldn't be able to sing it along. But I'm just already, uh, I don't care what people think, and I'm like loud Been and like I don't that. give a fuck. Yeah. So I was bumping it. But I, do, I did know people that listen to corridos that were like, uh, I just keep it to my earphones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And me, I've always been like, who gives a fuck? I love Ashanti. I'm a fan of fucking r and I love all these when yeah. I'm listening to them. I love Cumbia. When we painted this black wall, we didn't bump anything but, but what, cool, what our yeah. parents bumped when they were cleaning the house. And the homie Piggy said it best. He's like, bro, we, he's like, bro, we didn't finish. We finished this wall in an hour. <laughs> we called it. And he was like, bro, it's because we felt like we were at home. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. So a lot hey, of things. Did you guys put blue tape when you guys paint or not? Nah, nah, the homie does painting, so he, he has a half. Damn. Bobby. Why do you think no blue brush? tape? No blue, blue tape, Bobby. Damn, you're Damn. sick as fuck. That's sick, oh, look. Fool. Fool. He didn't even go over. Come on, Bobby. Wow. Wow. Yeah, shut up, man. Go book a double P there, Bob. You want to get some panties? It's a little expensive. I got the homie hookup, but <laughs> how about that for McDonald's? <laughs> no, but it's like, I just think generally, like, I think our culture is finally being, and 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 shout out the greats that have been doing it, yeah, because yeah, I don't yeah. want to take credit. There's people that have been yeah. doing it. The Jenny Rivera's, the Chentes, yeah. the the fucking, um, the Chalinos, like, all these people really brought it to a whole other level. And, and if I missed anybody, I'm so sorry, but. I feel like we were just always known for just playing soccer and our food. Yeah. And I think now we're being respected all over the culture, whether yeah. it's great fucking podcasters. Mm -hmm. We're on all these big platforms. Uh, we're just, we're doing our thing. And I think, and, and I think it's beautiful. Like I said, I think there's a lane for everything. And I see it. And, and I think supporting each other is very important. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, and and even like, I feel like there was a narrative about us in the brown bag. And it was like, fuck no. Like, it was funny, but like, we get to kick it. Yeah. Oh, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. I'm like, that shit is like, I so, love like, talking about that. That like, was so uh, genuine. It's beautiful. And it was dog. beautiful to, 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 to talk to each other mm -hmm. and say, yeah, every time, you know, <laughs> I post something, you guys come right along or yeah, you're right yeah, next to me, is, you know? No, no. And it's like, that's sick, shot? bro. Uh, you guys take one more if it's close. Yeah, right? why not? Uh, why not? This one's done. I'm not driving. What do you guys want? <laughs> I'll let I'm not you guys choose. Either. We Ubered it. Let's do Don Julio. Let's do you don't want to do Keep it tequila. You don't want to do Black Label? Because uh, you're, you're 23, 24, do you know? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, 23, 23. I just turned 23. Yeah, yeah. Bro, like you having that outlook and perspective, bro, it says a lot about your character and who you Appreciate are as a person, it, man. Yeah. The way you're talking, I'm, I'm being dead ass. No, bro. yeah, 100%. Like, I'm Thank in my you, 30s bro. as well. And, yeah. and that outlook and just that acceptance of like, yo, everybody can eat, everybody can win. 
we are we have this beautiful movement going on in the Latino culture right now, and it's about embracing it and lifting up each other and doing shit like that. And, it and it's people like you, bro, who are who are you do you represent the Latino community hard? Like you're doing oh, shit. Appreciate it. You have that voice and that outlook where you're like, yo, I, I, when I, when when they win, guess what? I win. 100%. When that person wins, who's Latino as well, I win. Yeah. So not everybody has that outlook, and yeah. you are gonna set up that the, everybody else, the next generation, to have the same the same perspective. Appreciate and that. people who used to be embarrassed about listening to corridos now be like. Yo, you listen to Korea, bump that shit even fucking louder. Facts. And it's you know like, what I'm and it, but like I said, it plays a big role in whatever we do, right? Like, okay, you're like in the fitness journey. I'm pretty sure back then that shit wasn't cool. It wasn't cool, bro. It, am, am, am I lying? Oh, here I need I got one, yeah. yeah. But, it, but, it, but, but am I lying? Like, it wasn't yeah, that no, cool. Absolutely not. And, and it's not that people were embarrassed, but yeah, like, it just wasn't a thing. It wasn't a thing, but you've been pushing for it so hard. And there's so many fitness people. And, and shout out, like, one of the guys that I've seen just do it for a long time is, like, Strange Cartel. Oh, yeah. He's fucking humongous oh, Latino. Does that do it from yeah. yeah. I'm like, dude, how are you fucking 400 pounds and could run down big ass steps like that? It's scary. Yeah. No, I don't dude, know like a, he does I, like 100 pull ups, bro. It's insane, bro. It's insane, but it's beautiful to see Absolutely. him being that. Like, you know, when you see, like, the strongest man on earth, it's never been a Latino. Not that, no. not that I know, from what I know. I, I don't think it has. But, but it's usually black and white. Yeah. Which is great. Shout out them for representing the culture. But I feel like we were just so behind in every. Not that we're behind in everything, but maybe we weren't accepted. Maybe we weren't just. What was the word? Overlooked. Yeah. No. And and, and I don't think I don't even think we're overlooked. I think just us. I think as a culture, we just always been like, estamos bien aquí. Right. Yeah. And we were cool with the stereotype that we fit into. Like, we would just be whatever, like, the Latinos were supposed to be. The Cholos, this and that. You're talking about Eddie which Zuko. Is, which is amazing because it is a culture. 100%. 100%. But we're so much more than that, bro. Yeah. And you were talking about Eddie Zuko. a perfect example of that. We want to listen to that type of specific music. We have Eddie that we can look to. I love Eddie. You know what I'm saying? We want to go rave. We have De Oro. We have De Oro. We want to go here fucking rap and bitches twerking, selling cocaine. I'm going to go with OGZ. Exactly. I want to go listen healthy. to a pot. We're drinking Salud. You feel me? Shout out, man. Let's salute Come to Salud. <laughs> you like, I, 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 love the, I, I love the easy. Salud, you know what I'm saying? Salud, mommy. But, but it's one of those things, right, where it's like, all those, right? When is it to Indy, we go to Eddie. When EDM, we go to Eddie. We go to De Oro. De Oro. And... We go to fucking, if we want to listen to um, rap, we go to OGZ. Yeah. But now, if you want to fucking be on a YouTube channel, you hit up the homies, these fools. Yeah. You go to Benny Sullivan. You yeah. go to Alondra. If you want to go kick it, I want to go on a pot and go on a press run. You go to, you go to La Plática. Plática. Of course. You go to Cheese Man with Duno. You go to Brown Bag. Oh, wait. I go to Brown Bag the pot, but I can also go on Power 106. We're Brown Bag. You go do that. Yeah. You want to come kick it. You want to see somebody on their fitness journey. You hit up DJ Lechero. You hit up Josh. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's just, it's, it doesn't, it doesn't. That's dope, man. It doesn't get bad, man. Shout out to homegirl Bernice. She fucking, the homegirl Bernice, she does, um, she does from the streets to the set where she, where she takes a lot of uh, ex-gang members, current gang members, and she puts them on backgrounds of movies. And oh, sooner or later, damn. they 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 Start move up. Acting. Circling into acting. Whether it was background before, but now it's acting. Wow, I didn't know that. That's, um, that's amazing. Man, shout out to homegirl Bernice. Her and her family kill her. And, and some of her castmates have been on SWAT. They were, they were, they were the main, they had big roles in this fool. And that's because she worked. Damn, she knows and, the industry. She and and she's put me in positions. I've man and and it's the acting um um it's like the acting group it's called it's, there's like a specific thing that like they like protect all the actors and the stuff. union the union what is yeah. it called there's like a uh sag sag does she get them into like yeah SAG she and gets them into Bro, sag that's crazy she takes you know go take a photo shoot yeah. I'm gonna send it in to put it in random box of directors wow so like you can Eddie came on my part and and blessed it whether he popped off then or not but he came on there and we sat down and we had a conversation. And I'm blessed you guys did that. De Oro has traveled the world, you guys. This man has been everywhere in the world. He came back and kicked it. He came on Broadway and kicked it. And he just chopped it up. He's real. And and oh Jeezy, he came, he he made time. Oh Jeezy was too. he was doing Apple, Spotify. He was doing these big interviews. And he came on my shit and chopped it up and we sat down yeah, and had a conversation. Volume. It speaks volume. And it speaks volume about these characters. All these people, I mean, whoever it is, man, like. We're no longer a certain thing. We're no. everything now. Man, and, and we got to give credit to just Latinos in general, but obviously we're talking as Mexicans, but just Latinos in general, the Bad Bunny changed the world. He did. 
He really did. The toquisas changed the world. The yeah. peso plumas are changing. Yeah. The eslabon yeah. armas. Yeah. Bro, Fuerza Regida is yeah. changing the fucking game. This man dresses like he's about to rap with a little baby, but but but, but sings to shit my mom be dancing to and yeah. I be dancing yeah, to. Yeah, 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 yeah. He makes he's on TikTok every day hustling content. He's he has his own record label. He shout really out Rancho. Is. He really shout is. out Rancho Milde for doing that. Shout yeah. out Rancho. Mm -hmm. They're doing I keep saying things like white guy, huh? Rancho. <laughs> <laughs> shout out Rancho for doing what the <laughs> fuck they do. <laughs> shout out the like all these bro, there's yeah. dog. Yeah, man. It's a beautiful fucking time. Yeah, we're yeah. We're, we're pretty saturated right now, aren't we? And it's like it feels good. It feels good. And feels good. And like I said, and, and it's a lot of behind the scenes shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? My homie P and Daniel have a brand called None of Some. I do what I can as me having a platform, put the boys on where the shit. But you bro, see that, bro, but seeing like other art, seeing other artists rock their shit on the album cover music videos, I'm, I'm pretty sure the homies feel proud because it's like another Latino brand. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's full. Right now is the time. Y'all want to come fuck with us? Come fuck with us. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it's full. It doesn't get like everybody. Full corridos, corridos, banda are selling out so far. Yeah. Are selling out Staples Sold Center. Out. Back of them. Like, full. what the fuck? It's crazy, bro. It really is. And you guys being older, you guys, I'm pretty sure you guys remember even being like behind the scenes. 100%. Yeah. I'm kind of, I kind of came around in the time where, but even me, I seen it when we were kind of like, oh, we have a Mexican good dude on our team. It was like the token Mexican. Yeah. And he, yes. And even like me being part of like an all black cast when I'm with Fig Community World and, and I'm able to tell them about Mole. Nah. When I go to TJ. Yeah. They, they're at all that my mom doesn't know English. Yeah, yeah, and she watches the shit. Yeah. <laughs> I'm able to explain to them Peso Pluma, Becky G. Yeah. Wait, you saying, wait, could you saying they sold out the Staples Center, cut? Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, just like Kendrick. And and they're like, what the fuck? And they're yeah. at all, they don't mean no disrespect. Yeah, they no, just, but it's like, oh my yeah. God. They don't know. They don't know that world. Time. And it's and it's and it's rap. Like I'm proud of like I see a lot of a dope upcoming Latino podcasts, whether whatever they're talking about is dope, man. Like, you know, mm -hmm. everybody's doing their thing. Mm -hmm. And you can't fucking beat that, dog. Mm -hmm. You can't beat it. It's, yeah. it's beautiful, bro. And But it takes a unique individual like yourself, bro, to yeah. be able to bridge the gaps like that. Like, not everybody has a voice like you, man. Like, you can be in the room with people like that and yeah. educate them and, and, and tell them about the culture and immerse them in it. And yeah. you're talking and you're being authentic. And that's why they listen, and that's why they're gravitated towards Appreciate you. Appreciate it. It's the authenticity, bro. Like, you're, you're in it. And yeah. then also on top of that, you have this outlook of positivity of, like, trying to include everybody. There's no hate in your heart. It's just all yeah. pure good intentions and trying to make everybody win. Yeah. It's a different energy, bro, that just carries. Nah, Even and right now, I feel I'm like, God, I'm fucking motivated. I'm like, I'm so proud too. of being fucking Mexican, bro. <laughs> nah, but it's, but it's a beautiful thing. It's, it's a beautiful world that not everybody, the sad truth is, like, not everybody gets to live it up. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. it's like... When we have the chance, like, I always try to explain to my homies, right? Like, I'm like, bro, I'm in a position where I feel like I can't, like, I don't want to do anything wrong to disappoint you, fools. Mm. And they're like, fool, you're human. But I'm like, at the same time, it's like. There's a responsibility. And I'm like, bro, like, how many, how many Latinos that you grew up with that walked around Echo Park and got drunk or kicked it at the, I'm, I'm, I'm talking to them specifically about yeah. a section, right? But like, kicked it at the 420s or did this or did that. You see what I'm doing? Bro, my homies, bro, my homies. One of my homies cried when I sold out the Nova with Brown Bag. Yeah. Like, fool, remember we used to walk around this shit and we used to like fuck with the white people and like talk shit and just have 40s and get kicked out. And they're like, fool, now we're invited to the. Now they treat now you like royalty. Stage. I walked in, they're like, don't know what do you need? My name's on the thing. And, the, and they're like, fool, they're like, they're like, you're allowed to make mistakes. And I, and, and I made some, whether, yeah, yeah, yeah. whether they're personal situations or not. But and even we will like. we continue to make some. Yeah, and, and even like in a situation when I'm breaking down stories like. Um, like like my dad's situation where I had to go to TJ, bury him out, do all that, and then transfer him over. When I'm able to tell that story, it's like it gives people a different look on life. Like, damn, they got to deal with that. Mm -hmm. And I just think our story hasn't really been told. And I think everybody, whether it's from the smallest part to the biggest part, from the biggest action to the smallest action, I think we're doing our fucking part. And that's what matters. Yeah. You have something called La Platica. Dog, I have black rappers on here, and it says Chisme with Duno. Wow. And they always ask me, like, what what's that? Chisme? Yeah. Yeah, and what then I go, mean? like, it's like gossip. Like, like oh, you're Chisme. And they go, like, oh, nosy cut. Yeah. You know, like, <laughs> like, like, but it's, but I'm able to have, and shout out the, the Ruchis, the one tick Jays, the Sharps that have been on here, and they, and they show up back, they embrace our culture. 
You know what I'm saying? But your shit is called La Platica. That's in Spanish. Yeah. And people yeah. don't fucking know. Yeah. It's a talk. This shit says Cheese Man with Duno, and we had rappers on here. Damn. And we're able to fucking do that. Yeah, yeah. You That's know what cool, I'm right? saying? Yeah. And I think it's it's uh it's beautiful. It's man. a beautiful thing that we're it's it's uh I think we're all in our own world. We're obviously in the similar one. But seeing you like when if like to me, like let's just say, let's just say, hypothetically speaking, you guys signed a one million dollar deal with Apple tomorrow. Probably more, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Probably a little bit more. Two million. Sure. Why not? I don't care. Fuck it. I just want to. I just want to post that we sold to Apple. Yeah. yeah. That'd be nice. That'd be Apple nice. tap really in with us. Nice. That'd be nice. Spotify tap in. But let's say that happens, right? Yeah. And your shit comes up on when I when the minute I open my Apple Damn. shit, your comes up. La plática. I'm gonna be like, shit. Yeah. Kudos, motherfucker. Like, yeah. congratulations. Yeah. And it's and it's like, and and it all comes from the littlest things that we've learned growing up. Whether it's like, oh, vamos a hacer un favor para que un favor llegue. Mm. And, and, and I learned that from my mom. I, I made a skit a while ago where um, where I remember my mom would take my sister before their 15 años to different tias' houses or comadres to have them be madrinas for the 15. Multiple. And it, was, and it was like favor for a favor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's it. And, 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 and it was genuine, but it was, I made a skit made in a funny where like yeah. the girl didn't want to go. Like she's about to die soon, but she has money. She could be your padrina for the salon. Right? I made a skit like that. But behind the scenes, it has a lot of meaning it to does, it. It does. Like, absolutely does. Like if you can, let's just say you guys have an artist. You guys sign an artist. And you guys know I'm kind of tapped in with, hey, do not look out, pa. Yeah. I got you, food. Yeah, yeah. Come kick it away. Yeah. It's good, pa. Yeah. Come kick it, and then now and now and then, and then that like you owe me a favor, but I know you got me if I need you. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, yeah. I got and you. it's like yeah. Eddie Zuko. I I became a fan because of the homie Maximo. Shout out Maximo, love him to death. And and he put me on, and he came on my podcast. So when he went on the run, was still in love. Mm. At the moment, well, they're still at power, but we're all at power. But let's bring him on power. Yeah. yeah. But we played still in love on power 106. Damn. And it was beautiful. Even with Letty and Victor with Grupo Frontera. Yo, they sang nice. the shit. Yeah. Live. Live. Oh, wow. And it, yeah. and it was like, that shit was so sick cool. as fuck. Bro. And it was like, it's fucking beautiful. Yeah. And I'm like, that doesn't On get. 106. And I was like, and I was like, it doesn't get better than that. Though. It doesn't. It, you know bro, what I'm saying? Ultimate. And we're able to do things like that where like, I just think, I just think there's 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 limits to this shit and where we've passed that limit and it's and it's a beautiful thing. We have, we really have. And I'm like, we're all killing it, bro. Like yeah, what you guys are doing is is dope, what we're doing is dope. It's 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 a beautiful world, pops. Yeah, you know and and honestly, I don't honestly I think it, it, like us being together, like you either you being on La Platica or us being on Cheese Man, yeah. we should like do it more often than not. Yeah, come Absolutely. kick it whenever. Because it, it shouldn't be like a um Hey, you know, six months later, do you want to come? Because I don't have anybody here. It shouldn't no, be like it that. should be like it should be like like we should make it known to like just always combine forces because it will benefit both of us. It benefits the right. I, 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 I think I, mean? I think it benefits everybody. Like even with Salud, he told me like let me I I, I didn't reply. You're right, didn't my reply. Fault. But like if you were to be like, hey, Duno, you know what? I would love for you to let's just say have your own promo code and have this. Yeah. Oh fuck yeah, for I got you all day. We get a break bed, but I also get a. Show love and and do some dope shit with a brand that you fucking built, fool. Mm -hmm. That's in all these stores. That's that that instead of me taking this shit that I don't know what the <laughs> fuck it means, I know the fucking owner to this. And if, and if I and if I'm at the gym and I meet some random bitch and she's like, oh my god, let me take some of your water. It looks good. And she's like, it looks good. I'm like, this is my homie shit. Yeah. And the, oh wow. Is his name Ben? No, it's Josh Leva. <laughs> his name Ben. He's ben. Mexican like us. Yes, go fuck yeah. with it. You dumbass. Yeah. Stop buying all that bullshit. That, that is true, man. You know what I'm saying? So it's the little things. So cheers to that. To the little cheers things, to that, man. Cheers to, to the little things and the biggest things. things. And cheers to you having that type of mentality too, man. It's bro. rare, bro. It's it rare. Now we're winning. You listen to Tony Robbins growing up or something? What's up with you, bro? I don't know who that is, fool. <laughs> You're all inspiration. You never seen that documentary with uh, Tony Robbins? On Netflix? You should watch it, bro. Hey, bro, dead ass. Like, I'm not really like a like a self help guru. Yeah, type like, guy. I, and I still ain't. But yeah. that that documentary was really good. I'm gonna send it to you. He's okay. like a self help dude. Like, he's he's been around for ages, bro. Yeah. Like, just doing seminars about like. Was better. this like before you no, almost he, like? He's a motivational. What? Motivational. Speaker, was this yeah. before like you were like, oh, I might leave my girl. Let me watch this. And <laughs> <laughs> but no. Fucking do not. Do not some videos. No, no. Like, nah, <laughs> hey, am I still not invited close. to the wedding? Huh? You're not sure yet? I've come through, my G. You you told me on on your pod you said you're gonna ask your girl if the if the guest list was done. Bro, 
My girl would love for you to be there, bro. You're the homie. Hey, what if I just and, like? And, and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say it just because, and but just because me. But my wedding's gonna be fucking cracking, it's be crazy, bro. bro. When are you getting married? Uh, June, June 17th. 17th. Are you not gonna be here or what? I am, but the next day I have the Red Bull shit. But I'm, I'm yeah, shit, bro. It's June 17th. Yeah, you yeah. can. Papi, are you getting uh, married locally or I have to travel? Nah, bro. Locally. Ever heard of Spain? Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> is he your best man? No. No. No, he's my he's one of my groomsmen. Yeah. Why is he not your best man? He's, yeah, he's, he's not your best friend. Not your best friend, you or what? Uh, <laughs> just have a podcast together for eleven months straight. No, is it your brother? It's his brother. It's, it's my brother. Yeah. yeah. And How much? And, who do you love more? And, and, and it's uh, and it's and it's and it's uh, one of my. So I have two best men. That, two that's, best. That's men. not a real thing, you know that, right? I know, but I, I make my own rules because. Oh, okay, it's your because wedding. I can do whatever the fuck I want in my <laughs> Okay. Life. So who's your best man? Uh, your brother? My brother and my friend Robert that I've known since I was a kid. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I didn't know him when I was a kid. Uh, yeah, he but got like. Hey, but this is one of my best friends. But like, but I'll, like, I'll do anything for this third, I'm the third best man. Yeah, don't kiss him. Okay. But like, who's <laughs> like, like, are you going based off looks? What do you mean? No. 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 Is As it, in like my groomsmen? Yeah. No. You know, I'm very fortunate to uh, have They're very all... good looking uh, wow. friends. This is true. And I, I didn't pick them. Is it, was there a picture of you and our groomsmen? Not yet. In, in Colombia? No, I, I think there is. How'd you I, ask him? I think there is. How do I ask Josh? Yeah, How'd you ask all of them to be your groomsmen? Yeah, yeah. So basically, um, my, my friends from high school, immediately when I told them, like, hey, be at my house at this time because... We're gonna go out to dinner. We're gonna. I, t- I told them a lie. You paid for the. You paid for the. Real dinner? friends know yeah, what you're exactly. going to do. You paid yeah, for yeah. And then they're gonna like, yeah, right. You're gonna ask me to be your groomsman. Anyway, yes. <laughs> that's what they said. That's what we said. Because that's real. That, like, that's like. But. I've I've known Josh since, I was, twenty four, twenty five. Yeah, right? yeah. Oh. And I'm thirty three now. So. Yes, yeah, so almost nine years. Yeah. yeah. So. Who's done more for your life, him or Robert? No, I'm just kidding. Don't answer that. Don't answer that. Don't answer that. No. <laughs> I was Robert fucking. Okay, you asked him to talk to me. Like, you were gonna. He's, he's a little buzzed because he was like. <clears throat> no, I was, I, was, I was genuinely thinking about it. I was like, it's just different people. Right? It's di- yeah, it's different yeah. things. Yeah. Yeah. Like, obviously, well, don't make a deal. Like, also, like, I was joking. <laughs> like, Robert is just my my good friend. Yeah. Also, your manager. And he manages Our manager. us. Yeah. Does he have room for another client? He probably he actually does. really does. Yeah, I think he would love to take you on. Yeah. He's an amazing it, manager, bro. Do you, have, you have management person over right around. That's a wild. Nah, manager. <laughs> but it, there, there's always room for help. Of Absolutely. course. Oh, it was amazing, there's right, Kelly? There's nothing. Kelly, Kelly's Callie, not. Kelly's vibe. Yeah. Kelly's like, he could bring more to the table shit. No, bro, put us yeah. on your roster, too. Yeah. Uh, he's you a wobbler. Um, <laughs> no, <laughs> but nice. um, I, I invited everybody to my house, and I think half of them didn't know what was going on. How many groomers do you have? I have eight. Yeah, I was going to. Yeah. I have a, I have um, all my friends from high school, and luckily I, ha- I still have a great, like you, yeah. have a great relationship with my people that I grew up with. Amazing. And then I have, um, I, I had my cousins, some of, one, one cousin and my brother, and then you know what? Okay, how many are friends from high school? I think, Ooh, yeah, you said the eight. Majority of them. I think four. So or you're five. like a lone wolf? No. Me. No, there's three of us that are like lone wolves. Yeah, your primo. Uh, no, Lester. he's not alone with That's his blood. Yeah. You're the only one that's... Oh, yeah, I get so that, Lester and myself. They've all known him longer than you. Yeah, technically. Okay, yeah. so that's one. But, I mean, everybody I've known for more than seven years. I'm trying yeah. to set him up. I'm trying yeah, to set yeah. him <laughs> <laughs> No, but I think it's beautiful. Trying to put him at the end? <laughs> nah, you but it's like, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be totally yeah, honest. Yeah, yeah, The homie Junior and Maria, the ones that are getting married, they had a baby. And I was offended when I wasn't asked to be the godfather. Mm. Because the homegirl Maria is like my older sister. This is somebody that's fed me when I didn't have no money. Yeah. Uh-huh. And they chose his brother, which I'm not mad at him. Shout out Jonathan. But like, I'm around way fucking more. I have a podcast. I'm kicking it with La Platica. <laughs> like the homegirl. I have more to offer. Not, not even that, but yeah. I'm like. Sometimes we just have to realize I'm that family cool. will be always on top. Yeah, but not if he lives in a different fucking city. City? city, not even city. state. No, city. That, he lives in Sacramento. Oh, okay. The Bay. Yeah, yeah. that's far. That's far. That's, that's far. far. that's far for Baldwin that's Park. Far. Yeah, that's super far. far. Me, twenty minutes away. Do you guys have a conversation <laughs> about it? I, 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 every time I'm drunk, I just start talking shit. What does he say? Your fucking brother's not even fucking around. You piece of shit ass fool. Fuck you. That's why I'm not. Fucking You're around. like, who's here now? Me or your yeah, brother? Yeah, that's what I say. Yeah. And they go like, dude, get fucking over it. You're her fucking uncle. And I'm like, fuck you. I like the title, motherfucker. Yeah, I'm a title guy because too. I have because I have um. My homie Solvik, one of my best friends from high school, 
um, him and his girl, they chose me to be the padrino. You know how they asked me to be the padrino? They came to my house, told me to come downstairs, asked me to use my bathroom. I came back downstairs. They gave me a kebab that they got from the night market. Kebab. And they're like, that's a piece of shit. Not everybody's rich like you. And they were like, <laughs> and they were like hey. I'm not rich. I'm comfortable. That's, that's bad. <laughs> but they're like, hey, you want to be Jesus Padrino? And it's me and my homegirl, Stephanie, which is we're all best friends yeah. from high school. Yeah. Well, me, her, and Sovic. My mom, my, my homie Miguel, and his his girl came into like our friend group, our family, type shit. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, we're the Padrino. We had a dope yeah. party. That's cool, man. I paid for a lot of things, <laughs> but it was amazing. It was beautiful, and, and I love the little kid. I'm busy all the time. Yeah. But when I can see him, I love to carry him. He yeah. loves to come with me. Yeah. But I wanted to do that for Aria too, which is my homie's kid that getting married. But I'm not. So fuck their wedding. <laughs> I'm not the best man. Go ask your fucking brother. <laughs> Let him plan shit. Yeah. I'm way cooler. How did they ask you to be a groomsman? He brought us, oh, we already knew, but we're, we're real life dicks. Yeah. We, we've been there throughout the relationship. The homie Junior really don't got family. We're kind of like his family. He's yeah. kind of into our family. Yeah. And you guys call my homies. My, my homies mean the world to me. Like, yeah, yeah. He's some of my, like, I've cried to them, all that. We were kind of, we we're kind of making fun of all his insecurities, like on the group chat. It's like, ah, oh, you bitch, I, I carry yourself, man. And then he was like, come over, fool. And we all went in, and he gave us a glass thing of like alcohol. Yeah. With all our nicknames. So he calls me fat ass. He calls the homie <laughs> fat bitch. And then all the nicknames we have for each other in our friend group, he yeah. put in the glass oh, thing that's dope. and asked us. Those are the best. And, and, it, was, and it was cool. And then we've been planning the thing. And he's like, help me. He texted me, help me. And I was like, I'm not your best man. Go yeah. fuck yourself. <laughs> I can't help you there, buddy. And I'm like, I would have set up a whole club yeah. of fucking Bottle service. Uh, some, some player hey, shit. Isn't that what I did? Exactly what you did. Why don't you explain? What happened to you? Because you didn't know you were gonna be. I a had no idea. So I was probably one of the only ones that didn't Duno's, know. Explain to like your day, from, from the moment I invited you to, to leading up to that day. Explain it to him. So my birthday is December twenty seventh. All right. If you guys don't know. Yeah, he texted my me. My ex's birthday is December twenty third. You're a Capricorn? No, my ex. Oh, your ex's birthday. I so she's her. a Capricorn. Yeah. And you're a what? What's your sign? Pisces. You're Pisces. You guys didn't match. You guys vibed well. Uh, we were good. I fucked it up. What is your girl? She's a Pisces. Oh. Yeah. She might leave you. She might. <laughs> hey, can I tell you something? I wouldn't blame her. <laughs> no, no. I wouldn't blame her. <laughs> no, it's cause it's cause it's cause it was my fault. Yeah. You fucked it up? Yeah, does she gaslight me? Oh, hold on. Hold on. Yeah. No, just kidding. I'm just kidding. Yeah, no, no, no. He's like, fuck no. Does she gaslight me? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just talking shit. I, I was she also might, younger. I, I was younger when I dated. You had a different place in time. Yeah, if me yeah. and my ex were to get together at the moment now. We'll probably be happily ha ever yeah, in love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was a different time. Can I tell you something? This is the best chemistry I've had dating somebody ever. And so I, I, I'm not oh, a big believer in Get science. married, brother. Get, get married? Yeah, are you planning on it already? I mean, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Pasame una sugar freeway. Oh, yeah, same. Please, I don't do the sugar. And I'm sorry, you guys. Yeah, we don't do no bit. sugar up in this house. Thanks. Shout out Red Bull. <laughs> uh, so, okay, so. Birthday's uh, December 20. So it makes sense. Yeah. This fool texts me December 26th. He what goes, hey, hey, bro, uh, I know your birthday's tomorrow. Just want to say happy early birthday. By the way, I need you to be at my house December 29th. Oh, you thought it was, you, you, he thought he was going to throw him a surprise party? Tell me why I thought this fool was going to do something for my birthday. And he tried to tell me some like bullshit answer. I said, what are we doing? He said, don't worry about it. So right away, I'm like, oh, he's trying. He's going to do a dinner. He needs a surprise. He's going to take me out. So wow, you really thought that? We're at La Pratica. Damn, like, we're going to celebrate. We're going to bottle. It's going to be crazy. Gonna, it was about him? This is about me. It's like, damn, I don't know what I'm wearing. I'm telling my girl. I was like, I think someone's going to do a surprise dinner for me. He's being oh, all like, fuck. I didn't know that. This is my birthday. You Why know? didn't you ever tell me that? I yeah. did tell you the story, <laughs> asshole. You fucking never said that. You thought it was about to Give be Give me you. a shot. Yeah. Hey, but you know what? He would think everything's about him. Yeah, Everything Capricorn. revolves like, around like, Josh <laughs> Leva. We just, hey. I live in this world. That's it. It's, it's your a, world. I just live in it. He's body. sexy. I don't mind it. Oh, he's super sexy. <laughs> Let me get my shot. <laughs> On some Paul shit. Oh, this is yours. Yeah, thank you. So I'm thinking it's for me, stuff like that. Obviously, salut, puppy. Hello. So I'm, I'm literally stressing out about it, bro. I'm literally yeah. like freaking out about my outfits and stuff like that I'm going to come through with. He tells me, yo, make sure you dress nice. He's not giving me much information. He's giving, making it such like a gray area thing. I pull up to the house. It's all dudes. All the boys, all my boys that like I've actually become really close yeah. with and stuff like that, who are all the groomsmen and stuff like that. I walk in, the energy is so weird. Like everybody's just like kind of on edge. Did he and get I'm, there late? No, I got there right on time because yeah. he told me specifically. I tend to I tend to be a little late. late. I tend to be a little late sometimes. So he was like, all the make time. Sure you get, you make sure you get there on time. Got it's there on time. Late. Energy's weird, bro. All the guys I'm saying, what's up to everybody? I'm excited because I'm like, this is about me. It's a me day. Y'all, why aren't you smiling? And, and everybody's just like acting 
strange. And I started kind of picking up the pieces. I'm like, what's going on? I don't think this is about me anymore. I think this is like deeper. I didn't know what to make of the whole situation. All of a sudden, stuff just disappears. I'm talking to the, some of the boys. I'm talking to Ryan. I'm like, yo, what the fuck's going on? He goes, I think I know, but I can't say nothing. And I'm like, this is fucking strange, bro. This is some sex shit because I'm down. But, <laughs> and then, <laughs> but you never thought that you were. You, you never thought that you were. No, I never it. thought I was gonna be a groomsman. Not at all. All of a sudden, Sebas comes out and he's carrying like bags, black bags, huge duffel bags, huge duffel Car bags. Carhartt actually, Carhartt duffel I, I bags. like that. He's being escorted by two other dudes that were a part of the the party as well, carrying duffel bags as well. He lays them all out. He's like, hey, I need everybody to come sit down over here on some military shit. And then I start, start kind of piecing the pieces together. I was like, oh, his wedding's coming up. Oh, wait, this is not about me. Oh, got it. Okay, cool. This is going to be like a groomsman thing. What'd you get him? He got us a Chivas jersey. He got us like shot glasses, a bunch of gifts. Oh, you go for Chivas? Yeah, because I'm from Guadalajara. Hey, Peasy, let him know what it is, Bob. Yeah. You go for America? Uh, I get... Yeah. Hey, da- bro, yeah. I see pool. all the yellow. I see all the <laughs> fucking yellow. Bunch of bunch of gifts, bro. Bunch yeah. of gifts. Just like to ask us any. He individually went on everybody, like saying like why he specifically chose them to be a groomsman. Like everybody like had an individual. The, he gave speech. everybody their own. Yeah, roses. that's gay. Yeah, it was super gay. It, like, it, <laughs> it, it, it might be gay, but um, it was touching. Yeah, I, I um, I'm a true believer in looking back at the past and telling myself that well, was that was cool. Okay, I have a I have a couple questions about your wedding and your groomsman and all that, right? Yes, sir. I'm wearing Tom Ford, by the way, at my wedding. Oh, that's not what you were gonna ask? No. Oh. Okay. But 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 I like that. But if, we, if we're going about what you're wearing, how much is the ring cost that you get, girl? Uh, my you. engagement ring or, or the wedding ring? Oh, you got two. <laughs> well, it's it's an engagement. There's there's. Well, Dunos, I don't know if you know well, this. You fucking old, dude. I don't know this shit. Dunos, I don't know if you know this, but when I'm you not. propose to your girl, that's the expensive motherfucker. That's expensive one. And then there's one that you put on the the band. That's the band. That's, that's, that's the ugly silver one. It's not ugly. No, that's not. It's not ugly at all. <laughs> it's um. It's, it's just. Ugly it's, if you it, broke. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's more like a band. It's very nice. It, it has to complement the engagement ring. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. yeah. Jizz don't know. She hasn't been in a relationship in fucking years. Yeah, but, but she, she knows. knows. Of course she knows. Nah, she but does. She, she knows. Hears. She sucks so at relationships. Asking me how much my what? No, I, I don't. I don't care about how much. My, okay, when you were when when you and your girl were sitting though, you and your fiance, mm-hmm. are you guys like? Whiteboarding it, like, like whiteboard, like oh, this girl would look good with this guy, this guy would look with the oh, girl with no. this girl. No, you no. didn't do that. You was just like she my friends. Has less uh, bridesmaids than he has groomsmen. Yeah. Well, you guys are maybe you, that's not very coordinated. It's not gonna look good on pictures. But hey, you're waiting on mine. Just saying. First of all, the pictures are just gonna be me and my fiance. <laughs> You're not gonna be in any of the pictures. Yeah, they are. But no, like if I have eight groomsmen and she has six bridesmaids. Then it's gonna look so beautiful. Am I am I am I wrong or am I right? It's gonna look so beautiful when one of her bridesmaids walks with two of my guys. That's beautiful, bro. Or she doesn't have any friends. No, she has a lot of friends. She has a lot of friends. She's but selected. she was very specific. Yes, of course, she, yeah. as you should be. Yeah. It's just I'm fortunate. I'm fortunate. Yeah. Okay. This. Okay. This. This is where I'm going with this, right? Because I'm a petty. I'm mad. I'm mad at the world. I'm not. I'm not a godfather. I'm not sure. the best man. I'm mad. His friends come to the wedding. She told them she was full. There was no more room, and then she's and then the girl sees six and then eight. There was two more spaces. No, there's no. What spaces, do you say? Though. No, they're, they're, but I know. But you're thinking about it as in there, you think there's a space. There's no space. Okay. It's just that's well, how many anyone. people that she thinks believes that she should be in her court, and then there's this how many people that I think that truly have a spot in my court. Wow. So there's is that, there's no such thing as a space. I can have 40 fucking vatos on my shit, and she can have <laughs> five fucking hyenas on her shit. It is what it is. I believe so. I don't think there's any rules like, oh, you need to have eight and eight. No. I mean, it's it my look, wedding. We're paying for that shit. I do it my own fucking rules. I see what you're saying. You're yeah, aesthetically, the, I know what you mean. You're going more aesthetic aspect, but it's not like yeah, that. Yeah, it's, it's not like way. that. You watch so many hey. movies. <laughs> it's my wedding. I'm paying for this shit. Fuck with y'all. <laughs> I'm excited to go to your wedding. It should be. for real. You're invited like, for real. So I guess when I go, <laughs> when I go, I'm gonna be the youngest person there. No, you're uh, not. Like, no, you're no, not. no your little fucking cousins don't count. My girl's younger. I than mean, you, you're bro. literally my little cousin. Wait, what? My girl younger than you. Yeah, his girl younger, right? Well, how old are you? 24. 23. Oh, 23. No, no, she older than you. She older than me. Yeah. Are there like, gonna be people younger than you? Who? My cousins. They don't count. They're not cool like me. 
No, they're cool. Eh. No, they're cool. <laughs> they don't have a podcast, but eh. Yeah, but, but I'm going to pull up. They're going to be like, oh, that's that little young fool. Like, yeah, that's yeah. No, no, no. People are going to pull up like, yo, that's Duno. It's like, that's dope. And I'm going to be like, hell yeah. What's up with the No, but like, you got to, you, this is, it's a black tux, like everything. Like, you can wear a white shirt and shit, but Look, it's a, just for you? It's a okay, black tux first of attire. All, I have swag, asshole. I know that. Trust me, I want those shorts. And these shirts are cool. They're comfortable. And I want that shirt too. Oh, you feel me? Go get the merch right now. But but the, I miss the blog. But it's white right now. Fuck Jeffrey. So fuck the Jeffrication in the back. But, but, I like that shirt, man. Let me go get it before I go put it over right here. At uh, ablikethat.com or thehomies.com. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I'm drunk. Yeah. Fuck it. But I'm excited to go because all my all my girlfriends are gonna be there. Uh huh. Right. I Probably. think so. I think so. Probably. Probably. But I'm I'm like down to find love and be like, like part that. of your world. I want I want to go like. You need to be on Love Island, bro. Hopefully, I can I can have that requirement for you. I, I'm super down for that. Hey, you know, get on Love Island. I got to connect on Love Island. I get you on. I don't want to get on fucking Love you Island. Need, yo, you talking about getting brown people on like? World oh Island, yeah, yeah. You know I mean, saying? if I go on Love Island, but I don't want to argue with this dude from Kentucky that I've never met about some. Nah, bitch. you'll be on Love Island, UK. Oh, that's the best Ooh, one. That's, that's the, the best, best one. one. But UK you is the best accent. one. Let me hear your UK accent. Hello. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Out of all, top hello. of the mo- top of the morning, man. Hey. Bro. Uh, do your guys' girls get along? Uh so uh, you've never met his girl. No, of course he has. No, of course, of course. they have. I don't, I don't, I don't no, know. Hey, no, I'm know. just I'm no, just talking. And I'm giving you an answer. Okay. <laughs> so I'm um, in a newer relationship. He is, he's in a new relationship. So my my fiance and his girl they've met already and yeah. they've kicked it off. Uh, yes, yeah, I know. Absolutely. Talking for hours and shit. But like I said, it's new, so I, I can't answer really the question of like, do they vibe? Yeah, of course they vibe, but it's it's still kind of new, right? And they follow each other on IG. Like they've only yeah, probably absolutely. kicked it. They yeah. they kicked it. Well. <laughs> that's a big. Is that important? That's, a big that's important, right? Yeah, it's important. They do. And they they've do. kicked it how many times? Two, three times already. Yeah, yeah. Four on Saturday. This yeah. Saturday. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's not like you know, <laughs> but they do vibe for sure. What's 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 a deal breaker? Like you guys are really good friends. Yeah. Me and my homies are really good friends. Um. Callie's girl, I like her. She's cool. Like, she's cool. Like, that's, that's a homie's girl, but I don't know if I can sit there and have a full conversation, but I like her. She's good for him. Okay. I think it makes sense. I've had homies that bring girls around, and it's like, oh, fucking bummer. What's a deal breaker for either one of you guys? That's being good as friends. Like, like, is there, has there ever, has he, has he ever, right? You've been in a relationship that's for a, a long better time. That's a question for seven. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's a question yeah, for him, but, how, but it, it's a question for you with any of your, your other friends. Oh, okay. But have you, like, have you ever brought around a girl and you're like, uh, my boy? You know, oh, no, you, know hold on, I, no, no. you know what I appreciate? Like, I appreciate effort. When when people just try. You know what yes, I mean? Like, you beautiful. don't got to be, like, all in my, like, trying to, like, hi, like you know, over the top. But just, like, try to have a conversation. Not try to be, like, to yourself. Like, sometimes you have to get out of your comfort zone. If you're so fixated on, like, I was so nervous, I'm so shy. To me, that's kind of like, eh. You know what I mean? Like You make didn't it, try. Make, make, you didn't try. Like, put yourself out a little bit because I'm really receptive. I feel like I can have a conversation with anybody. So if I can't have a conversation with you, you are not putting any effort at all. I like that. That's a great fucking answer. You, you know sure why? Yeah. Because my deal breaker, and and I'm, and please, you stop me when I'm wrong. Just stop me when I'm wrong. I'm the one that, my homies are like, oh, that's a homie's girl. We don't give a fuck. No, I care. I'm going to come, let's say they're standing there. Yeah. I'm going to come this way yeah. instead of going that way and be yeah. like, I don't like your fucking shoes. And make a joke right oh, off shit. the bat. Just to yeah. see how she responds. And if she responds with some like, he went to Oakland when his girl really came around. She came on a trip with us. We had disagreements, but the whole trip, me and the homies were making rap songs about her, rapping, clowning on them for yeah. being all booed up. Yeah. And she laughed the whole time, and I was like, you "Which know, is that's good." That's kind of how that's kind of how Mo is with like yeah, hundred yeah, like, percent. All, all the homies clown on her, and she loves it. Like, and, yeah. and 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 I was fucking on her. We were on her bumper. Yeah. The homie poet brings the girl. I'm like, where are you from, Oaxaca? She was basically on trial. Like, this, no, like no, if you no. pass trials, yes. you good. Yeah. That fool brought her. She was from Oaxaca. I was like, oh, yo, people ugly. The homie poet ugly. He's from Oaxaca. I'm like, you ugly. I'm like, ugh. And what's I'm, like, I'm, like, I'm like, oh, you like that stinky cheese, huh? And she was right there like, Oaxacan <laughs> cheese? <laughs> But it's not I'm, that stinky. No, no, it's not yeah, that. Like, like, I love Oaxacan people. I love Oaxacan mole. Yeah, but I'm just I, fucking with her. You yeah, know yeah, yeah, we're getting the joke. Yeah, I'm like talking shit. The homegirl Jay, she's been around us for a while, and if if the day she does bring a guy around, we on his bumper tough, got boy. You, oh, you. even tougher. Got you. Got hey, you. my boy, you could fight. <laughs> the homie P, whether it don't matter, we're fucking. I'm testing you all day. Yeah, man. yeah. The homie, okay, the homie Andy, shout out my homie Andy, love him to death. My, my brother, he's like my brother, like this is my my best of friends. We had a group. Well, we still have a group. We're all we all love each other, but 
he used to date one of the homegirls from the group. She, she's, shout out my homegirl, Allison. They're not dating no more. She, he has a new girlfriend. Shout out Clarissa. That's sis. Love her to death. When she first came around, I started throwing out the exes jokes. Oh, but which shit. is my best friend. My homegirl, Allison's my best friend. Yeah, yeah. And she was taking him to the champ, pops. I'm like, oh, yeah. I'm like, Allison didn't do that, though. That's so and, fucked And I'm out, throwing though. it. Boom. I'm lobbying them. The homies are catching. Bah. Fool, hitting her, pop, 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 pop. It is, but it's and then and then and then and then and then she was just laughing like, well, she was just talking shit, but like yeah. in a joking matter. Yeah, yeah. And it's one of those things. And like recently, uh, for my dad's like after party thing, when after the funeral, my hunger Allison, her new man came to pick her up, uh. and she had her bag there. And when she was about to get it, I grabbed it and I put it down and I cuffed it between my <laughs> seats. Up, and then I grabbed it, and I put it right here, and I was like, go tell him to come get the bag for you. Come tell him to come say what's up. And he didn't come. No way. And she was like, he didn't want to come. And I was like, and I was like, well, then you can't get your bag. You can leave though, but you can't get your bag. And that's like my sister, like yeah, love her to yeah, death. Yeah. She I'm knows like, what you're doing. And I'm like, and I'm like, you can't get the bag. But it's not like, oh, we're not like, we're tough. Yo, like, no, it's just we just, I'm trying to fuck with him. Like, yeah. yeah. Hey, what's up with your girl, fool? Like, hey, how many bitches you got, my boy? Like, you crack, like, and I'm trying to, I'm, I'm, and I'm working at that. And then she it, it, he didn't come through. He didn't come through. I'm a little mm. disappointed in him if you're Yo, watching flag, this. Red flag. I'm a little disappointed. Hey, yeah, flag. yeah, it might That's be on red flag. She, she, she's on a date. She's on a date daily. They're doing the, the Dalai Lama shit. They're eating ice cream, but I don't know how I'm coming about, straight boy. up. Because like, if it was me, like, if you're if you're testing my my, my funniness, yeah, you're trying yeah. to make me comfortable, I'm gonna go in there and take it, boy. Like yeah, I feel yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? I have sisters. Yeah. You know how to But do. even with my brother, like, I'm throwing jokes all day. Pop, yeah, pop. And then low blows. Like, because I have dark humor. Let's see if you catch on. But I but I could only imagine like. Obviously, yeah, he has a new girl, but like before that, because you know, shout out her, pretty sure beautiful yeah. young lady, you know what I'm saying? But like, were you like, uh, maybe she wasn't for you, Josh? No, he's never no, been like that. No, no, I never girl. been like that because yeah. I think uh, the individual, Josh Leva, he doesn't really fuck with people that are. Yeah, wet. you you don't give me like like, yeah, like and, weird and, and like plus, weird girl energy. He's he's mm, the type no, of person that if he's bringing somebody, it, he knows that it's gonna work. Oh, okay. He's not bringing I like nobody that. Because honestly, my people, when people don't fucking talk and they're shy yeah. and they're this and they're that, but not the Josh Leva, he don't do that. How are you guys with, obviously you've been your girl with your girl before yeah. that, but like, has there ever been like a homie's girl or like a girl's homie that only came around because of your guys? You feel like they gave you energy only because of your status? Just a very good question. No, no, no. I'm not saying like specifically no, your girl exactly at the moment, but let's mean. say like, do you feel like you ever brought a girl around and she was acting weird because of let's say Seb Oz and yeah, his girl yeah. status? Uh, have you have you ever me, been around a homie for me, it's or never, a cousin? It, yeah, that's, it's never been somebody's girl. It's somebody's friend, and they just want to be there because what what we what you guys do for a living? Yeah, sure. Yeah, that's happening. And I, I'm not and, and, I'm not the type of guy that's like. How do you detect it? You can just feel it, bro. It's obvious. It's easy. It's so, you can pick up on it so quick. You feel yeah. the energy. Why you look that way? No, no, no. no oh. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. I can hear you guys. <laughs> no, no. And, and and I feel that. You feel the energy. It's quick. It's obvious. Like, it doesn't take a fucking rocket scientist. You can just immediately can pick up on it. You'll tell. You can tell. Just, just, peasy. Have you guys ever felt like a girl or a guy ever came around because not, okay, because of me? Yeah, because you're famous? Yeah, yeah like, I feel like Jizz told me once, like, they just want to be I had to it. leave this fool because he was just talking about you the whole time. Yeah. Yeah. That was one recent. Like, I felt like the only thing happened was because, like, you know, Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Like, yeah. But it was like. I've been throwing lots of the hungry, like, hey, I'm going to try to crack. Go, go, go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no, uh, I've had. Yeah, I mean, yes, I, I that mean, happens. And, that and, happens. And I've had a situation where, like, not with homies, but definitely, like, let's say my homie will bring a girl here. And obviously, you see the plaque, see plaque. the sign. Well, how the much is that plaque? Hundred thousand. Hundred thousand. It's yeah, cool. My first hundred thousand. Oh, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> what hey, a, we gotta give him his flowers. No, I'm just saying. Hey, like, no, we gotta give him his flowers. No, I'm just saying. It's a big deal. Bro, it's a big deal. This one has millions. It's a big deal. Million. How many do you have? What do you mean? Hundred K plaques. Hundred K. How many? Do, be, and, well, and he only has one of those. No, I got two of those. Yeah, two of those for different channels. Yeah, two of those with different channels. And then, how many million ones do you have? I got one million. But two millies. Yeah. 
I have one million, one million plaque, but I got two channel. million subs. They don't do two million subs. They just do uh, one million, five million, ten million, and fifty million. I'm, I was talking about the club, the, the subs. I mean the the plaques. The Not plaque? how many. I get it. You have too many subs. Yeah, yeah, what yeah, a yeah. dick. Two hundred thousand, one million plaque. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember when I would go to his uh, house when I first met him. He had all the plaques stacked up, and it was like. And and back then the plaques were bigger. They're huh? massive. They're heavy as fuck. Yeah, like, these are lightweight. Yeah, they're all aluminum. They're more. They're more. Okay. E they're more <laughs> eco. They're eco. Hey, don't trip. I got the same one in my room. Um, but he had this fucking fat one, like this thick. Pause. They don't make them like they used to. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> super pause. Super and, uh, fucking pause. Bro, he had them everywhere, bro. Look like a record label, G. Wow. Yeah. Man. I gotta give Josh. Everybody has to give Josh his flowers. He's a fucking YouTube OG. This was a fuck, not, I don't want to say OG to make oh, wow, what a, what a, feel some type of way. The the the, the, the dude is just a legend. Can you take a shot? Yeah, the, dude, right. the dude's a legend. And and okay, but back to the people wanting to be around because we're popping. The, yeah, I don't want to say that, but you said that. Yeah. I didn't say that. No, it you happens. Know, you know what though. I noticed? It's not from like my my friends, girls, and stuff like that. It usually it tends to be like my cousins' friends. My friends, friends. It's like that. Those are the people that hey, want to hey, come hey, around. Like, what's, who is this person? Like, hey, hey, what's the most annoying question that I get? Or like any of you, both of you. Like I could, like me. Like I know, like, like. I mean, I have a lot, bro. It's, what's I'll, what's okay, okay, okay. What's the most annoying question about a guest? Oh, like to ask about a guest, uh, dude. Yes. What do you mean? And, and, like like give, give I don't know. Example. Like let's say right now after I have you guys. Yeah. I know my homies girls are gonna be like, how were they? Oh, okay, yeah, we get that a lot. Yeah. And I'm like, I don't wanna fucking explain. Yeah, they were cool. I say they were great, they're amazing. But they wanna know more, like, oh, so like you guys like friends and stuff like that? Like what's the what's the situation with y'all? <laughs> like people wanna know like more and more in depth of like just the surface of the answer. But but also you guys been blessed with a lot of good friends, right? Yes. Oh no, yeah, I'm telling you, bro, with like and, top tier. Oh, not the shorts. Damn, am I buzzed? Fucking cheers, bro. I'm not driving to Vegas. They are. Are you flying or driving? Oh, all you guys are going? All no. You guys? Oh, just you. Jizz is scared to call off work. You got your EDC outfits ready? Jizz is good. Sponsored one? Are you DD? Are you DD? No, Oh, you're flying smart. They play on Saturday, smart. huh? Smart. They play Saturday? Lakers are playing tonight. Oh, my bad. Sorry. I'm just... Oh, they do play tonight. Right. Shout out to Chivas, bro. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Las rayadas, güey. Mm. Nah, just kidding. I fuck with America. I don't hate it. No, you don't. <laughs> Any real Chivas fans? If you gave them Chivas jerseys, yeah, he said that to show face. Customized, too. He really Custom. doesn't give a fuck about Cuauhtémoc. Custom, about, with about, the names about, in the back and everything. Bro, he thinks it's fuck them all the way. Hey, bro. I didn't buy them no fucking rinky dinky nah. Chivas jerseys. That shit These was were fitted. authentic. Catered. $140 Taylor. jerseys. Every, everybody. Damn. I nice. splurge on my homies. It was so blew the whole YouTube check. He did. <laughs> Even my percentage. That was crazy. Right I was like, there. "Shit, what about this? Is my cup, bro. You're going into. You're going into. You're going into my cup, bro." Percent of the check. <laughs> Holy shit! You buzz or what? I'm you're good, Pops. Bro. I do this for a living, Pops. Yeah, can I just say that I'm so comfortable right now? Are you? Yeah. You feel good? I'm so comfortable right now. We're I at feel two hours. Are two we hours at two in? hours? Is that are crazy? Like oh shit! Two and, two and a half. half? No, we're at two. Why do you say two and a half? He put hey, bro, on his bag and he's leaving. You know you look at? Maybe I'm buzzed. You know who uh, 40 is? Honestly, like Drake stupid. Like? You give me 40 vibes, yeah. bro. Are, are you, are you, you showing me this bag right, right now? Yeah. Do you know what this bag is? Right, I'm going to use the restroom. Can I use the restroom? Yes, go ahead while we talk about this. Look, this bag is, it's good. It's okay. is, it, it. is an authentic Pablo Escobar bag from Colombia, Medellin. <laughs> Pops, no Gucci bag, no Louis Vuitton, no Prada, no Dior, no Hermes, no fucking, none of that shit can fuck with this bag. I got this bag at the Pablo Escobar tour. So when you go to Medellin, I don't know if you travel, but I do. But I <laughs> I, 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 I went to Medellin, and when you go to Medellin, they sell th this bag everywhere. It's like, it's, like, it's, like, uh, it's like when you go to Mexico and everybody wants a sombrero, you know? Yeah, this is the it, bag. It's like, this is like something that they sell all over the city. Um, so... But at the Pablo Escobar house where they do the tours, where his brother's at, still lives there. They have a museum and it's sick, bro. I'm, I, I hope that one day you go because I think you really, I think you would really like it. And this is where you got that bag. And this is where I got this bag. This is a four hundred dollar bag. Like they charge four hundred dollars, not 
Not Colombian not money. Not pesos. Not, not they do pesos over there? I think it's called pesos. No. Okay. Yeah. I'm a, no, actually. It's Colombia. I think it's I'm, I'm a little buzz, so I don't, don't yeah, want to yeah. say it. But, but this is real shit. Like, the, the, the quality there at that place is the best quality bag you can get. It's called a carril. How many things fit in your bag? A lot. But can I show you something? Look at Yes. <laughs> it has a fucking Pablo stamp in the back and you guys can't see it. No, you know what else is harder other than this? It's this. Gonna shit his brother thing. signed it. Oh, right. And his brother, it was Pablo Escobar's accountant. So he... Yeah, so he was... Uh, <laughs> Fuego's like, I want the picture of this. <laughs> so um, that was his accountant. And he was there and he gives out photos and stuff like that. And uh, he's 80% blind because when he went to jail, you know, when he went to jail, um, for, obviously for what they did, um, he he received this package, and it said it was from like his family or something, but it wasn't. It was from Los Pepes, which at the time which they're enemies, rivals. Um, he opened the package. I think it was like a box, cause it wasn't an envelope. It was a bomb to kill the brother. As soon as he noticed it was the bomb, he threw it away, but it, it exploded right next to him and, and it blinded the, him. Wow, eighty percent though. 80%. He so he still only saw see. your 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 necklaces. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> but luckily he, he he saw enough of the bag to sign it and it was a really great experience. Wow. I love that for you and, and Pablo Escobar that killed the What? Can he says me? I just wanted to give you a little backstory on, on the bag. No, that's, no, that's I'm, I'm amazing bag. And you know it's Gucci colors? Yeah, yeah. Now, so what do you feel about Pablo Escobar Gucci, and bombing the but city? It's, not, it's better. Huh? Well, a lot, a lot. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not saying that I'm Team Pablo Escobar. I'm not saying that. I mean, you bought his bag. But I did because it's sick. <laughs> but a lot of the. They, they say, would you like, buy R. Kelly's bag? I would not, actually. I would not. Oh. There's different crowds, though. Like, everybody's. What about Bill crowd. Cosby's bag? What's it coming? Uh, <laughs> no. I, I don't oh think Oh my like, god. What? Fuck? I have to hold back. What does it come with? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just asking. I'm just asking. He goes, it depends. What does it come with? with? I'm just asking. What does it come with? Sometimes it doesn't matter. What does it come with, bro? It doesn't matter. It's a fair question. It doesn't matter who's selling it. Okay, 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 okay. Why am I out of way, please? Well, go ahead. Let me talk to the Josh Lava. He's way cooler than you. He's way more famous. (laughs) You need water, bro. Are you going to Vegas after this? (laughs) I'm not driving, though. I don't give a fuck. So where are you guys saying that? We're staying somewhere nice. Nice. Encore, it don't get better than Encore. Where? Uh, I think Mandalay Bay. Sweet oh, vibes. Sick. All right. But it's because we're not really on the strip vibes. Yeah. First we're, time EDC? First time EDC. Are you going to do, uh, are you going to roll? I don't do drugs. Okay. I swear to God. You just drink? Only alcohol. Okay. I've never you know been. a lot of people are going to be on drugs there, bro. Like, I've been to uh, like quite a bit of festivals. There's nothing like the EDC energy, the crowd, people, everybody's rolling, everybody's on some shit, bro. Yeah, I think. The, it's crazy. You, if you see anybody was, like, covering their face, it's because they're trying to, like, cover up their jaw. Their jaw. From, like, clenching and, like, moving yeah, around no, no, no. and stuff like I that. Think people are going to be snorting shit, like, uh, Vicks, like, up their nose. But it's not really Vicks. It's poppers to open their bubble? No, no, no. No, Vicks. Oh, it's Vicks. Okay. Do, yeah, but probably that, too. Probably that, too. But they do Vicks. <laughs> yeah, they do Vicks because it, like, it just heightens up your senses and stuff like a hundred percent. No, no, no. I'm, I'm pretty good at like being around drug addicts, like my dad. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm really good at being around people that are on drugs when I'm not drugs. Yeah. But my main focus is when I'm not on drugs. Yeah. Is to fuck with the people that are on drugs. How do you do that? <laughs> like, get the homie off the strip and be like, yeah. you, go like that. you go big with your energy. Yeah, I just go crazy. <laughs> and I like hit their head. I'm like, ah. And they're just like, Wah. you think you could tell? You could tell? You have a good eye for it? I, I, my dad was a drug addict that just died. Damn. At least you had a dad. That's cool. You didn't have a dad? No, I didn't have a dad. You didn't have a dad? A dad? A dad. I'm going to say dad. You didn't have a dog? I have a dad. You're fucking emo. Hey, fool. You didn't have a dog? Hey, fool. You didn't have a dog. You're faded, dude. No? <laughs> Fuck you, dog. Hey. I never had a dog, but dude, I've had I a Dude, I can't father. wait for these timestamps because I'm going to make about seven clips. Bro, we're the fucking best. <laughs> Should we take a shot? Let's do it. One more. Fuck well, it. if you can hang, fool, you're all slump, li- slump nation. You're the one that gave Pablo Escobar props for everything he did. I never gave him props. <laughs> I just... 
Bought his merch. You he, bought his merch. I think it's a, I think it's a cool bag. No, no, honestly, amazing bag. Bro, can I tell you something, bro? Look, I get it. There's probably so much political nonsense that goes behind the scenes with with him and stuff like that. But he's still an icon, bro. Like he's still like he, like Jeffrey Dahmer. He's not sure, an icon. absolutely. But no, but it's this, <laughs> you're talking different tiers. Jeffrey bro. Dahmer but is definitely not an icon. He's not. A, he's not a Pablo Escobar. Pablo wouldn't eat. People. He's in Scarface tier. G. They made they made Netflix yeah. show Do you like about Scarface? Pablo Escobar. Do you think Scarface is cool? I think Scarface is pretty He's, cool. Yeah, well, I think Pablo Chapo Escobar, cool. I think, is just like a Scarface. Or if, if, no, no, if, if not, I'm not even, at, if not I'm even, not mad at you for the support, I think. I'm not supporting Pablo Escobar. No, I'm not saying. But if you ask people from, because I've, 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 uh, I've gone to Medellin because yes, I, I we travel. Yes, get it. You've traveled to fucking Colombia. Yeah. Um, if you speak to the people from Medellin, they actually like the guy. They, they, uh, he helped a lot of people. And and the media, the news in Colombia, they, 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 uh, they say, it. they say that they lied about things that he would do. And I'm not saying that that's truth or not. I don't really care. But you like the, you like the, I, I'm not mad. I, I love. So it's a fashion guy. I, I know. I, I could see. Okay. You it's know what? It's more about the aesthetics of it, the way it looks, the way it feels, the way it, like the, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's not so I just deep like, into I, like. If, if I'm wearing something, it's about like the conversation yeah. that I'm going to have about it. Amazing. And, and, and I love that for you. Where'd you guys <laughs> get your, where'd you. <laughs> Fuck you. Where'd you guys get your, where'd you get your, where'd you guys get your necklaces from? Your girls? No. My Actually, you know what? You're right. My girl bought me uh, one of these necklaces. Yeah, actually, I think where, both. where where was that cop? Uh, I think I kiss. Mr. Mr. Story. I guy? think I kiss. What's that? Kiss. You never yeah, heard of kiss? kiss. You never heard of kiss? You never had a kiss before? Kiss. Never. never you want a kiss? Kiss. <laughs> kiss fool. Kiss. Who, who owns the fucking shit? I have no idea who owns. Uh, I think his name's Ronnie, but it's kiss fool. Kiss. You know, never kid, heard of kiss kids. kids. You never You've heard of Kith? You know, you know How does Dino not know Kith? You don't know fucking kids, you K-I-G-H, K-I-G-H bro. Kith. 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 Yes, yes, Kith. Kith, Kith bro. Kith. Oh, bro, it's a fucking worldwide brand. Like, give me a wet Kith. Who the like, fuck yeah, is one Kith? Of those. Kith. Kith. K-I-T-H. What are you talking about? Mike Tyson on that shit. Kith. Yeah, that's kith. what I'm saying. Do you want a Kith? Who, who, who's the Kith? Who, who? Okay, your girl bought that for you. My girl bought me actually this, yeah. She knows my style. I like it. Thank you, bro. Do you? Are you? Mm, how would I? Look? Okay. Do you, do you like it? <laughs> uh, I do. Uh, what are no, you no, talking no, no, about, no. bro? You look really good in this sub. Honestly, it's you. <laughs> <laughs> she bought you two or just one, and then it came with two. Oh, it's uh, okay, one. Okay, okay. buy one, get one hey, free, G. Hey. <laughs> My, my my girl, she did real well for herself, so she'd be splurging on me sometimes. No, no, I feel I I've seen your girl way more rich than you. Yeah, um, a hundred percent. I drive a Ford, she drives a Mercedes. Yes, yes. Um, do you guys go fifty fifty on rent? Uh, yeah. Like she a, pays for the house. Oh yeah, she pays for the whole house. Yeah, no, uh, yeah, every relationship is fifty fifty. I love that. Sometimes you know she'll she'll pay more. Sometimes <laughs> I pay more. Okay. You know, it's just a relationship. I've been with my girl for thirteen years. You guys have a joint bank account. We don't actually. Wow. Yeah, we all keep our finances separate. Yeah. But you guys just meet in the middle when it comes to the finances. Yeah. What about you? See, I got my own money, baby. Yeah. Okay. I'm bachelor living, baby. Oh, are your eyes open? <laughs> are they open? I just. I, are you judging my eyes, bro? No, never. Okay. I'm just, I'm just, I hope not. People say I look Asian sometimes. Yeah, my girl looks Asian too, Chino, but Chino. she's Mexican. You know, when I first met my girl, I was like, wow, the, she's the, Filipino? First, the first Asian girl I remember gonna date. Like, she's hot. Yeah. She's Mexican. Super Mexican. Super. <laughs> and whenever you're doing like business, is your girl like, oh, babe, that's not cool? What do you mean? Like she looks over your contract? Oh, she's super smart, bro. I mean, mm. she's been in the game uh, for a long time, so she advises him. No, like, yeah, she'll advise me, yeah. but she's never said like, don't. Oh, actually, she has said don't do yeah, that. Yeah, that's, yeah. No, that's okay yeah. with somebody giving you advice. Yeah, yeah, I love uh, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She has, she has actually, yeah. They, like, as a man, right? As a grown man. Like the hombre of the house. Yeah. I'm, the, I'm the one with the uh, gun. I, I know I get that yeah. I get that but like, like sh- does like, it make me feel a certain type of way? I mean like no like, because I think that's machismo shit. That's no it is 100. percent I'm yeah. uh, baby I'm with you feminist. Let's let's do it up. Feminist. I, I support women, but like are you ever like, damn? Yo no get, not she's really more nah because because at the end of the day but, but, my, my girl's my but, best but, friend. But so you're I, just assuming that that's an assumption I'm based not, on what you get, I'm based asking. on what you've seen on social media. Cheers. Who's to say that she's more richer than him? Google. <laughs> <laughs> no, she is though. She 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 really is. I like how Chelsea. She's like, yeah. She really is. <laughs> no, it, <laughs> okay, and and honestly, I think your relationship is one of a kind. 
Thank you, man. I it love really it. Is, and it really and is. honestly, I appreciate that. Really I saw is. the bridal's vlog. Did you really shut I, the fuck I, your up? Your story. <laughs> shut the fuck up. No, you didn't. It's like I saw the clips. It's, like, it's, it's, a, it, it's a good vlog, bro. I'm gonna go watch it, but you know what? Like, I'm mad. About what? Like, I why saw is, it. No, I'm gonna go watch like, it. Like, why is this bitch out so happy? Like, fuck this fool. I want to be happy yeah. too. It, like, did you watch it and go like, God damn it? I don't think Josh has watched it yet, right? Nah, I haven't seen that. <laughs> but you gonna, know, it's on my, it's on my. Everybody back home, if you follow Karen, go watch the bridal show. I've seen it. I've seen it. Yeah. Yeah. Were you on the vlog? No, because I was. No, he was in Denver. I was in Denver. Doing what? He, w- he went to a concert, right? Yeah. Wow, <laughs> you missed one of your best friend's bridal shower for a concert? That could never be me. I'm just saying, though. That's just me speaking me, but I mean, hey, everybody's different, right? You said that. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. <sighs> La Plática. What about it, G? You started it first, right? Yeah. Yes, technically, yeah. but Josh enhanced it. Okay, I, I didn't get to my second question. Okay. That was the first one. Um... Josh also was on the second episode. Oh, was he? Ever, yeah, yeah. Ever. Wow. Should I interview you guys separately? You can yeah. if you want. Who, who should I come mean, first? I mean, it's your show. As, 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 let's say you're a manager. Who would you suggest to What's come first? What's your objective? What are you trying? <laughs> that what? <laughs> if I was a manager, what? If you were my manager, who would you suggest to come first? Josh Slave all day. He got the plaques, my boy. Are you mad at you, Bob's? <laughs> I was thinking about it when I booked. I was like, I'm going to take them separately. <laughs> Yeah, definitely, Josh. Honestly, I wanted your girl, but I'll suggest. Oh, 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 oh. Dude, you should have my girl on oh, here, yeah. bro. You should, she bro, wouldn't do it so fast. Bro, I, she the main. No, no, no. And, and honestly, I was doing just like history on you guys. And honestly, bro, like. Bro, my girl got 7 million followers. Pops. Damn, fool, we're fucking worried. We ain't shit on Pops. At all. There's levels, bro. There's my tears. Was, there's levels. There's put tears. Out there, got Pops. Shit, I'll be at the horny bar, G. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> hey, um, what's the, give me a sick one. What do you mean, give me a sick I one? I've seen you telling little kids to give you a sick one. Oh, oh a, a, ma- sick, a sick eh. mapa, yeah. So um, when we started La Plática... Um, well, you started it first. He wasn't original. Nah, 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 nah. I don't like to talk like that. Okay, who wants that? Let's see. But I wasn't. Like, that's real talk. I wasn't. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> was Josh, Josh is La Plática, and, and La Plática at the moment wouldn't be where it's at without... Okay, love the political question. Love the political <laughs> It's answer. not political. It's real <laughs> shit. It's definitely it's political. <laughs> I love you, Sebas, but it's political. It's and not Josh that. is more popping, and you brought him on. To get the views up. It's okay. You know what? We all do that. <laughs> like I just like, leave me alone. I, like, <laughs> <laughs> I, I disagree, though. I disagree. Because we had different audiences. Like, I built my own audience. I built I'll my own it. legacy. I get it. But outside of that, when he asked me to be on his, I actually felt like it was an honor to be on his. And yeah. I made it a point to make it known that, like, yo, I'm going to do everything I can to protect your brand and what you built and stuff like that. It really was important to me. Because it's a different audience, bro. It's Tell a whole different what fool, Stop looking at me, fool. <laughs> tell him, Josh, tell him to stop looking at me, Josh. He wants to kiss me right now, and I don't want to kiss no, him. He wants to kiss you, bro. Kiss you, kiss you. Well, imagine if we did a kiss, bro. Honestly. And we clip it? You might not get married. I'm a great <laughs> fucking kisser. I still would get married. But would she accept? Okay, your girl comes down here. Yeah, I think she should. I think yeah. I think you would interview her very well. I, I, it's because, like... I would ask her. Like, I'll ask it, her. I'll ask her. How does it feel? Just her, though. Not me. Not me. No, just I, her. I, duh, not you. The title wouldn't even make sense. Her name, just her name would be fucking amazing. Yeah. We add you to it, and the views might yeah. go down a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like, I feel it. I ain't mad at it. It is what it is. Mm-hmm. That's life. But honestly, okay, bullshit aside. Stop looking at me for my life. La Plática. How did you... How, <laughs> What's wrong How with me did you ask him, like, him. hey, come help my channel? I mean, I mean, come, come be on my channel. Yeah, so um, I got to a point in my podcast where I was doing it by myself. And it was just really hard for me to be consistent. It was really hard. Pause. Again. <laughs> Damn, I keep saying shit like that, don't I? Anyways, so it was really, it was hard for me to be consistent. <laughs> and um, <laughs> what? Is that a number two with a high fagey? <laughs> Just say the views were struggling. It's okay. I've views are so I, I, I don't do shit for views. I do shit for me going to sleep at night I, nice I and guess. comfortably. Um, so <laughs> Dude, no. You are a fucking character, bro. <laughs> character, bro. Bro, you should be on Rocket Power if you don't remember what that is. I, fool. You remember Rocket Power? You should be on Rocket Power. It's, Rocket like, Power. it's like Tito from Rocket Power. <sighs> Who the fuck is Tito? Is he a, uh, is he a now fat Now he's going to Google it and he's going to be mad at is me. Is he fat? 
He's fat. Oh no, my god. No, I didn't. No, That's, I didn't no, say it because no. he's fat. He's a cartoon. If bro. he's fat, who cares? But I didn't say that because he's fat. Okay. So he's a little fat. But what does that do with you? <laughs> <laughs> I don't give a fuck if Tito's fat. It's just the, his, his personality with your personality. Okay, that's, so that's views were struggling. You feel like you needed to up, not like not an upgrade, but like you. you Fine, yeah. Views were struggling. <laughs> I need to. I told myself I need I to something figure different. something out. Yeah. yeah. Uh, pri prior me. prior to that, I was posting what maybe what? Like once a month, once a month, twice a twice month. A that month. was oh. good for me. Yeah, living uh, off your girl definitely living. 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 Can you do this podcast by yourself? Have you ever done a solo podcast? Uh, I always have guests, but it's because this is more interview wise. But Chisme with Duno? Yeah. I've never had like one of my homies sit here and do an interview with me. Huh? Like, you, does that make sense or no? Yeah, you never had an actual homie do an interview with you. That's yeah, what like, you I, it's like just chop it up. Like, just no interview. No. Like, oh, well, you, I do that on could, like, you, could you do it by yourself? Sit here and just talk about bullshit? Yeah. Yeah, I do skits all the time. And the same thing. No, no, but could you do a podcast by yourself? Like, like Theo Vaughn. Like, you know how Theo Vaughn occasionally does, like, solo podcasts? Like, story times, yeah. Like, a full, but have you done one? Never. Gotcha. So, I've struggled, too. No, it's not struggling. It's just, like, it's really hard. That's my point. It's 100% hard. Yeah, so but, it, like, relies on guests. Yes. Right? So, if you don't have a guest lined up, you don't have a podcast. Yeah, but it's also hard when the name is Cheeseman with Duno and I have somebody else on here. It's like, ah, uh, it's about me. Yeah. Yeah. You, you get what I'm saying? So yeah. I get it. I feel it. I feel it. I know. Yeah. Push it aside. I understand what you mean. Yeah. 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 So like you were trying to find structure? No, I think he was trying to build it to be what it was. But he realized that like doing it by himself, it comes with challenges. And it comes with requiring guests every single time. So now we have a structure where like we sometimes we don't have guests lined up every week. Yeah. But we got a podcast every single yeah. week. We do not I miss. Just, I just knew because that. Because we have a chemistry on our own. I love that. Okay. Because exactly. I, I, I knew that. So it was more of a business move than anything else of like a struggling yeah. Because move. I, yeah, I, yeah. like, I mean, Chisme is, you have to have somebody on, you right? have somebody on. Yeah, yeah. So I was, I, was, I was reading the same book as you at that moment. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I wouldn't always have somebody. So if I don't have anybody, guess what? There's no podcast. What's crazy is that he'll have, we'll have guests on, and some of, this isn't like calling out anybody specifically, but sometimes the guests will have less views than a podcast with just him and I on it. And that's what he was trying to build, something that could carry on without. I feel that. I, I get, get what you're saying? saying because it's like commodity was built. Correct. Yeah. And it was like a structure was built. And, yeah. and, and it's not a bad thing. It's like it's like, almost like, like brown bag. Like, like brown bag could, like, brown where, could where, exist without a guest. Yeah, yeah. Like, brown like, bag could just be brown bag. And and what's crazy is that like um and, and, and I gotta give a lot of credit to Letty on that. Because the credit was built off like her just being like, we could do this us too. Yeah. You know that, just right? us. And which is beautiful because I've seen you guys do it on your own and with yeah. guests. Yeah. And it's a dope thing. We've done both and it's a dope thing. It's it's beautiful. But that also it builds character within ourselves. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's why I said in the beginning mm -hmm. that it I does. want La Platica to be known as me and Josh, not right. a guest. Correct. A yes. guest it's is a plus. Of us. It's I, always a plus. But have you guys ever sat there and like not turned down a guest, but you're like, you know what? Maybe this week let's do us. 100%. Sure. Yeah. But what if the guest makes sense, but you also want to build that self? But you know what? You know what you guys do a great job at? And this Everything. is what I'm a. <laughs> this is what I gotta give you guys 100% credit on Flowers Yeah, flowers I'm gonna give you your flowers right now Here Boom Thank you, Pops Okay You're welcome, Dad um, I'm gonna give you guys credit on Even though you have guests You guys still get your shit off And I like that about you guys And I've always been good at that And I've seen other people good at that But sometimes it's hard When it's based off guests You guys will still be able I could still learn a lot about you guys If you have a De Oro if, mm -hmm. and, and no shame to them. Shout out them. Loving the fucking yeah, them. We yeah. just gave them the flowers. Yeah. But you guys, I still learn a lot about you guys with guests. Yeah. And that's a and that's a yeah, talent yeah, yeah, fool. Yeah, 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 whether yeah. you guys see it or not, because obviously, but you know what I'm saying? Like whether you guys see it or not, that's a fucking talent, bro. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. You I, I said I can learn about you while learning about somebody else. Yeah. Unless you have ADHD that you can't multitask and it's bad. But I can. Sometimes it's bad for me. I gotta like play with the couch and do some ADHD shit, get up, we'll give a circle, sit back down. But I could learn a lot about both of you guys while sitting there. And Appreciate it's a beautiful, that, and, and it's no, no, beautiful. It, it's just nice to and, hear that. And, and I think it's a yin and yang thing. It is. I think with anybody else, it would have not made sense. No. I think when I sit and look at you guys, and like I said, this is me giving you flowers as somebody that you guys are not like, I don't want to say like big homies, but I think your guys work ethic and all that, I look up to it. 
as, you, as, as a younger, as a as a young, I'm a young man. I'm a, I'm a man, right? You're young as fuck. Yeah. Uh, you barely turned man. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay, well. Barely, we but both, you're a man. Yeah. But, you know, like, I, <laughs> the work at the, the yeah. shit you guys do with La Platica, the guests you guys have, saludos. Like, I look yeah. up to shit like that. Thank you, man. It was the, it was the same with Vic and Letty. When I met them, I was, yeah, I work ethic. fuck yeah. the followers, fuck all that. Like, I'm... I'm amazed by the hard work. Yeah, yeah, that goes a long way. And 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 I was exp today. Um, I was doing something. They're like, "Who do you have on today?" I was on the group chat. And I was like, "La Platica." And then somebody was, was like, "Who's that?" And I was like, "Bro, you see, you remember that drink?" I don't even. And then I'm not saying that's what I only mentioned, but like, I was like, "Oh, whoa, whoa. I broke it. I broke down the success, not the podcast. I broke down the success." And they're like, "That's sick, fool. Hit me later." And Jiz, in my line, we we have on the group chat with like 30, we, there was like a couple of us in there talking about ADC and they're like, why are you going to come later? I'm like, I got la platica. And they're like, oh, that's sick. And, I, and, and even though they didn't know her, they saw the amusement in my face. Gotcha. And it's just because of the the the, the adm admiration I have. And, I, and I've had that with a lot of my guests where you got to, I like, I don't give a fuck if 10 people know you guys. That The, the admiration and, and like respect I have for the craft is... It's what's unbelievable, and and I've always been big on that. Yeah, same. You same. know what I mean? Same like same, I, I, I'm able if if I'm able to not put you on, but like if I'm able to have a conversation with you that people would never have, I'm yeah. I'm willing to do that. And this isn't even to like necessarily shout them out or even like to, like to make a point to your yeah. example. We were just on the I E and Friends podcast. There's these like mm -hmm. other three Latino guys that are doing their own podcast. You My boys, I'm first. sorry that I haven't pulled up on you, fools. And you need to, bro. They've been hitting me Can up. I tell you something, bro, because that that's the exact point. Like, yeah, yeah. their work ethic, the structure, what they got going on, the determination, all that stuff that you're talking about, bro. They got it embedded in them. It's they not so much shit. about yeah. the numbers, the success, the admiration. They're really about all it. that stuff. It's about like what they put into it. It's exactly nice to what, see. It's exactly. really nice to that, see that ethic. And, and so I'm with you. Like, I don't care if you got ten followers, but if I see the work, the ethic, everything. I'm all about it. That's very yeah, and, and and I think that's kind of what the similar thing when we met. It was like I remember I walked in and you're like, "Sorry, it's mine." I'm like, "Fuck, I don't give a fuck, fool. Where am I sitting?" Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you were like, "Hey, right there, fool." I'm like, "What?" I got I went crazy, and and I don't go crazy for everybody. I'm gonna keep it a buck. But y'all, I felt comfortable. I felt at home. I felt like I was with my older cousins. Yeah. yeah. And you guys were just kind of letting me do me, and and that's yeah. a beautiful thing, fool. So I think even like when you guys flaked on me, I was like, "Fucking assholes," and then I was like, "But I'm having back," and you guys came. Bro, I've been here since twelve. I'm never here that early before, I guess. But it's because I'm 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 not admired by the shit. You, like I'm 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 a fan, bro. Thank you. I respect the craft. I don't give a fuck how old you are, how young you are, how old you are. I don't give a fuck about none of that. If I don't respect the craft, it's not that cool. Yeah. Yeah. It's like saying like this, right? I will have you guys over long neck. I don't care if he has a million followers. I don't give a fuck. Shout out, man. I'm just an example, right? I don't give a fuck. I respect this fucking craft. Yeah. When 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 you told me about salud, that's all that's been on my head lately. When when I see like energy shit, when I see hydration shit, I'm like, that's fucking sick. Way I know some food that has its own fucking powder. Like that's sick. Not the cocaine version, but like yeah, you know part. a lot of foods have powder. Uh, yes, but the, the good powder. The good powder, yeah. and, and shout out him for building that. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, yeah, it's crazy. Like and like yeah, like I is. and like I said, we've had those conversations within our shell, within our people. Like, it's a it's a you gotta give flour and and. I think that's why I've been here. So I've had mental blocks when it came to content. Like, what am I going to do? And I just sit there and I fucking get frustrated with myself and I go get drunk and I just think about other shit. But then seeing you guys just have a conversation, it's like, I shout out my boys, man. They're doing their shit. And we've only met twice. Am I lying? No, Am I lying to the camera? Yeah, no. And I've already learned so much. You Same. sat there and gave me, you didn't give me a lesson, but you was breaking shit down for me. And I was like, and I'm picking it up. Like, oh, yeah, boom. Yeah. He said there and had a conversation with me, whether it was we were podcasting or not, you and I was picking up games. So I think that's that's important to give you guys your flowers now. I wanna I wanna do that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You. Like whether you guys keep doing this for 30 fucking years or two more years, I just wanna know. I wanna let you guys know that. Thank you, bro. I appreciate the, that. This is a drink we appreciate to, that. Like a fucking like I'm all sentimental and shit. That's why I don't drink tequila. But I wanna give you guys your flowers. Thank you. It's amazing. You guys are no, fucking um, beautiful humans. It's a beautiful thing when when you go on a different podcast. Because, because, yeah, yeah because, um, <laughs> like, yeah, let's uh, do that. Yeah, let's do that. Me, me and Josh love being on other podcasts because yeah. we see the energy, we, we, we see how they approach their show, and it's just so fulfilling for us. And we're like, ah, oh, you're just like us, like, you have the same love, you have the same motivation that, that we do to, to wake up and, you know, 
do this, you know, yeah, sit no, down. And, 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 and it's a good feeling, especially for me, because it's like, fuck, Duno's fucking loves this shit. Like, and I do too. It's like, it makes me proud to be this podcast guy. See, me entiendes? Oh, you were looking for that. Yeah. I'll pour you up. No, 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 100%. And, and I'm I think, the big brother. Yeah, facts. Shout out, big brother. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and it's not like he's slapping me behind the head, but it's like, man, you got to give kudos when it's doing, you know what I'm saying? I think even like, you got to respect everything all around, right? Absolutely. The the beautifulness and you getting married, bro. Congratulations to you. Thank you. You know what I mean? And that's like credit I give to to Vic and Letty. Well, to Letty at least, you know, I got to give her like, you know, building a home, a family. I think it's a beautiful Is Letty married? She, she's married. She hasn't had a full wedding, but she is married legally. Wow. And you know what I'm saying? And, and shout out Jorge too. You got to give them the credit. It's like a power couple seeing them what they do. He, what happened? Vic is married as well? Vic's not married. He's bachelor vibes. He's like you. They're 30 with no life. All right. I'll drink to that. <laughs> no, no, no. Just Vic has a kid. Oh, gotcha. I, got I think no you, and, you, you and Vic would get would along vibe? other than the fact that you guys have a kid. That he has a kid. Gotcha. Shout out little Vic. Shout and out that nephew. happens. And that happens. And that happens. But but I just think when I when I when I'm around, and that's what makes me who I am. And I'm gonna just keep it a bug. All that sentimental shit out the window, right? But even like being around them two, it's a beautiful thing, dog. I learned so much. Like Vic, I could call Vic about my problems. And people, and people, I feel like people don't think I get problems because all the jokey shit I do and shit like that. But I'll call Vic about some shit I'm really going through for like, hey, you know what? Like, woo. And he'll sit there and be a dad. Mm -hmm. And it's like, he don't mean to be a dad. Like, that's my, that's, that's like, it's, and it's big bro, not like he's, let me cheers, pops. Cheers to you guys, cheers to all of those No, I can tell you how much yeah. I, I relate to that. Even on our way over here, what did I tell you? I was like, yo, can I ask you a, on some homie shit yeah. question? And I got deep, because I know he's been in a relationship for a long period of time, and I like, I haven't been in a relationship for as long as he has. So his expertise, his knowledge that he carries, I admire. And even though I'm slightly older, I still respect what he has. You gotta respect I it. Do, I do, I do 100%. No, 100%, and that's why yeah. I was like, yo, can I talk to you? Because I, I have some like real relationship questions to ask you. And he was able to come with such a different perspective, such a different outlook. And I saw his mode change. That's what you were saying. Like He came dad mode. He came relationship mode. He didn't talk to me like Sebas on the La Platica podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he was like, oh, as your homie, oh, relationship. He put himself in that situation. 100%. And gave, you, and gave me his outlook on that. And it's like, and it's like you get those things where, where rare people are like, Kelly's like, you're a couple years older than me, Kelly? Yeah, couple, seven years older? 30. But, but. I've 40. sat there and gave Kelly advice, and I've and I've seen him listen and look at me in my eyes. Yeah, and and not a yeah. weird shit, but I even Jizz, my homegirl Jizz. I I met her during COVID. At first, she was just the homegirl we got drunk with, but she's part of the gang now. I always tell people yeah. like Jizz is one of the homegirls, and she'll be like, and I've seen her when I'm blacked out, and we're having a party here, and girls try to be around. She's gonna be like, hey, don't record the homie, get the fuck out. Yeah. Like you gotta like shut the and down. and she's been like, yeah, that's, that's and and and, dope, and I've been on trips with her. We she went to the bay with us. She was getting behind us, and I didn't ask her for that, but she was she just did. playing the like, I'm older, and she has little brothers. Yeah. So you know, I could only see her. I could only imagine how she sees us. Yeah, that's awesome. My boy Denner, he's he's my family. Family, him, uh, my older sister and his older brother have been together for 15 years plus. Wow. And and. He's like, he plays a big, not, not a dad role, right? But he just plays like, 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 older, like, they're the older siblings. Like, yeah, I'm the one, like, I don't want to, I don't like saying it like that, but fuck it. Whatever, how, however you want to take it, but I'm, yeah, I'm the one with the, with the, with the, with the, the face and the I'm presence. booming and I'm popping and whatever, but I don't do shit without anybody consulting. I sit there and, and send my sisters every skit I do. Do you think it's funny because, yeah. You're my sister and you don't give a fuck and you clean my diapers. You, you see me sharp myself. You see me cut myself. You see me get beat up. And you see also, me do bro, this. The, your, people like your sister are the people who are watching your content. Yeah. So they're going to be able to tell you the real truth if they actually think that's funny. Because we get so caught up in the creation world as the creators. Facts. And the, the, you know what I mean? Behind this, being the people in front of the camera stuff like that. But they're the ones who are watching it. That's everybody who's watching it. It's, those, it's your sister. Yeah. It's a normal person who, not necessarily. Sorry, I don't mean to say normal. No, 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 hundred percent. No, no, no. There's nothing wrong with that. Everybody day in the life because like, normal like, shit. My oldest. Because this is not normal, dude. Like, yeah, this is not like. And 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 we talked about that like relationship, but but even like when I when we were talking about like your relationship, you were like, it's not the 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 public eye is not for everybody. Like my normal. older sister, and my, especially like I have three older sisters. I have Cookie, which is the one closer to me. I have the middle one, and then Erica. Erica's like mom vibes. The middle one. And nobody knows I'm related to her. Damn. I come, I'll come to her house where my nieces live that I have tatted on me that are my babies, love them to death, my baby girls. I'll come and they go like, who's, oh my God, Duna's here? And she'll be like, 
That's my brother. And I'll be like, what the fuck? And they'll be like, that's your brother? And, and she's like, my sister's mellow. Jizz, how are they, they trying to? She's like, fool, do you, fool. I'm proud of you. Do you? She doesn't want to be posted. She don't give a, like, she has no clue what I do. She knows I have a sponsorship with weed. She wants to pick some up. Come pick some up, Ayana. And I love her to death. Even though she's like the one that, like, she used to be the one when we were younger. If I were to give her a kiss, she'd be like, stop. Like, no, she was at- she's, she's like, she's somebody that when I meet somebody and I want them to have that energy with me, it's real lovable. That's her. Mm. Like, I'll sit there and really be like, hey, whatever, like, whatever you need, just like, even though I'm you baby brother, people, even though people. I'm baby brother, just know. I, I tell all my sister this. Whatever you guys need, whether we argue, fight, like, like I'm blessed. Fool. We're blessed. We're blessed a lot. A lot. Then a lot more people, and not in a bad way, but just, you know, we we love what we do. Yeah. And and and, and, and in the real world, we gotta admit, not everybody loves what they do. That's just, that's just mm-hmm. the real world, fool. Whether we want to be political or not about life, it's the real world. And yeah. and and my mom always tells me this: you're blessed and be blessed. You know what I'm saying? And be blessed. She, so I always tell like my 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 sisters like, bro, just like even though I'm little, bro, like I'm dead as your little brother. You could come to me about anything, and 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 it's meaningful. I, I won't ever question you about whatever you need. That's cool, man. And 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 and, and it comes with concert tickets, and any of that. Tables. Like I'm like I'm like I'm like, bro, you need tickets for this concert. I know somebody there. Yeah, call me. I'm like you. You'll save this. Go buy my niece this instead of that. Every whenever I get a check, as whenever I get a whatever type of check, if I can, I always bless them. They get a random, and and I try to do it as much as I can. And when I do, I, hey, it makes me feel so fucking amazing. That's hey, Dino, awesome, we man. get it, bro. You're a good person. You guys are probably in two hours Damn, and 38 minutes. If you're minutes. listening right now, man, shout out to you. This is, you're oh, deep wow. Man. Wow. Am, 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 I, am, am I not a great interviewer? I, I, think, I, think, I, think it's <laughs> I gotta stop drinking. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Where would the jar say? Can you, can you talk about Salud a little bit, please? Yeah, we I really want to know. Yeah, yeah. I just want to know what the. F- I get it. You're fit. You're sexy. Yeah. All that is beautiful. Yeah. But yeah, like, like yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I mean, that's not a big yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but honestly, no, like, what's you, bro. the story behind it? All? What's like when you? Br- I, I, was, yeah. I knew about it. Yeah. I used to hate on it before I met you. Did you really? I was like, ah, oh, he's a fucking competition. Fuck that guy. <laughs> no, I didn't really hate, but I was no, like, I get you. I get you. A shout out him, but I fuck him. I love that. Yeah, no, yeah. but no, but yeah, no, amazing. That's that's kind of stuff that drives me though, bro. But but what's like the story behind it, for bro? Us? I just wanted to make a product that geared towards Latinos. I feel like there was no. I've been in the I've been like in the health and wellness space for such a long time. For a long I started time. Back when I was a, uh, I'm 30. Three right now. I started back YouTube when I was 21. Wow. And I was into like health and wellness. And I just felt like nobody was creating products, supplements that like cater to us. And I didn't need it to be like blatantly in your face. Like we talked about stereotypes. Like yeah. I didn't need it to be all fucking, I'm like, this is Latino product. But I just wanted products that like made sense to me, that like yeah. gravitated towards me. And that's when the idea came, bro. I was 23 years old. I held on to that idea for years. I was like, I want to create a supplement line that caters to Latinos in the sense that like, I, I'm going to bring flavors that resonate with Latinos. And the way I thought about it was like agua frescas. Like agua frescas is like off the bat. We go to taco trucks, uh, uh, Jamaica, horchata, tamarindo. I'm like, why don't these flavors exist in the market? <laughs> Keep talking, but I'm going to show you some shit that I've done. Yeah. That, that I'm going to do that I want you guys to be like a part of. Yeah. And, and it's just me saying it because I was waiting for you guys to be here. Bro, so that was it. I just create. I, I came up with the idea of like wanting to create a product that was uh, catered to Latinos. Not... And honestly, I'm not even gonna lie. It was like I wanted to, I wanted to speak, I wanted to be the voice for Latinos. And now it's become bigger than that, where I like I want to reach the broader audience. Like you talked about, like how we can like make more noise than just being a niche market. Like if you want to listen to, uh, you spe- uh, you name a specific genre for um, indie, indie, like indie music and stuff like that. Like I wanted to like reach a broad audience. Scroll to the right, Bobby. Is this is like four pictures? But look at that shit. Hot Cheetos, that's fucking dope. Oh, that's so. This is like us, though, right? The colorways are crazy. That's dope as fuck. And that's something I'm working on. That it's like, yeah, it's for us, but it's really for everybody. For everybody. uh, Are you scrolling through my rest of my pictures? Yeah, damn. You got some nice titties, bro. That's the thing. (laughs) (laughs) My dick might pop out. (laughs) Yeah, little pee pee. Fire, bro. I love that. Now they're sick, though, right? Super. No, no. Okay, but yeah, no. Yeah. That's that's it. So I I just wanted to create a product that like would just like uh embody and embrace my culture our culture and then uh i just held on to the idea for a long time bro and then i I don't know what it is man like i believe in god so that was just my 
I felt like that was my calling that just made it happen. But he aligned the stars perfectly, man. I met the perfect business partner who believed in me, saw my vision, and just made it happen way bigger than anything I ever expected. Like, bro, I wanted to create this. Originally, my I haven't really spoken about this publicly, yeah. but my original idea was just to create a pre-workout. I wanted to create a pre-workout that was I like, pre -workouts. Oh, I do too. But my my business partner was like, you got to think bigger. Like, you're 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 hitting a niche, 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 niche. Yeah, like, fact. Like, because I don't like pre-workouts after the workout. Blah, blah, blah. Right. But it's like, how do we hit everybody that it, that also can be drawn and and, and understand the culture? Uh, so that's why he the first product we ever released was a, a hydration plus immunity drink mix. So it was like anybody could take it any time, whether you're just trying to hydrate on water, uh, recover from a hangover, whatever it is, or you're trying to just get better, like a vitamin, uh, the emergencies. Yeah, you know, yeah. Emergencies. yeah, 100%. It, it's, it was all encapsulated in one product. So uh, that opened my mind. I was like, wow, this is way bigger than what I could, whatever, whatever I thought it could be. So that's what it was, man. No, and, 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 and I think the... You know I'm, what's crazy, bro? Sorry, I don't mean to... Yeah, go, ahead, right. go ahead, go ahead. But what's crazy is like, as soon as the product came out, everybody got on board. Like uh, a lot of companies hire brokers to reach out to companies like Target, Walmart, Costco, all these companies to try to sell the product. What's crazy about our product is that those companies came to us. And you know what they told us? What you guys are doing is innovative. That was the word that kept popping around everywhere. Innovative, innovative. I'm like, no, it's not. This has been part of my culture since I can remember. Like Dawa Fresca. This is not new, but for them... It was innovative. They've never heard and, uh, of it. They never seen it. They, and, they were like mind blown. Like, and, what you guys are doing is on some Steve Jobs shit. And I'm like, and this is where, if I want hydration, I could come to you. Exactly. And it and it's not that it's we've we've drank all of them alone. Yeah. All these things, right? Yeah. But now, shit, I know my boy. You know what I'm saying? And that's the conversation we're having where like, I think the biggest thing is like. Let's just say, right, there's a fucking millions of millions, billions of whatever Latinos. But if it was like somehow, like, I don't know, like, I'm a little buzzed right now, but I think it's just like, when you're saying that, it's like, that's just sick, dog. Yeah. Like, you're in fucking Target with. Well, well, can I tell you something? I, I need to, like, be, I need to give credit where credit's due. When yeah. I launched the product, yeah. I was a little nervous. Because I was, I was doing it, like, I was the face of it in the sense of, like, I had to represent it. I was the yeah. one who was going to put it out. I was going to talk about it. Yeah, facts. You know? The first time I ever talked about the product was on La Platica, before I was even a host on La Platica. And he was the one, I'm not even just, I'm not even just saying yeah, no, this no, no. just because he's right, but like, he was the, no, he was the one who was like, yo, this is fucking sick. Nice, like, sick. Fool. Yeah, like he was like, yo, I need to be, like, you, this is gonna be it. Like he believed in it before anybody else did. Like literally before it was even public to the world. Literally. I, I just watched the podcast literally last night where I talked about it for the first time because we're coming on our two-year anniversary, June 7th. It's going to be a two-year anniversary. Yeah, okay. Uh, Matu. Okay. And I was watching it, and uh, he was like, yo, this is this is it. And he gave me the extra confidence to be like, yo, yeah, yeah, I'm doing something. Because sometimes you need that reassurance. 100%. Because you believe in something, and you're like, oh, yeah, it's going to be dope. But when someone, your homie, like if you were to be like, yo, Josh, this is this is it, Josh. This is, this, this is going to yeah. you're going to put on. That was like, yeah, yeah. And sometimes you need that extra boost to like, Keep nah, going, nah, keep it's, it's, keep it's one of those things where it's like where you could see the 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 beauty in it. You know what I'm and he did. Like yeah. I said, like like obviously, like we've been competitors for a long time. Not and, and, <laughs> and it's not even in a weird way, but it's like it's like yeah, fuck them fools. But it's like it's like yeah. you gotta you gotta also mama mentality. Like yeah, you, know you, you know gotta you, like, you gotta you oh, gotta you gotta take your hat off where where it's at. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you gotta do that. And it's like one of those things where like bro the the. I mean, that shit doesn't get better than nothing, fool. Like, yeah. like you, you know, you guys, you you did your shit with the product, and it's a successful product. And yeah. I'm gonna send you my address. Yeah, please. I'm, 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 I'm sorry. I'm not trying to do no favors. I'm yeah, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> sending you my address because I'm gonna put my mom on. She be tired sometimes. Yeah. I be like, Chata, you need to be tired. You stop being tired, pops. The homie got some shit now, <laughs> and it's not cocaine like my daddy. You know what I'm saying? But like it's you powder. Get, you know what I mean? It's powder, but you can but put it in your that, water bottle. It ain't that kind of pop pop. You know what I'm saying? Dark humor, man. What's like? What's like? Um, does like have you pitched it to like your deals and 100%. stuff like that? No, I don't have to, bro. The product is spoke for itself, bro. Wow. Okay, you. I love that. Yeah, and and, and I didn't want to do that. I, I just I, I I struggle with um. I don't know, bro. I, I struggle with like people just like uh, like uh, giving me compliments and stuff like that, and trying to like like whatever, just giving me my roses and stuff like that. Yeah. So I just want that product to speak for itself, you know. Um, and um, we're two years in, and like when they they fall, everybody's like on social media now. They see you're like, oh shit, you're on Walmart. 
you're in uh, Target, you're all this, uh, like all everything's like happening for you. It just speaks for itself. And now I can say, yeah, yeah. And you know, and, and you. you know, and you know what's crazy that I wasn't invited to your Coachella party. That's one. And two, yeah, you were not. That's crazy. And, and two, and two, I would have gone. First of all, Jay, you don't fucking know me. Okay, but you were trying to sneak me into the fence. I don't know what that means. <laughs> but like two, your promote, your hard work behind the scenes. I know what it comes with. Mm. People see you and Lechero DJ by a pool and it has a sign. That was That's cool. Yeah. That's fine. But how much work did come with that? A lot. A lot of fucking a work. Lot. A yeah. lot. And that's a beautiful fucking thing. For, and and I got to, like I said, tip but my hat off to But a lot of it comes from like the people and the, the connections that you No, made. no, no. Like, and I got fuck, super blessed and, to know people like. No, fuck him. Fuck the connections. <laughs> Dog, the product speaks. Because whether the connection was right or wrong, I'm not going to support you just because you have a product. If that shit sucks, it sucks. And you're absolutely right. And 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 it's right. You no, do have a right. great best friend that didn't yeah, make yeah. you his best groom man. But <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> but but you do gotta respect the craft, dog. Yeah. It's a very well respected and craft. Yeah, 100%. And dog, I don't I can't name you anybody else that I know that has their own fucking product that keeps you up that I'm gonna use that EDC because we're finna be litty like a titty, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? But it's like one of those yeah. things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you gotta fucking tilt your hat to that fool. Yeah. And whether it's like a good thing or bad, but like, and, and I get it, give them their credit. Amazing. They're beautiful course, people. Yeah. Shout out Seba, shout out everybody that's been up there for. But fool, you and your business partner did that fool. Yeah. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. You sat there in those meetings. A thousand and and I don't know if Seba sat there in those meetings, but if he didn't, he didn't fucking sit there. You sat there yeah. and you believed in the product fool. Yeah. Just like I've sat there and believed on Cheese Modo, I've sat there and bet on myself. I've sat there and believed in Brown Bag. Everybody has bet on themselves, and you did that, fool. So as much as you want to give everybody else credit, it's amazing, it's beautiful, cool. But fool, give yourself credit because it's a beautiful fucking thing, dog. Always. And it's a fucking something that, dog. Yeah, he, he, you he, are a Latino man, fool. Whether how my how white you look, you're a Latino man. <laughs> you think you're white? Yeah, you look a little white. Because I'm six two. You, you, you look a little Spaniard vibes. Hey, I'm puro Sinaloa. Okay, Both yeah, but well, it looks like you look Sinaloa. better a little bit. I'm telling you, bro. Like, <laughs> but no, I'm pure. But, but I, I feel it. But you worked hard, fool. And that shit is in there now because of fucking shout outs on stories. <laughs> no, it, it, you, you, you have to sell it, fool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't sell nothing through Instagram. You can, like, like merch. Go get the merch. <laughs> but... It shit, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like you fucking you you did that for and, and and it's a beautiful thing in yeah. that. Yeah, sometimes um you sell something and the first time it'll sell, but would it sell the second time? Mm. Oh thank and, you. Go and, ahead. And, I'm gonna let you do your thing. Wow. And and Josh sells the second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. Because <laughs> because he came out with a really great product. Yeah, fool, and it, and it's like and it's like I'm I'm pretty sure my boy's not a yes man, and if it was like bullshit, it would be like oh, I'm puppy is not maybe not. Think. But it's like like I said, fool, like it's something that we like. I've pitched ideas. <laughs> sometimes they didn't do good, pops, and sometimes ideas did good. I've I've gotten all my cousins, and and I'm pretty sure when you did this product, you're like. I've never done a fucking who the who's it's a wellness product. Bro. It sounds like some, it's a wellness look, look, product. Look, I'm, I'm, look, look at me real quick. It sounds like some white shit. I'm gonna do a hydration drink. Mm. Am I right or am I wrong? I'm right, right? Yeah, but yeah. that's what we're geared towards. No, that's no, what we're facts, like. facts. And then you broke that fucking barrier. And it's like, fuck yeah, do your shit, my boy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's a beautiful thing, fool. And, and as, like I said, as much as you want to get everybody products, give yourself a slap and like like a hand, like you feel me? I don't know. How do you say it? Uh, pat the back. Uh, pat the, the back. On some white shit. A uh, slap in the side. Whatever the... Okay, first yeah. of all, pat in the back. Hey, like school. the gringo said, pat in the back. Pat, pat in the back. back. And do that to yourself, Thank fool, you, because that. as much as it's, it, it's come from yeah. support, you know, you feel me? You've never had to do no support. It's going to come crazy, but... A ver. But, but, a ver. <laughs> but, but it's a beautiful thing, fool. Thank yeah. you, bro. Thank you, man. And That's you got to... And you got to do that, and you got to, you know, respect the, yeah. the craft, yeah. and it's amazing. And I'm, I'm, like, I'm lucky that he collabed with La Platica, too, like that it's... Out of all the brands that I've ever worked with, I think Salute has been the best brand that I've ever worked he's with. He's our ambassador. One of our... He's well, our well, well, well. Well, Chismo <laughs> Duno's looking for, for an ambassador for his drinks. So if you want to tap in, but I don't... Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm sure Josh Label would love that. Would yeah, love no, that. no, but it's a beautiful thing. Of regardless if we work or not, I wish we could do yeah. it. 20% off, he's a Corduno. 
<laughs> we'll make it happen. If you say it, we'll make it happen. Yeah. <laughs> you like that one? You like that one? No, but it's a beautiful thing. Thank you. And bro. honestly, I think it's like, fool, you're on target. Like, that's Ryan. Ryan Toys. Yeah. Like, you're kicking crazy. it with Ryan. Yeah, he's cool. Well, this fool really is at Target. <laughs> yeah, fool. When you're at Target, do, do you, when you met your girl, did you flex on her? Like, hey, 100%. Let's, hey, let's go down this aisle real quick. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, hey, this is my product. Hey, you know what's even crazier? They put a little, like, photo of me and stuff like that in the fucking, with my product. It's wild. I like he's wild. ignoring you. Who took that pic? Who took that pic? Yeah, Sebas took the photo. Just, just to make it he full circle. He didn't take no pictures. He did, bro. He did. He did. Hey, I ain't gonna lie, Sebas. You're like a straight fucking beaner, way. He's a beaner. You're like straight out the fucking border, pop. He's straight from the border. You're like cara super no palo. He's a fucking Maluma wannabe. Yeah, you're a fucking sick ass <laughs> super Maluma. <laughs> like, <laughs> nah, fool, you're ugly. Hey, no, when hey, he has no, honestly, hey, honestly, 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 your swag boosts yeah, you. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> pero estoy feo. No, 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 pero, pero, hey, pero estoy feo. Hey, PZ, we're gonna leave to you this season. Pero estoy feo. Pero estoy feo. No, no, honestly, honestly, you're not my type. But, mm -hmm. okay, you know what you are to me? You're a monster. Got it. I have a good body, but. <laughs> <laughs> cheers to la plática, pa. Cheers to la No, thank you for coming, bro. Honestly, honestly, bro, we're it. Yo, imagine if we did almost three hours in. A I'm going to tell you like this. What happened? A merch collab drop. Should we just do one right now? A Do Knows World times La Platica. Just a Why quick, not? I mean, unless you, unless one you, shirt. Uh, it's never been yeah, done. It's unless you don't like done. to make money. It's it's quick with it. We're in and we're out. That's it. You get one. I, 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 you get I, one. I love money. You get one. You know what? You know what? I'm going to let you guys drop it and put me on that and just give me my percentage. Whatever it is, you guys are my I brothers. wanted to do that. Okay, well then fucking do I it, I don't want to ship it. You ship it all. <laughs> He's gonna cut you off. You better come help ship. Number one Latino podcast in the world, but we've never said wow. it. Wow. Have you done the array soda? No, but I've done many other things. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, going to your girl show doesn't count. <laughs> You're not the Josh Slava. Two plaques, one milli. I'm just saying. <laughs> you I got But he is though, because it's part of La Platica. <laughs> I've gone. If I'm gonna get a second one for Fig Community World. No, no, we really should though. Are you that get that show one? would be dope. Let's, let's, should, let's do an exclusive merch shop. I People like really should. love. What us. should be it? That'd be crazy, bro. I don't know. We'll That'd figure it out. We'll brainstorm it. We do. We do 500. 500 shirts. What happened? Let us know in the comments what you guys want the merch shop to be. Holy shit! Hey, hey, I think I'm in love with you guys, and it's weird. That's what I'm saying, bro. Let's do it. Let's do a smile. Yeah, let's I don't do know. It. Send me the shit. We'll put it up. We'll just do a shirt that says, "Do you know?" La Platica. That La Platica is number one Latino podcast in the world. <laughs> <laughs> That's you know, the merch. Go ahead up your designer, you piece of shit. He can, bro. Easy. Yeah. <laughs> Hit him up right now. No, no, no. Let me bro, text him. We have so much love for you, man. I, I mean, we need you, to, you know. First of all, I'm backtracking now, pussy. I'm, no, we're yeah. going to do it. We'll do the merch job. Do, do you know? Do know? Do you? Hey, what's, what's the theater that you sold out? Uh, El Rey. Imagine if we did something like that together. What wow. Could we I mean, I mean, I mean, I, I, I think we could do YouTube theater light work. What? Yeah. So let's let's think like that. Like, let's I, not, I mean, let's I'm, not brag I'm about fine with that too. Done. You let's know brag what? About hey, what we fool, could do. If we went together. I'm okay with it. Right. I get it. He's getting. In, he's married and in love, and he's happy. I'm mad. I feel it. <laughs> Bro, Fuck you. Imagine if two solo so that the what is it called? Miguel Ray. El Rey. El Rey. <laughs> Imagine if you did it with us, fool. You got no, crypto no, we center. Need, no, we gotta go. Yeah, <laughs> well, we gotta go YouTube theater. Maybe not crypto. Yeah. No, nah, we could do crypto. I got fun. the I got the plugs at SoFi. Me too. Let's do it then. Let's fucking. What 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 else you want to do? Let's let's pick it up. Should we go surfing together? Bro, anything. That I you feel like you do. surf. No, I want to take you travel. I want to. I want to make you. Take you to I know. I want. I want. I want to <laughs> take you to go travel to see. I can show you the world. Hey, you know what? I'm, I I want to be part of your guys' crew. Okay. Bro, I would love to take you out. What's the crew no. called? My, I'll, I'll pay for my own flight. I got money. I work no, hard. No, but the thing about the thing about us is we like to pay. No, no, but honestly, no, because I don't want like let's say we fall off, like we pay for his trip. Like, I, don't I don't care. It's not gonna make gonna break me or make yeah. me rich or. Okay, poor. but I'm just saying like. Like I want to be the little yeah, like like let's just say you pay no, for everybody else. You know, you'd be like, the, yeah, I'm a little yeah, young. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah, pay yeah. for no trip. At, at the beginning of the podcast, you feel that right? I get you. I at the you, beginning of the podcast, I literally said to myself, I, I didn't say it out loud, but I said to myself, I want to take him out. I, I, you know what it is? I, you want to hug me, huh? No, I just want you to 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 to, to um to see how I do it. Oh, fool, look. But not because I do it in a better way. I just want you to. That's no, okay if you do it in a better way. I'm just saying though, like. 
I'm, I, I want to be part of your gang. I, I, like, I would love. What do I, I do? Nothing, nothing at all. Okay, I just, I don't know. I thought I had to go kill somebody. No, nothing at all. Just, you want to get jumped? I Thirteen seconds. I'm just <laughs> jumped thirteen seconds. That's that's a long time. Um, thirteen seconds is a long I'm, time. I'm down to. I'm down no, to. No, the food from Sur Trece did it for thirteen seconds. That's that's still a long time. No, it, bro, this, this, bro, we're three style hours in. Style change. We're three hours in. A style change. Are you change. keeping everything, do not? We're three, what happened? Yeah. You keeping everything? No, no, well, I'll, I'll edit the jokes I said. <laughs> oh, yeah, please do, please do. <laughs> and, oh, yeah, and, yeah. and I edit the part where he wasn't, like, the, when he was switching SD cards. Oh, yeah, yeah. So right. it might be, like, 250. Cool. That's still a really long time. The longest for, one you've done? Well, you got, like, 10 TikToks. You know what, have you ever interviewed other podcasters? Who? Who? Like, I'm president, I'm like, you? Man, like, who? who the fuck you interview? Just like when you do like social media and things like that. Not on here, but no, you dickhead. Have I interviewed that. another podcast? Because that's how that's how it works. You, we have I interviewed like okay, I interviewed Tyrell individually, AD individually, but have I interviewed like IE and friends all in total? No. No. You guys are my first ones. And honestly, three hours, I'm gonna make so much money off you guys, and yeah. I'm so excited. So I'm down to go on a trip. And I'll pay for myself, but also I want to buy you another purse. Bro, can you like can you, you let me buy you a purse? You, you need to be strategic on how you do the thumbnail, the caption. Yeah, don't you? I'm gonna drop stuff. it on a Monday at 7 a.m. That's beautiful. PSC? That's so smart. No, that's so smart. That's Mondays so smart. don't suck. Nah, I wouldn't do it at 7 a.m. because no one's gonna watch it because they're watching ours. I would do it like sure. around 9 30, 10. <laughs> yeah. I'd wait a little bit. Hey, yo, food, you should are dicks. Food. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna drop it on Monday at 11 a.m. Fuego, you're cool with that? <laughs> yeah, I gotta pay that for you. That's my invoice nah, be yeah. first, bitch. <laughs> Fuego's like, first a lot of pressure. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? Would you guys be mad at me if I dropped it on Monday? No. Not at you know? all. Bro, it's, can it's, I tell you something, bro? We're like genuinely, like, we're. No, fucking... honestly, that should be a crazy crossover on. Super. No, that's what we're no, saying. No, but though. it's amazing. I, I love it. Like, Mondays are the best days to drop it because the, best. the Mondays whole world's don't watching suck. at that time. Honestly, I hate that slogan. We're on. Mondays suck. Do they? Mondays fucking suck. For other podcasters, maybe. Hey, you know what? I got to give you credit. This is what I want to talk about. 4.30 a.m. for the East Coast people? Yeah, he did that. He did that. He did that. He texted you guys agree on it together? No, he just did no, it. No, I, I texted him. I said, hey, I'm doing um, this. I, was like, I said, hey, Monday, we're dropping at 4 a.m. That's it. I don't care. It's already done. It's already it's done. done. I seen it. I watched it three times I by the time we dropped it. it. Yeah, it's, 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 it's cool. Yeah. Okay, I love that. Hey, it's, honestly, it's not a big deal. And I edited it. Hey, honestly, I got to take a piss. We got to go to Vegas. I love you guys. Can I we take you. one more shot? One more, yeah. more. Fuck I get it. One more. One more. One more. I understand you guys. Hey, do you know, real talk, bro. I know we've been throwing your flowers all day, bro. But we're honestly proud of you. Please we're excited you. for you. Everything Thank you're doing. You. You've accomplished a lot, man. Appreciate At you. Such a young age. Dude, we finished the whole fucking. Oh bottle. shit. Two bottles, dog. Hey, no. Fuck! I need to have a drink for me. No way. Get one more here. Here. Get one more. I'm. I'm a, we gotta take a shot. We gotta get one more. No, do, no, do not for real. You're young, dumb, full of cum, but <laughs> you're you're doing something. Hey, Josh is drunk. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> oh, your hat. Hold on, no, wait, 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 wait. Your hat. Wait, 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 wait. Please, please don't move it. Yo, when he wears his hat like that, it's it's a different it's a different vibe, bro. I'm out, for real. I'm out, just how <laughs> oh my God, here. Thank you, pops. <laughs> we took a lot of shots, dude. Dude, what? <laughs> how many shots are we in? Forty. How many shots are we in? No, we're doing like, oh, you know, we're I think we're doing like 10 shots. I think we're doing like 10 shots. And then we're about to smoke a blunt right now, too. <laughs> 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 Not a big shit. Not a big shit. Dude, these foot are jerk on the pot. Hey, you're faded. Hey, you're faded, fool. Hey, you're faded, fool. Hey, faded, fool. You're faded, fool. Fool. Hey. Did that put on hard on it? It's dropping on Monday at 11 a.m. And you're barely getting faded, bro. Um, no, no, no. You got a big ass cup. You got to fill it up. <laughs> no, dog. This, this, this has been amazing, bro. Thank no, you. Dog, uh, I, it, it gets to a point where obviously me and Josh have been doing this for almost a year uh, together. And um, just being with other people who share the same energy, the same type of passion, uh, it makes me proud to be who I am. It really does. And no, and and and, I, and it's vice versa. Sorry to cut you off, but it's really vice versa. Fucking, <laughs> who fixes that? <laughs> I'm good, bro. Do does, your he thing. Act, does he act like this on every party, Wadi? No, no, you know what? I'm done after 45 minutes. 45 minutes. And the fool. I'm we done. just getting, we just got started. 45 I'm, minutes. I'm done. I'm done after 
and it depends. Shout out to people I have done a really long podcast with. But usually, you know, like, we're friends, right? Best friends. Okay, well, then there it is, fucker. And I want to... <laughs> cheers Fuck to... Him. I want to... <laughs> yeah. He's back. Yo, no, no. Josh Leva. Josh Leva, when he wears his hat like this... Oh, my God. It's like Charmander going to Charizard. <laughs> Full. No, I, I, I've known him for years. When he wears his hat like that, like like kind of like this. Dude. Like oh if he was on... Oh, my fucking uh, God. No, no. Uh, what's that oh, one movie? Going going on on no, what's that one movie? Stomp the Yard? <laughs> When, when, when he looks like that, yo, when you he looks like that, he's gonna sit. Hey, bro. honestly, just talk about me real quick for like a point minute. I gotta really pee. Yo, do a little Platica takeover. Yeah, of course. You can always watch us on Spotify or Apple Podcasts or here on the wonderful world of YouTube where you can see our Your beautiful faces. faces. It's I Sebas and the Josh Leva. Um, by the way, Dunos, thank you so much, honestly, for being on this fucking platform. It's insane. And yeah. for the viewers out there, you guys are some of the best viewers to be on a Latino podcast. Um, it's amazing. How many bottles did we drink? That was two full two bottles. Two and a half. We're going on two and a half. And it just barely tickled my ombligo. Same. <sighs> Same. Right? Look at us rubbing feet <laughs> together and shit. <laughs> Dang, your foot's way bigger than mine. Barely, G. What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> hey, have you ever been on a podcast? Where the fucking hoes dips just on dips you? on it. He's like, yo, can y'all do your thing? Y'all take over real quick? What a Did fucking dick. Did you guys mind just dick. like doing your thing? I've never been on a show where the host dips, dips on, on us. us. While we're on air. The main host. Well, you've been on the fake ass podcast. Maybe Whoa. that's the one. Don't start that, Duno. Don't start that. <laughs> I, don't I know you're good at that, back. but don't start that. Hey, how many shots did we take, Duno? Too much. Wait, All right, like, you know what? Well, I want to cheers too. Oh, you're really drinking, drinking but I'll, okay. drink, I'll drink another one. No, 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 no. It's okay. You're getting married. I'm getting married? What, does that, you... what does that mean? I can't be myself. Hey, Josh looks crazy. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like Paul Walker trying to fit in. <laughs> hey, my pockets ain't empty, cuz. Pockets ain't empty, cuz. <laughs> hey, fool. Okay, Callie. Looks like Paul Walker. Uh, after we get a deal, after, after we both get a deal after this podcast, where do you want to go? Should we should we go to Japan yes. together? No, 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 fuck that. Let's go to Cabo. That's no, do no. Can I tell you something? Yes. We gotta go to Cabo together. I promise you. Dude, you know? just look, look. Honestly, I was gonna say some shit. That was say crazy. It. I um quit my day job. What was your day job? Part one of six. Yeah. Yeah. What's oh. up with that, bro? Yeah. What's up with that? Do you want to talk about that or <laughs> not? Not yet. Sure. It's pretty simple. Father want to do me. They want to do them. No, it's but not. you know what? It's still brown bag. Yo, did you not want to wake up that early anymore? No you know what it is? It wasn't waking up because that Because I've done early. radio before, bro, and I had to be there at fucking 5 a.m. Did it suck? It. It's terrible. I did it for three months, and I, I barely could handle it. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> you did three months? I did three months. I did three months, bro. 96.3. Swear to God. You did three months? Yeah. You only lasted three months? I did two. <laughs> Shut up, just bro. I was struggling so hard, dude. I was struggling so hard. You know, I swear to God, bro, I was struggling hard. I'm dead. No, yeah. but I like how you put that. I said they wanted to do them, I wanted to do me, but it's still yeah. brown bag. That's it's still dumb, brown bag. So, are you still part of brown bag podcast? Yeah, hundred percent. That's brown bag podcast is a, it's a family podcast. Oh, no, 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 okay. Besides being politically, no, correct, no, no, no politically correct. Part of it. Yeah, hundred percent. That's I'm I uh, I mean I don't want to get political, but like, yeah, I am a owner. Oh, you got that. equity. There's, there's three of us there. Yeah. The, and and we we love it to death. When it came to other adventures, we saw different things. I decided to do me. When it comes to that certain adventure, I decided to do them. But hey, chill out, Justin Timberlake. I love them to death. I love them to death. I think they deserve to win on every aspect. We, we, I mean, they're busy. I'm busy. And they win, I win. It's the same conversation we had like an hour ago. It's the same conversation I have with them. I think it's it's a beautiful thing, whether it made sense for me or it made sense for them. If it didn't or if it didn't, or if it did, do them. But it's still Brownback Podcast. And All whether, day. All whether, day. whether it was like a break. And you know, we're, we're, we're family food. Like, that's really my older sister and that's really my older brother. Whether I agree on everything or not agree on everything, I got to give my respect and I wouldn't be them I wouldn't be who I am right now with without them two. Yeah. And then when I say them two, I'm talking about Vic and Letty. Yeah. Like I said, whether we agree or didn't agree on certain things, 
it's the our main our main love and our baby and something we've grown together and something we've built. Yeah. Stay the same. When and we've all played our different roles in that certain situation, that comes first before anything. Yeah. And you know what I'm saying? So on some family don't get shit. too fucking don't get don't too get confident twisted. you all yeah. the motherfuckers because when we hey. back, it's over with. Two weeks ago, there was a lot of fucking. Bro, can we join forces? Can we do some shit together? Yeah, what do like, you want to do? Should we? Should shit, we? Bro. I'm trying to like go on tour. Let's do a fucking podcast tour. Let's do me and Greece. Let's, Let's do, do it fucking, up. Let's do a pool party. Let's do crazy shit. Let's, no, no, and, and that's and that's something that like y'all saw me DJ with Dior. Let's do it again. Uh, okay, well, I know Dior too. You like that one? No, nah. <laughs> he's drunk. He's trying to bring his head in. Do it again. <laughs> no, no, but honestly, it's a honestly, it's a really it's a beautiful thing. Like I said, with. And shout out them, and shout out me, and shout out whatever situation happened. But that's really my family, fool. Like I said, no, I know that. I know that. Yeah, you can, no, you, you can obvious, tell. Bro. You can yeah, tell. Like, like that. Like, like, fool. Like, yeah. like if me and Vic, like, let's just say, hypothetically speaking, me and Vic don't talk, I'll probably be sad. Like, damn, that's my brother that I'm not talking to. Fuck, man. But and that's not the to, case. That's not the. That's case. not the case. We we're Good. whether we're talking every day. No, I can't say we're talking every day. Like, yeah, I'm busy doing mine, and we, and then that's been like that before I left. Yeah. So there was a lot of comments. People were saying that you were just like lazy to wake up. That was like the majority of the comments. Is that can we? What do we? How are we speaking on I do like three podcasts. No, no, that's not that's not a question. I'm saying, were you, were you lazy to wake up in the morning to show up for the morning show? Nah, it was just more like it's just everybody. You feel me? Everybody got their own thing going on, and it just it just honestly it just didn't make sense. And 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 I and and I'll take a lot of blame on jumping jumping on it too fast. And that's just me personally. That's you know I've always been on edge with my life from everything I've been through. So. I could take a lot of the, the responsibility on me where it was like, ah, maybe that wasn't for me. I shouldn't have jumped on it too fast. Other than that, I think my work ethic speaks for itself. I didn't I wouldn't get here if I was lazy and couldn't wake up in the morning. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like whether it was six, eight, ten, I think I just I've been accustomed to a certain thing and and it's just it is what it is. It's, 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 honestly, it's really simple. But shout out them. They're Can still I tell doing... you something, bro? I knew that you have the hustle mindset, bro. Like you're yeah, trying to make it work. You. You're trying to do whatever it takes to make it happen. Yeah. yeah. And and I saw a lot of those comments. That was a lot of the feedback that we saw. And I and I genuinely, in my heart, I swear to God, bro, I was like, I don't think that's what it is. I think it's deeper than this. Him waking up at a certain time doesn't determine whether he's doing it or not. It had nothing to do with that. Like that's just yeah. everybody tries to figure out. Uh, they want it to be black and a white. A narrative. Yeah, they want it to be. It, it's this or it's that. It's like no, no. It's sometimes it's like more complicated. There's other issues. There's back scenes. There's managers. There's so many other things that are just. Yeah, yeah. no, and no. I, no, I don't and, mean and speak for yourself. No, no, hundred percent. No, no. And 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 I love that. I think it's just. Everybody plays a part in certain teams. And like I said, like, let's just say you're not into making a hydration drink. And you do try it and you're like, fuck, it's better I leave now than later and fuck everything up. It is what it is, pops. You gotta respect that. Whether they feel some type of way or they were mad at me, we've we've had those conversations with them as a family. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I would never sit there and let anybody talk bad about. Let their Vic no, hell or no. the, or like my, I believe our friendships last more than everybody. Whether like it's like this, right? Let's just say hypothetically speaking, you guys are like, ah, oh, Duno, you're a little too wild. We come back, we can't come back on Chisme with Duno. We thought about it, but but, <laughs> but we love you to death. We do. I prefer you loving me to death than loving the content for death. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's facts. Like if I felt like you know, it's just that's just the real thing. You know what I'm saying? And that wasn't the situation with them, but I'm just speaking hypothetically, like yeah. If we feel some type of way, I'll let them know, and I let them know, and 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 they trusted my me my mental health status, and they trusted a lot of things, and man, I love them to death. Whether we're doing it right now or we're gonna do it a little later, we're working on a lot of things, but they know I got them, and I know they got me. I'm gonna I'm gonna get a little podcast mode right now. But what? what's your like uh, five year plan? What's the goal for Duno as an individual? Forget Man, Brownback. You know forget everything uh, else. I mean, Brownback for sure is is you know we 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 plan on being at the just like how you guys we plan on being on the biggest stages of all time. I think when it comes to Brownback, me personally as a personal thing, I really want to become an actor. I, my goal is to become somebody that. It can play different roles in life when it comes to the acting world. I, I really want to practice the craft of being a comedian. A lot of the feedback I guess was like, you haven't done stand up, and I, and I have, and it's worked. It's been okay, and like just like anything, you gotta learn how to do this shit. And I think I've I've taken too much on my plate that I can handle, and 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 I'm and and I'm learning how to be like, oh, maybe I don't need this right now. Maybe I don't need this, so my plate could be full, but I could be ready for the full. 
like I shouldn't have bread on top of the turkey. I should have it right next to it. it yeah. You know, where, I, where I'm able to situate and, 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 and have those, like have room for everything. Yeah. You know, yeah, you don't yeah. want to overlap shit. That shit, it's, 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 you can, but like, I don't want to be stressed on what I love to do. Yeah. So the biggest thing is being me and just and loving it for what I do. And, and I think the biggest thing is I want to be an actor. I want to be able to. That's make, your ultimate goal, bro? My, my ultimate goal is to fucking be an actor. I Why? can't and, wait. And, and I, and it just, I, I, bro, like. I've sat there and been like, give me a, give me a, just tell me when I'm lying. Give me a monologue. Give me I, no, a monologue. no, no, I'll be like, I'll be like, give me an emotion. They'll be like, sad. I'll be like, it's just, I don't know. Like, it's just, you know, I'll play that. Like, yeah. and they laugh, they right, just? And I'll be like, give me angry and I'll fucking just pop off. But I've, I've, I can't wait to those movies that I've been part of, other than The White Man Can Jump. I've been the main actor in a movie before with, with, with Jerry Garcia and Concrete and them. And I, and I was able to show my emotions and my different parts of my personality. And that shit felt good. I wasn't bored. Whether the money was 200 bucks or was it with 10 million, I, I, I sat there and wanted to learn how to act. Yeah. And, it, and I loved it. And that's always been a goal. I've always been a fan of it. Yeah. My mom could break it down and be like, yes, shit. He was always like, even like with my biddies, like I'll pretend like I'm jealous and I'm really not, and I'll laugh at them and they'll be like, you're a fucking piece of shit. And it's because I, I like, not, not that I'm playing a role, but I'm like, just constantly joking, and the I feel like I can do things like that. Yeah. Yes, and that's just for me, and I think that's my calling. I told you guys about the role I missed out on, right? Yeah, and and it's something so that I, you couldn't go to Vancouver. Yeah, to Canada, and we were in a meeting with a certain company. Who's listening, bro. I care. Listen, I care. <laughs> you listen. I care. Podcasting. I care. Yeah, yeah no, and and, and, and I was world, and, I never said that. I never said and, and and I was listening to. We we're in a meeting with a certain company, cheers. and they're like, "Cheers." Nah, for real, cheers. Make it a four-hour podcast, G. Fuck it. I was in a meeting with a with a company, and they were like, "Nah, yeah, we're working on something with something you could have been part of," and that shit hit me different. Not that it hurt me, but I was like, because I wasn't responsible to get a whole fucking passport. I missed out on a, probably an opportunity that would have changed my family's life mm -hmm. forever. And, I, and, and that's one way to look at it. The second way to look at it was like, dude, no, you had a chance to be part of a really big movie. And you got it, but because of certain circumstances, you couldn't go. And I'm like, you know what? That means I got this shit. That means I'm that. And that showed me a lot. And shout out, I've said the story, but shout out to Joe Coy. Poppy. Oh, it was Joe Coy? Oh, I was Joe Coy? I love you to death. It was his film. I what, love what was you the to film death. called? It was Easter Sunday? Easter Sunday? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love you to death, and thank you for the opportunity. He he didn't hand it to me. He wasn't like, "This is yours." You're in it. You gotta you gotta do it. Yeah. And I got it, and I couldn't because of a certain situation, and I'm okay to living with that. I'll, I'll forever. Because it was a situation that you could have controlled. Yeah, and I could, and I, and I didn't. And 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 I'm okay. And and every day, I not that I not that I like fucking look back and go, like, "I failed," but I'm like, you learn from it. And I sit back and go, like, "You gotta work harder, pero." But how yeah, nice is it to know that that was you? Right? Yeah. Like, I, that, that I, I got it. I sit back and go, like, look. So you, you always you always have to look back at things and, and realize the, 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 the main priority of the situation. No, no, and, and, and it's 100%. And I think when I'm when I'm sitting there having conversations, I'm like, bro, like, like, I don't mean to brag, but, like, I'm that motherfucker, like, fool. Don't you, you are. You also have to take initiative. A hundred percent. Like right after that's that, what I'm saying. It's right like, after that, I got a a, a passport three weeks later. Exactly. And and exactly. and, and, and it's not that I lagged that it three weeks. It's just that, that's how long it takes to get here. But I want to mm -hmm. go do that. Exactly. I want to go do this and that and yeah. this and boom, bada bing, bada boom. Like exactly. I want to go and and like when Bro, when it was that's a switch. The that you got to go through. You got to learn those. Shit. When like, when I went on a podcast, it was a different. I forgot. If that would have happened, then what would he have done? Probably wouldn't have a passport to this day. No. And, you know? and 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 I've gone to podcasts and I've sat there and talked to my people that have done podcasts longer and I'm like, what do I buy? They send me a list, bro. I, I have a company card, right? <laughs> I'm buying soft lights. I'm buying lights. I'm buying sign. I mean, shout out my boy. He hooked me up with that sign. Love you, that. But I'm buying things. Yeah. I love the office. Yeah. I'm fucking. Let's get the merch. Soft like lights. I'm doing all these things, and it's not on the blue. But I, you learn from your shit. You feel me? And that's just something that you can't 
Our hustle can't be taken away by. Yeah, 100%. You know what I'm saying? Experience like, can't be taken yeah, away. Yeah, you gotta, you feel me? Like, experience either makes you or breaks you, and that shit made the fuck out of me. I ain't gonna lie, fool. When, when, when they said I couldn't go because of my passport, I didn't have one, I sat there and felt like, man, like, fool, like, I gave up on life. Like, not, not give up on life, but I was like, damn, fool, I let my family down way. Like, like, either makes you or breaks like, you. Like, like, that, that defines your like character. Like, my mom is a lady that crossed the border and, and, and worked hard for me to be where I'm at now be alive, have a clothes on my back, and and I failed by not having a passport. Like, that's crazy, right? So I sat there, and, and she sat there and hugged me and was like, mijo, you're good. Like, you're going to be okay. And she's been supportive ever since, whatever. You know what I'm saying? So things like that, it does fuck with you, but it, like I see you, you guys said, it either makes you or breaks you. And that shit made the fuck out of me. I've never worked harder in my life than, than I am right now, whether yeah. I'm thinking of vlogging, like, we're going to EDC, yeah, we're going to have fun, get drunk, but promise you there's a camera on me and there's going to be some content that comes out of it. And you going to make sure it gets delivered. Exactly. That's dope, man. Man, what well, cheers to you guys. Cheers to you, <laughs> man. Do you want to take another shot or yeah? Last one, last one, last one. Can I tell you something? Yes. Genuinely, we're proud of you, man. Like, from the bottom of our hearts, we're here because we care. Thank we you. love what you're doing. Yeah. We, we've we been fucking with you for a minute. The fact that we asked you to be on our podcast is because we've been fucking with you. Yeah, I didn't flake either. You didn't time. flake? Yeah, okay. And we did. We were more <laughs> popping. But we're not going to talk about that. So we <laughs> fuck with you, bro. Like, honestly. You're no, more I, popping. I, I, I'm so, <laughs> no, my voice popping, bro. Like, real talk, bro. No, like, it's it's a beautiful yeah, thing. It's and, love. And, and, and it's something that I got to, I want to give my flowers to you guys and this is just the beginning of us working together. For yeah, let's make and, it. And, let's and do like shit. I said, and, and I've told you guys separately different tech messages. Whatever you guys need me for, you call me. I'm there. Yes, Have I not? I need you to be and, a and sub- not, representative like ASAP. Like, and like man, Papi Chulo, let's figure yeah. out the, yeah, the, 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 the yeah. certain situation. Yeah. And tap me in with your manager, Pops. I need some little deals too. Yeah, we got it. No, we got you. You know what I mean? Yeah. It, t- t- tell him he ever fucked with a real one. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you know, no, no, but bullshit aside, I'm proud of you guys. I'm happy. And you guys know, I, and, I, and, and I'm not saying this because we're on camera. I've said this to you guys personally. Several times, yeah. Whatever you guys need from me, whether it's a podcast, you need me to come to a skit. Let, we're planning a workout video. Yeah. I don't know if I want to do that. I might look like fat as shit with you guys. Huh? Uh, when you do it with Bradley Martin? I did, did it with Bradley Martin? I did a workout video with Bradley Martin. I look crazy in that <laughs> shit. This was fucking... He's, he's, he's benching three plates. I'm over there struggling with one. I'm like, and then, and, then, and then I sparred with Jojo Diaz. Oh, you did? No way. You bro, know Jojo, Jojo Diaz? Diaz bro, my boy, bro. Jojo Diaz gave a me a concussion, fool. No way. Headgear? Headgear. He gave me a concussion. And he lost the, the other fight like an idiot. Damn ass. He lost the fight after. Nah, Jojo Diaz is sick, bro. I, I, yeah, he still bad. lost. It, it is what it is. Yeah. It's not me. It's the scoreboard. He lost? He lost. He lost. He beat me up. He didn't beat the other fool up. But I love him to death. Shout out to Jojo Diaz. I'm just joking. I don't know really. But I'm clowning. You know what I mean? I'm me. You're you. But he did give me a concussion. And, and, and uh, Like a real concussion? He's a fool. Cali. How does that feel? You guys were sparring? We were sparring and then her dad was like, Jojo, go 50. I'm like, where the fuck was he going before that? <laughs> he socked me hard, fool. And I had to come do interviews after. You want to hear some tea? He beat your ass too? Nah, I can't. What the fuck? <laughs> it is what it is, fool. I'm not going to make him say it. All right. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. This is exclusive shit. I'm going to say my girl's full name. No, no. Ah. Uh, but I, you know, it makes, I, I don't want to be it, the it, fucking it'll, it'll barrier sense, breaker. It don't make sense when you hear this. I'm going to leave it at that. She's no doing no shot la platica. I love you guys. I hope you guys love me. You'll see me on his wedding vlog. I hope so. <laughs> he has my number. He sent me an invitation. Even though I brought it up before. Yo, my shit's gonna be fucking lit, bro. I get it, fool. No, it's gonna no, be cracking. No, 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 fuck. They're gonna go up to him and be like, "What's your name, sir?" Hey, they have to wear a suit for um, do yes. knows. What the fuck? You what the be fuck? You gonna be wearing a fucking Wish I'm wearing Pancho? Three thousand dollars suit at the wedding. You're an idiot. That's I swear to God, no, I have to. <laughs> yeah, bro. What the? No, fuck? No, that's fucking stupid. <laughs> Shout out Brooklyn. Bro, I'm, I'm not even joking. You, know, you gotta dress black up tux, bro, to the nine. Black tux, like, I'm black tux. I'll wear a tux, okay. I get it. No, okay. suit it up. Like, no, you're not suit it. I think it is. Okay. Like, like, black tux, not with Air Forces, no, bro, bitch. You can't. Like, I'm not gonna wear. I'm, I'm, 
Don't I, I'm not I'm not trusting yeah, Arab. Bro, you, you gotta be like suited album, up. Like album. I'm not even okay, trying to be okay, funny. Well, like well, you gotta be suited wait up. A, wait a way to shit on my attire. No, right? hey, Bobby, help him. Help him. Suited. Fool. I could dress myself. Don't ask him. No, no, but no like, it looks like sure he, he dressed better than you. Just, hey, help him. This is gonna be like the wedding of the year, bro. Bobby. Yeah, he's footed like a fucking villain. No, he doesn't. Hey, all, Bobby, don't you know this is an all white yeah, party? Help him, help him, help him. You got more style. Help him. So your girl comes from a boxy family? From the De La Hoyas. That's scary, right? Super scary. You know people thought I got fired because of the comment I said about him? Yeah, what was up with that? I saw that. Yeah, I, yeah, somebody yeah. Ta- Somebody even tagged me. We know. It, we, They're yeah. like, oh, Oscar De La Hoya got Duno's fired. What does that even mean? It's, it's not that's that's case, case, What did you say? <laughs> you want to read what I said? <laughs> Just be honest. No, but, I got, but I got inside information. What did you say, I tell though? You it's not the case. And no, I know. I, fool, we know it's not the case. It's not the case. He's a fucking great guy. He's a G. When I met him, I made jokes. It is what it is, fool. And he loved you it. You were he fishers in the it. heel. Shout out you. for it. It is what it is. You were freaky dicky. We've and all he been said, freaking. yeah, I was. Like, and was, he's like, yeah, I was. Yeah. And I'm like, you're sober. He's like, who's sober? And I'm no, like, he was you like, right. It's not about being sober. Yeah. Like, I love that, bro. I was about it, dude. Shout out Oscar De La Hoya. He's a fucking great dude. And then it's funny because Letty and Vic tell me that they, they saw him and they're like, sorry, you got dragged into this. And he's like, what's up with your boy? He was clowning. Oh, really? And I'm like, I like that. Yeah. He's a great sport. He knows, fool. He's been in the game. I, a I'm going to say this time, story. Bro. And no, but I, I think we've heard the story. But we were golfing. We were we were golfing. Um, we were golfing fucking. or golfing. Hey fool, I, I was in EOD. Are you making fun of Pisces right now? No, I'm just saying, like, I'm just correcting you. Okay. I'm definitely we, not making fun speaking of Pisces. English. We were um top golf. We're at top golf. <laughs> yeah, top golfing. <laughs> top golfing. That's me, bro. <laughs> Honestly, I have to. Go ahead. No, no, I actually care about this. Story. We I, were I, at I, top I, golf. No, 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 no. No, and, they were not talking about that top golf. No, they were. <laughs> I top. saw the videos. You were at Top Golf. I no, saw the video. Golfing. Top Golf. Golfing. Yeah. Golfing. We're at Top Golf. Golfing. We're at Top Golfing. And Vic told, I forgot what his name was. Shout out him though. Hey, bro, you you probably crossed a lot of deals while golfing. Golfing. Yeah, yeah. And he's like, what? And Vic said it again. And he's like, what? And Vic said it again. And he's like, I don't wear heels like Oscar. But this was the man that's part that? of his he team. He laughed. said that? No, 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 no. The guy that's part of oh, Oscar yeah. the Lawyer's oh, team yeah. said this. Yeah. I forgot his name. I'm sorry, you great man. But he said this jokingly. And Vic, and we all laughed, and he laughed. He's like, Haha, I'm just fucking with y'all. And I was like, it's free game, Puff, when I meet this is. dude. And you know what? And you know what? I it's think, not. It's not about free game. It's not. It's not free game. It's not free game. It's not free game. But I understood the the certain charisma. I could. The energy. I know. I know who to fuck with and not to fuck with because I know I could be a piece of shit when I'm joking. Yeah. And when we sat there and, and we threw out the fish nice jokes, and we and we and we said the oh fuck where's the bolsita you could share to the world we're brown bag, and he laughed and sat there and I was like you know what, kudos. Poppy, you know up, what? Yeah. You deserve Hats that, up. Pops. Up. Absolutely. And you know, and you know why you deserve that? Because I make fun of my relationship with my pops all day. My dad was a real drug addict, full dead ass. And he was a real alive. He, he you know what I mean? He we went through a lot of personal shit. And I sit there and make fun. And to somebody to be alive and make it and do what they do, you gotta kudos that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And and you gotta give 100 percent And real quick, to the girl that tried to snitch on us. About what? You, about 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 my post. Saying what? You guys don't know that story. No. Mm-hmm. Somebody tried to snitch on my post and try to be like, but if it was woo woo, we wouldn't make that post. Huh? So like let's say you guys make a post, right? Like joking, like how I made my post? Jokingly, and 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 I hit and, and I hit up the representative of that certain company and go like, but if you were with us, we wouldn't do that. You know what I'm saying or no? Not really. Okay, so let's say Let's say there's a brand with soft lights, and you made a whole joke on your caption about soft lights. Oh, okay. And I screenshot that and I send it to the other company, uh-huh. to the company of soft lights. Yeah. And I go like, if but if you were with us, oh okay, you wouldn't make that. We we would never do that. Got Are you it. serious? Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm I'm gonna tell you behind the scenes what happened. Bro, cause that's fucking but, bullshit. But that's weak shit, fool. Because however however much you guys went I went like let's just say we're both getting a deal with Chismo with Duno or Brownback where in and, and La Patica we're all getting a deal from Spotify like and you grand, make a joke yeah. about Spotify I would never screenshot and send it to Spotify no no that's weak shit no, that's, that, that, 
That's weird well, shit. That, that's super. Like, that, I don't even understand that. Like, that don't even make lot. sense, right? Super. So that kind of happened. And, and Bobby, I'm going to show you this right now, fool. There's no way, bro. Dog, dog. I, look, you're going to read this and you're going to be like, there's, there's no, no way. fucking way. Um, damn, you did that or for some? For some. For nothing. Read this shit. Read this shit. Read this shit. Read that shit with Josh so y'all can read that shit together and be like, damn. That's crazy, pero. That's some hate. Hey, is that not hater shit? And what did I reply? I'm fucking me regardless of anything. Bro, number I one. I responded like me, right? Bro, this is wild. Super. I responded like me, right? Super. Like, hey, fool. I can't believe that's this. That's gangster. Fool, you that's know who gangster. you work with, that's fool. Gangster. I know who this is, too. That's no, no, no. And, and, and that's heartbreaking, right? Because you because you see somebody winning, you're like... And then when you see that shit, you're like, that's weak shit, fool. Super Holy duper. Shit. That's sick. And that's like, damn, fool. What the fuck? That's weird. And that's sad to see, though, right? Oh my god! Because man. because because somebody that we're mutual to oh my god. would only show love to that, that right? That's crazy. Dang, that's, that's crazy. And 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 that's sad. But this is the shit where we don't win. That shit right there is like yeah, a good reason we're like. Yeah. But see what I'm saying? Like, I, what I reply? Hey, fool! You know who you were fucking with when you met me? And I'ma do me. When I made that caption and and. I'm gonna read the caption to you guys. Can I we're, we're gonna talk off camera, and it's, I'm just gonna like, I'm gonna even like uh, favor your emotions, whatever you're feeling, even more so. I'm like, like you have support. That's what I'm saying. No, 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 100%. And and look, I'm gonna read you my caption, and you tell me the hurry. There's no hurry. Oh, I, no, 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 about the lives that I've talked about. This is this is my caption, right? Uh, oh, do I have a screenshot of the regular one? I think I said some shit like, shout out to a co kid that made it unlike my dad. Keep in mind, I made that caption, and I buried my dad the next day. I buried this. I took. I went to Tijuana, and and Tijuana. Took, I, no I went to TJ where he died, where we didn't know until three months later. I buried him out of a a, a bunch of tarps. There was twelve bodies on top of him. What do you twelve mean? bodies. There was twelve bodies on top of my dad. When nobody claims the bodies in, in, in TJ in Mexico, they you bury them in, and and they stack them. My dad was number 12. Got it. So what does that mean? I mean, my dad was number 13, I think. There was 12 bodies on top of him. Got it. They buried, they took out 12 bodies, and my dad was number 12. I said that joke, and I said, there is a co-kid that made it unlike my dad. Shout out Oscar De La Oya for kicking it with Brown back, bada bing, bada boom. And they thought that shit was going to do something. And I sat there, and I looked out like, damn. When you sit here and look at people be some awesome hater shit, that shit really break your heart. Cause it's like, I didn't do nothing to you. And I'm like, if you understand me, then you understand all of me. And that just showed me a lot. And that shit, I, not that it broke my heart. Here's but the thing, like, bro. Not everybody understands you, but everybody understands the everything that comes with you. Like you have 100%. to understand that you're bigger than what you think you are. You yeah. are bigger than that. So mm -hmm. when you speak, you're speaking for a whole thing, bro. You see what I'm saying? I think that's how they viewed it. It was just facts. It was crazy though because it was I was bigger like, than what you're like a, a personal thing. Like you took it personal. Like, yo, I'm I'm speaking. It's funny. I can relate to it. Yeah, it's my own thing, right? But do know you're not that anymore, bro. You're not just yeah. do know. I you're, know you're, it's you're, crazy. Your cheese man with do know. And it's you're crazy a brown bag. You're probably 106. You're fucking. That's what it yeah, is. Well, so I quit there. But I understand that, but it, I'm saying the <laughs> no, still 100%, ties. No, 100. I get you. That's still ties. No, no. So yeah, when, yeah, no, when you're speaking, that's that's what's coming with it. Because yeah. when I speak, I'm not just speaking for me. I'm speaking for La Plática. I'm speaking for Salud. I cannot just fucking talk. Nah, and can't it's just crazy. say, oh, I, I can't. I can't do that anymore. And guess what, bro? With great responsibility comes great repercussion. What was it called? <laughs> I got to fucking. With the great responsibility comes great. Um, with great superpower comes with great responsibility. No, 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 no. That's what it is, bro. That, that's where you're at, you know? That's where you're at. So, yo, as a 20, 24, 23, 24 you are, like, no, like, no, I feel also, it, but, on some but, wake up shit, on some wake up, like, yo, you're not speaking for no, 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 no but, more. But, 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 but. You're not, you're not. You're 100% not. I'm not. You're not. I feel it, and, and, and I love that take because I sat there and I was like, damn, that's crazy. You're not. Now you make noise. Now when you speak, your caption, you know what's even crazier? 
You didn't even say it like, verbally. You wrote it out on a text message from a phone. While laughing in my head. And then people were like, this is fucked up. He, he fucking, he shouldn't have said this shit. Do you know the fucking man said, the, like, your, 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 your words carry weight. Not even your words verbatim. Your words over virtual reality carry weight. Nah, and, and that was one of them things where I, I looked back and I was like. Don't ever talk about my girl's family like that again, bro. I swear to God. <laughs> Knock you out with the right hook. Just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> if, if it makes you feel any better, I met. No, I don't. Can I tell you something, bro? Like, I met his brother-in-law. I, I met her brother. Great guy. Who is it? Uh, the Juanito Chubby dude. Uh, uh, is he your brother? Yeah. His, what's his name? Oscar was like, oh, this is my son. Oh, he's his son. He asked me about my hat yeah. and my sweater. What were, you, what were you wearing? I was wearing a Virgin Mary hat, and then I was wearing a sweater that said, Trapping made it happen. And he was like, sick. And wow. I was like, he's like, where'd you get that? And I told him where I got it from. Yeah. Are you scared what? of being part of a family like that? A little bit. A little bit. A little bit, yeah. A little bit. Da -na -na. Yeah, 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 yeah. But the, it's been all love, but I know the weight that comes with it. And I'm okay with it. You know, it's just like. Honestly. But can I tell you something? When that whole situation happened, it was in talks. I, I heard about it before it even before I even saw it. And yeah, everybody yeah. was good with it. And everybody was just more talking about how it became a thing over what? Like yeah, over no, nothing. And you know what? And you know what? I It's more real than you think, bro. It's not like not everybody's living on this fucking cloud nine of like, it's not that. It's not that. And it's and, real. Like people are more first like, wait, what? What what happened? They're trying to catch up with the gossip. Yeah. They're trying to make sense of it. And they're they, like, hey, wait. hey, keep it a bug. Did your girl think it was funny? She thought it was hilarious. <laughs> I'm gonna repose that picture. <laughs> Fuck everybody, because honestly, I I I I I said it, and and I say things without not not that I don't think about everybody's feelings and emotions, but I say things like, not every like, a a full life's a trip, but we're gonna laugh about it. Absolutely. So I said it, without I didn't mean to harm anybody, or if, if it did, if it didn't, you you know the inside, you, you're telling me it didn't, but I'm saying yeah. things like, hey, puppy. We're laughing, fool. Like, it's good. Because yeah. me and my homies have talked about our dads being dead, yeah. being drug addicts. Yeah. We've talked about our mental health problems. And mm -hmm. that's just what we... We have dark humor. Mm -hmm. So seeing a man that has overcame all those things, it's a beautiful Triumph. thing to see. And I yeah. made a joke about it. Yes. And he's hurt way worse. Yes. And you know what? I'm going to refix my caption and take it off the archives. Man, that's you, how said, I you put it on archives? Not the archives. You put it on the archives, see? Oh, sorry. Not the archives. <laughs> hey, you know this was favorite when he's drinking water. He doesn't drink water. Yo, can I say something? Before I even met my girl, I started working with Oscar back in 2018. Before, before I even knew who my girl was, I was working with Oscar directly. He was the first celebrity I've ever worked with in my life. Immediately, I knew that he was real, bro. He's been through shit, just like we all have. And he understands, like, yo, this is just life, you know? And he and off the gate, he gave it to me the energy of like, yo, I'm not perfect. I'm I'm him. Um, I am him. And you know what's crazy? When we talked to him, he laughed about shit. That's what I, I saw the whole interview, bro. I saw the whole thing. And was he I was not so, laughing? I was super laughing. Even when you're talking about the little uh the GoPro, he's like, I've been in this shit. Like I know how this shit works. Yeah, I yeah. saw it all. Like he he understands it, dude. You it's just what? it's just how people like they 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 they, they decide how they want to run with it to make their own money. It's all nah, political. Yeah, 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 nah. It's all political. And 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 it was crazy because like let the Vic know who I am. And they're like, dude, no, we know you meant no harm. No, but, you didn't. And 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 then when when I the the technique that I showed you was crazy, right? That shit was crazy, was it not? Was that not like hater 101? Yeah. And it was like that's sad as she because it's like, damn, fool, you was reading out some hater shit. And me just and and me and me on a personal level, I would have not took it down. But what you said, you represent a lot more things than just yourself. And I got to hold to that. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, oh, you know what? I'm a, I'm a I am get really, it. No, I get it. It's a good... Yeah, I'm going to really back a little bit. You yeah, feel me? And, yeah, and, and, yeah, and, yeah, and yeah, I get yeah, your yeah, perspective. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. I'm going to really back and just chill for a little bit. Yeah. Let everybody have their perspective. Yeah. And, and I've dealt with shit like that before. Yeah. And, 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 and it's one of those things where, like, it is what it is. Yeah. That's 100%. life. Yeah. But honestly, you guys... Bro, you did a great job on that interview. And I think you did it. Amazing job. I think what you delivered is what people were thinking. The majority of the masses were thinking, and you just took them there. You just yeah. made it. You made the conversation. And that's why real. you're fucking there. And guess what, bro? If I was ever in a situation like that, and I and he's a real person, 
and I would want someone like you to interview me just to level me, bro. Not on some political shit like, yo, like the jokes that you're making, give it to me. Because that's what's, that's real, bro. 100%. And, and, and I feel like that's why, not even just with me, but like, I think that's why we make, we, we get a clown, you know what I'm saying? Like, even me with you guys, like, I make fun of you guys not claiming your girls and like. <laughs> <laughs> Speak for yourself. <laughs> I'm sorry to claim my girl, bro. Relax, right? I'm getting there, right? Give me a chance. But, but, Give me a chance. But, like, chance. me saying your girl pays the bills and, like, shit like that. Like, I, I think you guys, you guys, and, and, and honestly, I was, I was a little, like, what if they can't take those jokes? Nah, nah. nah. No, no, but when I, when yeah, I threw the first yeah, one, yeah. when I, I, I threw, I threw the little banger, oh, and y'all laughed, I was like, oh, yeah. they locked in, it's yeah, over yeah, with. Yeah. And I started throwing them, pop, 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 pop. Yeah. And you guys laughed about every single fucking joke. Because we're joke. real, bro. We also we're grew just up like in the hood you, too, bro. Like this, because we're rich now, it doesn't mean nothing. <laughs> this is we got three plaques, four plaques. Come on, plaque guy. He only has one. No, um, that's what I'm saying. It's a combined joint. We're it's, we're Power Rangers up in this hole, bro. Yeah, yeah, All no. of us. It's Marvel time. I got time. five. I it's got Marvel five. With you. You got five with me. No cap. I'm saying. I, I'm gonna buy you guys one. A <laughs> hundred k looks pretty good from a. Nah, hey, 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 it looks, hey, it looks, it looks really, really good. It looks hey, what does Grosito say from Blood and Blood Out? He says a lot say? of things. Hey, I'm from the barrio. Oh. When, 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 <laughs> no, Grosito. When he wins, he goes like, not bad from about the local from the barrio. He says that. Yeah, that. He doesn't say it with that. Okay, okay. Okay, I, I didn't mean to make it. Uh, give me your touch on I didn't mean to make to do that voice. But it's amazing. But you did, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, Josh Slava. <laughs> Don't need to be rude. But you guys, look, we're two, we're three hours in. Lakers are up 40-32 right now. So yes! Are they really? Yeah, that's what I got. The game is happening right now. Can we go yes. to a bar and watch this shit? Can we all go? I have to go to Vegas. Okay, can we um, go to a bar and watch this shit? All day. Please. Ken, you guys give them your IG. Yeah, you can follow me at iSevas, A-Y-Y-Y, Sebas. And you can follow the, me at tastesalute.com. The Josh Leva to my <laughs> right, my boy. You can find us at Walmart, Target, Nationwide. Yeah, that's it. That's or it. Apple, Spotify, Absolutely. you name it, we there. We're there. Okay, um, can I get a nasty one? Yeah, you want You give me one first. What do you, maybe? Nah, it's that not was like not that. Nasty. Nah, that's that not was nasty. weak, bro, that was weak. Okay, I say my boy. Just no, that's weak. That's my boy right but there. You gotta make it nasty. Okay, maybe. That was freaky. Huh? That was a fruity, but we good with it. Okay, go ahead. I'll take it, I'll take it. But it really is like, uh, <sighs> no, 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 no. It really is like, eh, eh. It really is like, ma, ma, uh. No, no, it really is like, eh, eh. Nah, it, it really, really is like, eh, eh. Fool, shut the fuck it up. Really, it really, really is like, eh. Fool, shut the fuck Nah, the, the best one is like, eh, eh. The, the, best, the best one, the best one, though, is like, eh. Fool. Shut the fuck up. No, the, best but, one, the best one. In all honesty, the, um, the the one that we really like to enjoy hearing is, ah, uh-uh. ah, and that's it. <laughs> Does that wrap it up for you, Dino? Is shout that out. what you wanted to hear? Shout out. You happy now? La Platica. <laughs> nah, shout out Cheeseman with Dunos, my G, for real. It's <laughs> like a milestone for us, G. We made it. Yeah. We're about to get paid. Yeah, we checked that off. Now, what's next? Um, can your girl really come on here? Yeah. No. Yeah, she would love to. <laughs> she not coming. She like, that was too scandalous. Fuck that fat guy. <laughs> hey, but you know what? Our bullshit aside, I'm not going to remind you again, but if I don't get into your wedding, I'm going to be mad. I'll, I'll go buy a suit. No, you're going. You're going, Yo, Jay. you ignored my text message when I was trying to send you a care package. Bro. Okay, you know what? So, I no, 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 hold up, hold up. Hey, why, why don't you respond to me I'm and res- we can get to the wedding? Because you're trying to, you're trying to jump. Leapfrog. I'm just trying to get your P.O. box, G. Like, he doesn't know what he's texting. Fuck you. He's literally liking Instagram photos at the moment as we speak. Where'd you get your fucking iPhone fucking cover? I have problems. We gotta tell you that. At I Lake, started from the Lake homie. Mall? Years ago, bro. <laughs> I started from the homie. Lakewood Mall. <laughs> this fool got his fucking cover at Lakewood Mall at the kiosk. I love the Lakewood Mall, dude. I love the Lakewood Mall. Everybody ever talks about the Lakewood Mall. I love it. Fool, did you get your cover at Raider Image? <laughs> <laughs> this fool got his fucking iPhone at Raider Image. Look, look, why does this fool look like he has contour on his face? I just send you my address. Got it. You want me to send you something too, asshole? Nah, I don't want shit. What I have you under?
Chewy Josh Lay was on me. <laughs> <laughs> no, dead ass, I love you guys. Yeah, we, we love thank you, you guys man. for coming. Yes, sir. Make sure you guys go follow. When is this dropping, by the way? I'm going to chop it on Monday at 11 a.m. You think I'm bullshitting? I took my laptop with me to Vegas. Damn. Who edited you edit this? Shout out Fuego. Is he going to Vegas? Hey, uh, he's uh, not going. So he's going. Hey, hey. Um, You're not going to Vegas either? He, he has a podcast? Say you care about your homies, see? I do care about him, but honestly, then it's act a me like time. It. Okay, he's a bro. Look at me real quick. It's dropping on Monday. And it's, it's you guys drop at 7 a.m., I drop at 11. It's a good idea. That's fine. It oh. makes sense. It, 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 it. It's a good idea. Bro, we got to do merch. We got to do a merch shop, an exclusive can, merch who, shop. Who's going to, can you guys do it? What? What do you want it to do? Can we make it like, what are we going to make it? I, it could be our faces like. All right. Or it could be whatever you need me to put in. We're going to make it limited. We're going to make like. Limited, like limited. If we're going to make 100. It costs 100 bucks each one. And we'll make 10 bands and we'll whatever. The, what are, you know you know what? You guys are my brothers. 10 bands? Whatever. That's the shipping. Hi, verga. That's shipping. Right, okay, you know saying. what? I get it. You're rich. Yeah, You're rich. Yeah. Well, we'll talk. We'll just exit all this out. We'll talk business later. Yes. Hey, Papa, are you looking for another job? Because I want to look for an editor, too. <laughs> yeah, we really yeah. are. Yeah, it's, we're consistent. <laughs> I am, too. Fuck you. I'm once a week like you. Sometimes three. Three times a week? That's fine. A couple of interviews a week. No way. You know, rappers, different people, not just influencers that I get from my girl. Um, <laughs> shout out La Platica. I love them to death. Same, this has bro. been Cheese hey, We Dula. love you too, man. Thank for you guys for it. It's an honor, Bobby. Love it. Hey, how long is it going to take me to upload? A long time. I don't know. It depends on if do you have, do you have Spectrum or Frontier. I'm going to be at a Mandala. <laughs> Where are you going tonight? Are you going Where am out? I going? Yeah, are you going out tonight? Mandalay Bay. Are you going out tonight? Mandala. Uh, hopefully hey. I get it by Saturday. He's gonna TJ too many times. I, 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 hey, for let me putting pressure on Fuego. He's like, I'll try, you heard him? He's like, I'll try. <laughs> he just said, oh, I'm gonna try to have it Saturday, Saturday. But if not Sunday morning. And then and then I'm gonna upload, I'm, I'm gonna schedule it because I'm gonna be lit at, at wherever I'm where am I gonna be? At? EDC? And it's gonna go crazy at Monday at 11 a.m. Hopefully I'll have a. Are you, did he just drop your your promise ring? Shout out La Platica. I love Josh. The Josh Labor. Shout out A Sebas. You don't love me Shout out Josh. I love you too. I said it together, fucker. No, you know, you know, I love Josh Labor. I'll be at your wedding. Uh, go get suit it up. Go get go get saludos. Awesome some bougie and shit. And get twenty percent off at Duno. Twenty percent at Tay Saludos. Yeah, yeah. The, the coupon code should hit by the by then. I fucking hope so. Because <laughs> if nothing gonna be typing that shit in, it's not gonna work. It's gonna be. <laughs> you be like, what the fuck, Duno? This is like, you. Completely? All caps. All caps. All caps. I'm like, if anybody D-O- types in Duno, D O K N O W twenty at Tay Saludos Seca is it, influencer. Is it Tesaludos? Tesaludos.com? No. Yeah, Tesaludos.com. Yeah, she didn't even know your own brand, you dickhead. You I said Tesaludos.com. I said that. No, you said it's not even dead. Tesaludos. No, you said Tesaludos. Taste. I'm saying what you're saying. No, you said Tesaludos. Salud? Rewind it. Rewind it, Papa. Rewind it. Don't rewind the shit. <laughs> All faded. Look at you. What a host. Go to Vegas, G. My Look, promo code. You're going to take a piss at the exit. Zizix. <laughs> <laughs> You know what exit I'm talking about? You guys know? Zizix. And he's driving too. That's you can Fucking go an hour I'm not after driving. Victorville. My promise, my my promo code will be in the description. <laughs> Make sure you press it. How this professional is he? How professional is he? some Joe Rogan he? shit, bro. We've been at it for a minute. Clearly, I'm, fear is not a factor I, for you. I love you guys. Love you too, man. Shout out Shabazz and his more famous girl. Shout out Josh and his secret agent. And we out. Boom. Love y'all. Saludos. Thank you for having us. Papa. For real. Oh, that ass. That is crazy.